Billy's 1040. <laughs> that was a tax joke for the accountants. Woo. The man in the studio with us is comedian Greg Hahn. Do you ever take your pants off on stage, Greg? Uh, no. Maybe. Good call. I used to, I used to do that on... Uh, uh, what's it called? Casual Friday when I had a job. <laughs> <laughs> then they kicked me out. They let me keep my seat. <laughs> my chair. Don't you have people uh, giving you tours of offices and things? I never liked the tours, Chick. No. no. You know that. No, I know. They walk around the office. They throw in a little small talk. Oh, this is Janice. She's hard to keep up with. <laughs> yeah, she's hard to look at. Let's keep walking. <laughs> she's making me sick. <laughs> this is Larry. He's an original. You got that right? I've never seen a toupee with dandruff. Get me out of here. <laughs> It's the Bob and Tom Show. You're a beautiful girl. Camel, mm. Mm. the size of a watermelon. You know, that's kind of a residual, uh, <laughs> With a big residual enjoyment for the butt buddies. We uh, we enjoy uh, when we get around to the front. We enjoy that camel toe, right? Sure, yeah. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not a grimy pink sweatsuit. Did it what? have to be a pink sweatsuit? That's what it was. That's what you saw it in. Did oh, it boy. have? To- hey, it's the Bob and Tom Show. This guy, I swear to God, carrying two watermelons in a Kroger. As you can tell, like this, and this is like getting me to central casting. <laughs> we're alive. We're alive and live. You yeah, don't say well. No. Hi, Christy. Hi, Chick. Got your headphones on. I do. He's in the next room over there. It's the Navy Federal there. Credit Union newsroom. There's Josh. Hi. There's Willie. Pretty weird start so far. Yep. Pretty weird. I like it. There's Ace. I got a big surprise for Tom. And there's Pat Godwin. Here Hello. We, here we go. Uh, Pat's got on his shirt that has his name on it. So Chris, we, Christy got us these. And as you know, I was. I'd prefer if everyone wore those. I know. You really no. You, 
<laughs> people go, oh, man, that Tom, he's kind of funny. <laughs> You're yeah, serious. serious. You want oh, yeah. us to wear uniforms. You would love it. You would absolutely love it. I essentially do. Yes. Me too. I mean, I wear the same stuff. I would sort of wear the same thing. I go. But I go in spurts. Just the name tags would be helpful. Now and then I well, wear. Christy got all got us all. I know. Yeah. yeah. I know. I wear you forget our names. You say it every three times a, an hour. A nice T-shirt underneath. <laughs> I just, okay. Uh, oh, uh, let's sorry. see. We have a lot going on, of course, today. And um, I was just reading an article yesterday about how the world is a confusing place right now. And the world is a vampire. Uh, just uh, misinformation, disinformation, good information, bad information, too much information. And once again, the mission statement of our program is thank you very much. Till uh, further notice. Yes, so turn here for guidance. Dear Chick. Uh, if you're an idiot. Okay. Dear Chick, you're the greatest. Oh my. Well, How about that? Wow. Hard to argue. Who am I to uh, this argue? This is from a guy. On the <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with On uh, the June 29th podcast, Tom said, uh, you like, I, I told the story how Tom loves a message in a bottle. I think we've yeah. all, all we hmm. also talked I about I love those the stories. They're yes. fun. Message in the bottle story. They're, they're non-digital. They're of a different era. Well, Chick, my friend, cast your eyes on the do-it-yourself message in a bottle kit. <laughs> wow. It's, he sent me in a mailing tube a bottle Perfect for ha putting a message wow. in oh, that a is bottle. Nice. How about that? So here, look, it's got a cork in it. It's got the, it's, so we, I say. What message would you put in it? Put a cork in it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I, I don't, I'm still thinking about what bottle, bottle of water we could, or what body of water we could put it in to get it out of the state. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe, I that might we could, be difficult. We could take a, yeah. be a throw in Lake Michigan. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. okay. Probably, right. probably wash up on Lake Michigan. Michigan. Or, <laughs> Chicago. Probably. Maybe you could heave it off the Mackinac Bridge. That'd be cool. Then it could Ooh. maybe go into Huron. You know, oh, yeah, but you got to put a note. What note would you put in it? Would you want them to contact you? Uh, beam me up, Scotty. There's no intelligent life here. I think it'll be, <laughs> if part of the fun is uh, I, I dropped this off huh. Lake Michigan on this date. If yeah. you find it, let me know where you are, who you are. Okay. If you're in Chicago and you're reading this, you haven't been shot. You could put that. Oh, that's oh nice. my yeah. God. Oh, a nice positive thought. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a second. Yeah, let's sing some more. Yeah, What's yeah. wrong with you? You want to take that, Willie? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Morning. Um, morning. There you go. Morning, well, Chicago. Could, right could we go back to, to the uh, fat lady I saw with the huge Camel toe? Uh, just no. Just steaming out of her Steam. pink sweatpants. Her gummy pink sweatpants. Oh. Just disgusting. Uh, DYI message in a bottle kit. I hope to meet you someday. Richard Rosso. Oh. Uh, P.S. Don't tell Tom, but as you can see, the note is in REL type, which yeah. he knows that Tom oh, is very upset. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He does not care. You don't care for that. You like the Helvetica, right? Yeah, except Helvetica has a problem. If what? Those, what? what? Um, the, uh, the capital I and the L are essentially the same. It's a it's okay. an error in design. Right. So a quick glance and you don't know if you got an I or an L. Yeah. Yeah, Especially so you, if you're putting AI with no periods. And by the way, anyone who does that should be shot. You're shopping for new fonts now? drives me crazy. I may look for a new font, but that'd be tough. Come come on. Clear your brain and come to Comic Sans. I'm telling you, it's nah. the way to go. There's a, oh. there's a whole anti-Comic Sans. Uh, I don't understand that. There. I don't get it. It looks cheap. It does. Does it? It yeah. looks like white trash? I, it a little just, bit. I don't know. And it's, it's not particularly comic-y. It's, it's like people who drink too much on New Year's Eve. I think Comic Sans you know is I mean? hilarious. I like Comic Sans. Why don't you try Wingdings? Oh. <laughs> Just the name is funny. Wingdings, Wingdings is the one that looks like uh, crazy. Uh, it looks like yeah, it's makes crazy. No sense. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. looks like yeah. Prince's name there for a while. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Uh, very, very you know good. my uh, button bar here where we have all these, uh, sound these sound effects? cool sound effects? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it, my, it's uh, the uh, labeling of the uh, sound effects are in Comic Sans. <laughs> really? I changed the uh, font. You can do that? I fixed the font. I had no fixed idea. It. Fine looking font you got there, Ferd. That's well, right. That's a free country. You can have any font you want. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yep. This lady had this big font. <laughs> With uh, giant two yeah, watermelons. Yeah, we know. Uh, yeah. Big, oh, uh, greasy a... pink sweatpants. We heard, yeah. Carrying two watermelons. Okay, we get <laughs> not it. Not wearing a mask. Come on, lady. Get it together. Does my presence not want to make you stop telling this story <laughs> at all? Apparently Sorry. not. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, let's see, where were we? Um, Why don't you, have you ever uh, sat down and told your son, told Willie, uh, a little, little bit, all you know about women? You know, giving her the... Right. <laughs> Oh, you, know, you mean giving the her talk? the uh, giving her giving him the talk? I think he's been around enough to figure out that I'm probably not the one to get advice from. <laughs> yes, Just but yet you way. continue. See, this is my point. This is always about <laughs> he continues to give advice not right. on that topic. about everything. Not yes. on that topic. Uh, you imagine to never pull out. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't just, don't <laughs> just enjoy the ride. That's right. Unless she's wearing some kind of eye protection. Continue <laughs> to spread your seed far and wide. Well, create, boy. By the way, did I tell you about this lady? I saw the grocery store. <laughs> disgusting. Non, totally non-sexual. I mean, just a filthy fat. Uh, <laughs> obviously, no panties on. Oh, boy. The, the, the fat globules bursting out. <laughs> <laughs> for all the world to see. Um, uh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh, boy, we need a message for a message in a bottle, okay. or we just continue. That it. thing's cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That Thank you, nice Richard. And it's, it's sort of a scientific-looking little bottle. Yeah. It, is. it, it looks like it can a hold stereo, a potion. stereotypical message in a bottle. I think you would, if you were walking down the beach, you would stop and grab that. I think you would. Coming up, a really odd story about um, an, an ad that has gone viral that's 120 years old for a sarsaparilla beer. Oh, really? It's gone crazy. No kidding? Yeah, it's, uh, which is really fun. But the weirdest story of the day, Christy, have you, and uh, by the way, we're going to have to be really careful when we read Yeah, it. I know. I, I even about, said uh, to myself, do I have to read this? It's about Cardi B. Okay. Uh, who is a uh, a rapper. Yes, yeah, former she is. Stripper. Former stripper. Yeah. And uh, she is. She's a uh, very talented young woman. Done some. Um, uh, she's got body a, a, modification. An Insta uh, about some stuff she's having done to her body right now. You say all of the, the, that. That entire sentence was uh, like you were stepping in something. Well, wait till you hear well, her yeah. Insta <laughs> has. Uh, yeah, well, she labial a, shortening, something uh, like that. Very, you're you're on the right track. Okay, all right. Lengthening? Oh my Shorten. God! And not then, lengthening. Uh, Good and, Lord! Not lengthening. And then speaking of shortening. <laughs> Mama's have, little baby loves short things. We oh, have absolutely. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a story of, out of France. Yeah, I would just. Do you hear beans and cornbread had a fire? I, uh, there's oh. a there's a story out of France involving uh, shortening um, of the uh, kind one uses cooking. What? It's, yes, except. Well, <laughs> oh, that's what I was talking that's about. That's what he said. About urine. Oh, 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 oh really? Oh, oh, yes. oh yeah, that's yes. true. Don't say that's the like, secret ingredient, ingredient not in Mama's shortening. Not this secret urine. ingredient. Jake, I've heard not great in cooking. Great for drinks, though. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah, you just put it in there. <laughs> that's okay. interesting. Uh, probably Martini too late, but uh, we missed. Pat, I'm, I can't believe you and I missed this. What? We're the two biggest Beatles fans here. Oh, what now? First, the good we news. We just got over Ringo's, Ringo's birthday. birthday. What now? First, the good news. Uh, Pat, have you just seen this thing about the Legos? I did, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. They're going to make a, a drum kit out of uh, Ringo's There's gonna drums be a, out a, of Legos? A, 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 some uh, Beatles tribute Lego stuff. Oh, okay. I'm very excited about that. And we're how far are we into the, uh, the the Magic Castle at Disney World Lego thing? Like 25 hours, and it's about one. It was on the dining room table last night. It's Is this Finn's toy up. that you're making? Yeah. Oh, everyone's chipping in. You, you wow. spend an hour on it. Today. <laughs> you, guys, in? you guys make fun of me for my Cutco scissors money, but that Disney Lego castle must have cost a quarter of a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was, it was whatever. It was like a hundred bucks, but it's, no, it's, it's taking. No, it's more than that, bro. It was if you divide bucks. it by hours, I mean, it's it's taking so long. It's a really fun thing to do when it teaches kids how to follow instructions. But it's the only toy I have to make a down payment on. Yeah, <laughs> Disney yeah. castle. It, are they helping you or just watching you do it? When you're dealing with a four-year-old, there's only so much help you can get. It's, <laughs> okay. You know, hey, Hart, give me the gray one. That, that's, that's one of that's the... That's the blue one. Can yeah. you go play with something else? I'm busy doing this. <laughs> one of the popular TikToks is they put something together like that and then throw it on the floor and it all oh. crashes apart. Better enjoy and your they, TikTok while you and do they it. Run it. Yeah, TikTok, by the way, is <laughs> yeah. about to get the noose. Yes, uh, it is. The axe, yeah, the, uh, it's the, not the a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, uh, we missed Ringo's birthday, Pat. Yeah, it was yesterday. I, I thought we did. No, we no, talked about it. We had a song and everything. Yeah. That was last week, but we were anticipating it. But right. when the actual day came, we missed it. Uh, we talked about it. We just didn't play the song. Is this code right? for do the song at some point today? Yes. Thank you. Didn't he have a one. concert or something last night? Yeah, uh, kind a of. A sing-along thing? Yeah. Or, and yeah. then um, he read the birthday much. card he got. <laughs> right. From, he, the birthday card he got from Pete Best. Peace and love. <laughs> oh, I have a birthday, too, you know. It was nice. There was a $5 bill in it. Yeah. Aww. yeah. Just 
just like Grandma. Anybody oh. get the Pete Best reference? Anybody? I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I think a lot of people used to get be it. the drummer before Ringo. I can't wait for the second break. We do a Stu Sutcliffe reference. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Silver Beatles. Here we come. FYI, Stu Sutcliffe answer to a New York Times crossword question the other day. So I was, yeah, that's obscure. Sadly, <laughs> Stu died before the Beatles got famous. Oh. Yeah, it, but he was the most rock star looking of all of them. Yeah, that's why John Lennon. He couldn't play an instrument, but John wanted him in the band because he looks. And we all know Paul died, uh, but, but he was, he was, he was he twenty years, years old. That's right. And, uh, right. Just like that, by a man who had waste a break. <laughs> Reminds me of how about you hate? Like how about you? <laughs> all right. All right. Well, just like that, we're right back. But uh, <laughs> the teaser. Hmm? The teaser. Uh, uh, Notre Dame fighting Irish. Not so fast, my friends. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Oh, I, it was only a matter of time. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, Major League Baseball continues to uh, have sickness in their ranks. Uh, they don't know what they're going to do. Uh, sad news for uh, the Baltimore Ravens and their quarterback, Lamar Jackson. He's fine. He's ready to play. But this is a uh, social event that might not uh, happen. And, uh, yeah, Tiger and Jack Nicholas also in sports. That's okay. cool. There you go. I'd like to see some real, real sports finally. Uh, and uh, well, that's not Tiger and Jack. So don't really <laughs> move on. Sorry. Yeah, move along. And coming up, a helicopter on Mars, and it's real. Thank you, NASA. Well, there's no atmosphere on Mars. Uh, I, 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 they, Remember no, those fellows and ladies at NASA know what they're doing. It's okay. super cool. You can't fly. It's all over coming up. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential Morning Radio, all day and all night. This is Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7. Hey, Mark Allison here with you on a Wednesday. It's July 8th, 2020. Thanks so much for joining us here. It's hump day, everybody, and comedian Allie Breen is on the way. We call her our relationship expert. We'll find out what sort of relationship questions you've sent in to Allie later this morning. Also, correspondent Jessica Alsman and our Special, special correspondent, Willie Griswold, on a Wednesday, right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. More of the show on the way. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The Treasury Department is out with a list of those who applied for loans under the Paycheck Protection Program designed to help small businesses survive the coronavirus pandemic. But some of those who applied and got loans are celebrity-linked companies you'd think wouldn't need government help. Among those getting some money, clothing line by actress Reese Witherspoon. Also getting loans, Kanye West's Yeezy apparel line. And a company that did a website for Tim McGraw and his wife, Faith Hill. In each case, though, the companies that got help were entities that weren't part of the celeb's main source of income. Funeral plans are beginning to take shape for Charlie Daniels. The Tennessean newspaper reports the service will be in the town of Murfreesboro with an open visitation in Mount Juliet. The funeral will be at 11 a.m. on Friday with visitation set for the day before. Daniels died Monday of a stroke. He was 83. And a custom casket's being built for the funeral of the world's longest surviving conjoined twins who died July 4th in Ohio of natural causes. Donnie and Ronnie Galen, who were born joined at the abdomen, claimed the world record in 2014 shortly before they turned 63. Their younger brother, Jim, said he's received an outpouring of support following their deaths. They made it to 68, and they couldn't ask for anything more, according to Jim. A funeral with family and friends is set for next week. Starting as children, Donnie and Ronnie Galen appeared at carnivals and on cruises as a sideshow attraction. Their income supported the family for years and retired from entertaining in 1991. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Guarantees, I think, are the biggest part of contracts now. Yeah. Uh, in, in a certain sense. They're, if you don't guys want to know, they're going to get paid no matter what. If you don't want to sign a guaranteed contract with a guy, good yeah. luck, because you're going to have to. Somebody thing. else will. What would it take crazy thing? for you for us to give you a guaranteed contract? I thought I had a guaranteed contract. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a genuine hard laugh. Right? Yeah. I haven't laughed this much since I heard this. <laughs> so, so fat. I'm so, so fat. I'm the fattest. I am fat. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Sunshine. Bob and Tom 24-7. 24-7. 7 Mama made us listen to Pink Floyd and Floyd Kramer. <laughs> we got three square meals of mushrooms and cornbread. 
Mama's kitchen smelled a lot like incense and cathead biscuits. <laughs> We'd watch Porter and Dolly and then throw on the Grateful Dead. <laughs> Born and raised on acid country. <laughs> eating turnip greens and a handful of nebutal. <laughs> yeah, daddy couldn't take it, he had to go. You can't play Hendrix on a banjo. Mama walked the floor and laid another brick in the wall. <laughs> Our heroes were Roy A. Cuff and Abby Hoffman. We grew up outside of Woodstock, Tennessee. Listening to Farron Young and a side of Inagata DeVita. Mama made a well-rounded outcast out of me. Born and raised on acid country. Eating coal ham hocks and a handful of Placidil. Yeah, daddy couldn't take it, he had to go play an Alice Cooper on a dobro, wearing leather hip huggers, working in the cotton mill. Everybody, and if you don't eat your meat, you can't have any pudding. And son, you're walking on the fighting side of me. Yeah, excuse me while I kiss the sky. I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die And Chad Atkins playing the guitar on the MTV uh -huh. Born and raised on acid country Making smoke on water sound a lot like Uncle Penn That's a bluegrass song Yeah, and Daddy couldn't take it, he had to go You can't mix date purple and Bill Monroe Roll, 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 hit it and sunshine of your 621 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, a couple of reasons to hang out, uh, or a thousand reasons, if they're dollars. Uh, be paying attention for your shot at a thousand bucks, as Chick would say, a grand in your hand. Yeah, baby. Been listening for that all day on Q95. Right now, we turn to Christy Lee through the glass for a quick forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather, brought to you by Car X. <laughs> oh, More sun oh. than clouds, chance for scattered thunderstorms, high 91. Yeah, there's drizzle in the studio right now. I can tell you. Right. Variable cloudiness tomorrow afternoon. Thunderstorms possible 93. It's Deadly 72. Particles floating around the room. Who sneezed? Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. The big heavy lady carrying watermelons. <laughs> did, you, did you bring a towel in if you're going to sneeze like that? I sneezed into my uh, armpit. Everything's well, that's fine. not right, good. The enough. vampire sneeze. That's right. You've seen the video thing where the guy sneezes his armpit and it just sprays all over the room. It's fake. I can't breathe right now. <laughs> Josh just sneezed. How long do you have to hold your breath? Six hours. <laughs> you know, it's worse than driving by that one graveyard here in town. Yeah. Jesus. You'll never get a hit if you breathe in the graveyard. Breathe. If, the, if the light goes red, you just collapse. <laughs> yep. Just take you right to the autopsy room. Why, why haven't they moved that? Yeah. Why haven't they moved the bodies? How hard is that nowadays? I think you start digging in there. I guess. All breaking up. Uh, well, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. It's uh, time for some more happy news. Uh, let's see, where were we? Oh, I know, in the big room here. It's uh, Ace, Chick. Josh, and this is Tom speaking, and we have uh, at least 10 feet apart, so we got the social distance thing going in here. Uh, Christy Lee is behind the glass over there in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Hi. Willie's in the hot box over there. Willie Griswold. Yep. Uh, good to see you, Willie. And then um, the Pat Godwin's in the other building. Hello. We have him linked via camera stuff, et cetera. Ready to check your oil and uh, change yep. your wiper blade. Yeah, yes, Pat has his, uh, Christy got us all shirts with our names on them. God, I love that. That's nice a good look shirt. for you, Pat. Well, nice work you. shirt, dark. Okay, good. Now yeah. chicks can talk to you in the store. They'll chicks. be able to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah they go, right. hey, where's the hey, plywood? Hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the wood for you, baby. Stuff like that. Oh, right here. Oh, I right. got you two yeah. by four. Yeah. <laughs> Pat's not allowed the hardware store Or at least you're two. Thank you, Right now it's two. You want to make a buy it may be short, but it's thin. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it lacks something in length. It yeah. really lacks in width. Okay. Hey, uh, baseball nears the two-week countdown. Did you hear me? I heard you. The two-week countdown to the start of their delayed season. The pandemic continues to march right along. The latest big name to be sidelined by a positive test is Eduardo Rodriguez. He was expected to start on opening day for the Sox, the Red Sox, the San Francisco Giants, Suspended workouts at Oracle. They awaited results of weekend tests. The Cubs question. workout has been delayed. Will the Giants have to change their name? I doubt it. 
Oh, I'm offended by your I don't know. As a How six many foot nine giants man. Do I know? <laughs> did you, you know, see, the, did you, did you heard the latest? Yes. Uh, someone whining about the name The Fighting Irish Pat. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do that story. Uh, okay, sorry. And that's been a punchline for years. I and know. It's, now it's a reality. Yeah, uh, I know. Oh, God. You know, uh, sportscasters in the know, of which I am not, mm -hmm. well, I've heard tell of uh, them referring to the San Francisco Giants as the oversized. No. <laughs> that is, no. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen. They just today. do that for fun. Sure. Yeah, they, they have a lot of time to think up there in the booth. Yeah, they do. A lot, a lot of, of downtime. Down yeah. Well, I'm sick of saying Giants. You got any ideas there, Mel? <laughs> Had an argument with the wife this evening. There's a pitch outside. <laughs> oh, no, look, uh, Mel, we're not too interested. Uh, yeah, oh, I, I slipped some camp. poisonous mushrooms in her soup. Uh, oh, oh, wait yeah. a minute. High oh. and outside. You're going to want to keep this to yourself. Oh, wait a minute. That's a home run. Sorry. That's a home run. That no, no, that's a high, deep fly ball, and that's out of here. Okay. I always wonder how those guys can tell exactly what kind of pitch it is. I don't know either. I've always wondered that. There's a fastball. You're 110 <laughs> feet away. <laughs> All they do is watch baseball. They they can see it. Boy, oh, boy. It's just <laughs> like you. <laughs> You just agree with that. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I add logic to your question? <laughs> no, no, no. You added uh, yeah, a, a pretentious knowledge that you don't actually have. Uh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> did, you, did you hear who said that? Uh, I couldn't do it, but his, I know that's what it is. His mouth is going to eat himself. Did you hear him? <laughs> sorry. Oklahoma and Texas it's a, it's officials are... obviously a slider. Oh, no. I Speaking of sliders... Um, can I pop uh, uh, 12 by. more, please? Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 some onion chips. Uh, sorry, oh, I broke the escalator. <laughs> ground ball to the show. <laughs> Oklahoma and Texas officials are cautiously optimistic that their annual football showdown still will be played at the Cotton Bowl uh, at the Fair Park in Dallas, despite the announcement Tuesday that the Texas State Fair is canceled. Uh, Oklahoma, Texas, one of the longest running and most intense rivalries in college football. It was scheduled for October 10th. So now they're canceling things in October. Man. Everybody, do you remember my declaration yesterday? Yeah. No, no pro sports people. Yes, that's what you said. No and baseball, NASCAR's no basketball, managed to no football. Do it pretty well. Also, although sadly, Jimmy Johnson. Yeah. Are you uh, counting uh, without fans as the sport continuing? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I don't think I would. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think I would. You can still watch it on TV. Mm -hmm. I mean, you still be they a fan. They want to get the TV revenue. People want to watch TV, and people yeah. want to bet on stuff. Remember so. the thing yesterday? The story about. People were betting on what was it, Korean baseball or something, yeah. and the sports book sure. had the wrong times. And Plenty to bet on soccer. People were betting on games that had already started and <laughs> yes, <laughs> cashing in because they were smarter than the sports book. Oh, sorry, That's back right. to you. Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson has canceled his annual fun day with LJ. Hmm. Uh, now you remember Chick McGee's fun day uh, last year? Uh, those are. We still have lawsuits pending. So oh. we, yeah, they got we, too fun. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. weren't going to. Yeah. Either yours is bad. BJ Thomas's. Yikes. What? <laughs> fun day with BJ. Yeah. That was, oh, boy. That, oh, was, was like, got, uh, that got ugly. Oh. Not enough women showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. A couple of guys had to take one for the event. You know. <laughs> All right, fine. But next week's fun day. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Can I go on break? <laughs> An ATM fun day. Uh, sure, there was some free money. Uh, but yeah. Who, who is this? Is fun for <laughs> uh, and the day after the announcement of his 10 year oh first person injured in the NFL if we have a season Patrick Mahomes write that oh. down oh, uh, the day after the announcement of his 10 year 503 million dollar contract extension for Patrick Mahomes the man yeah. said there are some new restrictions in his contract uh oh he must be carried around on a pillow <laughs> yeah. okay, yeah. according okay. to Kansas City Chiefs management. No, the Chiefs quarterback said he is barred from playing basketball, baseball, no jet skiing, and pretty much every physical activity you can think of, he said. Makes sense. Uh, from now on, he'll be sticking to football and video games. Ah. But, of course, the landscape is littered with the Major League Baseball players in particular being injured by a video game. T tearing a ligament in their thumb, and oh, et cetera, man. et cetera. No, but I mean, did, uh, I also think that guys like this, they should go, go up to them and go, hey, uh, maybe not Mr. Mahomes. He seems like a pretty bright guy. But a lot of these guys should be told, hey, stay off Twitter, okay? 
Uh, yeah. You're an idiot. You're, yeah. you're good at your sport, but we don't really need you to weigh in on everything. Yeah, I, right. I think Deshaun Jackson wants a time machine right about <laughs> Yeah, now. yeah. Well, it's anyway. four in the morning, I'm drunk. I think I'll yeah. weigh in on this topic. It's a good time for this. Hey, you get a $25,000 bonus if you never tweet this season. Yeah, absolutely. I, no, I would, or, or just put it in their contract. A lot of these guys, I would make sure they had a driver and a bodyguard. At all. He'll have to have a bodyguard at all times. He won't be able to go anywhere. But yeah. um, don't you think? In, in many cases, if these guys had someone he with is, them. He has been uh, less than uh, easy to play with and work with over his career. So I don't know why they haven't attached someone to him to just more or less keep track of him and what he's doing. I don't know why they don't do that. When you're investing half a billion dollars yeah, in a guy. they don't do more of that. I so is the understand. contract null and void if he, say, jet skis? Uh, I don't know what be. they do to them. If they, hmm. I think they would have grounds for breach, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. A lot think. of these contracts have real specific things. Like, for example, uh, some of them, they can't fly in an airplane that is not uh, piloted by two pilots. It's, gotcha. It's, there's all kinds of stuff that they don't want. There goes skiing. You and won't I, be seeing him in Aspen. Right. And he probably has a, uh, they probably have an unbelievable insurance policy on him. Well, Willie didn't know this, but uh, I think he was uh, in line to do our show when we used to take, uh, I'll be on the same flight to go to the Bahamas, didn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't he? Uh, yeah. Right. It'd be a Sam and, Sam and Willie show oh, yeah. in case, uh-huh. in case Willie the plane away. went down. Yeah, you don't put the quarterback and the backup quarterback on the same plane. No. Yeah. There's, yeah. there's yeah. protocol yeah. for that. Now, he's not allowed to jet ski, but did you read, if you keep reading there, that Mr. Mahomes is allowed to. Um, Oh, uh, he can he can uh, dive into uh, piles of money. Oh, oh that's yeah. first McDuck style. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. Fill, right? fill a pool with ca- with cash, no coins. Oh, well, yeah, and, that's uh, hurt. That hurts. Wow, well, no coins, please. A uh, golfer in Wisconsin has been injured after getting shot by a man who was uh, aiming for a woodchuck. Let's go over that sentence again. <laughs> what did you just say? A golfer in Wisconsin has been injured. Yes. after getting shot by a man who was aiming at a woodchuck. Wow. Whoa, he must have been short. <laughs> uh, we have the theme music to this. <laughs> Regional thing, go for it. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, um, so, I'm, so this guy looked like a woodchuck. Is that what happened? And uh, here's an old West sentence. According to Dodge County Sheriff Dale Schmidt, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not really an old West name. Yeah, it was pretty good though. Uh, the 80 year old man was playing. 80 years old. He Got was shot? playing, uh, playing oh, around boy. the golf at the golf club at Camelot on Monday. <gasps> In Camelot, when he was hit in the upper torso by a bullet that ricocheted off some trees. Josh, you ever see the knockoff on the great play Camelot? Uh, the Spamalot? Spamalot? No, no, the porn version. Camelot. Oh, no, I've not, I've not seen that yet. <laughs> yeah, you want to wear yeah. glasses. If oh, you want to wear. Chucks and, you. You chucks and act, gophers are, are different. <laughs> you have actually looked at me and said, hey, low-hanging fruit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's crude. Oh, really, really So really this have. dead guy's 80 years old. Is that what's going on? I don't he's think he's dead. dead. No, no is it? A 50-year-old guy took a shot at him, and gophers and woodchucks are different. They are different. Woodchucks yeah. have white teeth. Gophers have yellow or brown teeth. So it's a, so it's a hygiene issue. Pink <laughs> feet. Groundhogs have And then, and then have what is it? Bucky Beaver, the... Uh who was he? Who was the beaver, the spokesperson for what toothpaste was that? Oh, oh I don't oh know. Oh, my God. Yes, that's, it was in what? the 50s. Yeah, Pepsodent, oh. I think, Pepsodent? had a beaver mascot. Yeah. yeah. A gopher's tail is hairless, groundhog short, covered in thick fur. There are quite a few differences. Oh, so, but they, but they so the are thing close. is, this guy's shooting at a gopher, and he, and he practically know. kills an 80-year-old guy? He, I hope he shot him at least in the ankle yeah, who, or something. Who was it, Bill Murray? What is it? <laughs> God. You know how my brain works. Ready? Yeah. You'll wonder where the yellow went. When you brush your teeth with, with Pepsodent. Pepsodent. Wow. You know, you normally yell at Tom about ancient references. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> and there was a, and the knockoff, the knockoff was, um, you'll wonder where the yellow came from when you brush your teeth with bubble gum. You know, when I was seven, I thought that was hilarious. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they, then they came out with bubble gum toothpaste when I was about 35. Uh, nothing. I'm too old for it now. Yeah. No, nothing not. touches uh, yes, here it is. beans, the musical fruit. The history of Bucky Beaver, Ipana toothpaste. Ipana. I Ipana? That, Ipana is literally almost 100 years old. I've never I'm even sure heard it. it. Yeah, do I don't they know still the, sell? I don't, I don't know if they, Ipana is still out there. I do know this. I was they getting, had mercury in their paste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, was getting, I was getting a haircut last week. Yes. Uh, and you know this uh, lady. Right. She has a little tiny shampoo museum. Right. And I've always joked about... 
the shampoo museum that women have in their bath in the bathtub rim. There, uh, she had Prell. Yeah, of course. Remember they used to put the little pearl the in pearl it. Pearl in it, mm-hmm. yeah, from back in the day. <laughs> yeah, and all she had. She has this sort of collection of really, really old shampoos, it's including. Really cool. She had a bottle of G. Your hair smells terrific. Yep. Huh. And that was. And are you? Do you remember that, Josh? No, I don't remember that it. Was, I, I'm there, aware of it. There I, were all these commercials and G. Your hair smells terrific. And then the, that's the name of the shampoo. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, they they went under when they tried to go into feminine hygiene products. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yeah, not, not popular. Yeah, gee, yeah that it was, was yeah. very awkward. Yeah, that's 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 what's yeah, wild, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Leonard Nimoy for G. <laughs> In search of my pen. <laughs> the history of Bucky Beaver. A uh, 50 year old man told investigators he was trying to shoot a woodchuck on his property. He had ab- apparently missed the animal, wound up wounding the golfer, treated at St. Agnes Hospital. Oh, that lady, that was no lady, that was my wife hospital. And Fond de Lac, which means I really like the lac. Yep. And uh, ah. re- released, Schmidt said the incident is still under investigation. There you go. Okay, shooting and he. Right next to a golf course? Does he live Lord. right by this golf course? Yeah. Did he at least yell four before? Yeah, it's Come like on. I I wonder <laughs> how, when you lived in that house on the golf course, or how Sam doesn't hit, shoot somebody on the golf course. He's right there. He's not taking a rifle out and shooting at chipmunks in the backyard when you there are golfers Man, right That sounds fun, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, woodchuck, yeah. I wouldn't oh. shoot a chipmunk. That's too hard. No, to yesterday I weighed <laughs> in with and start shooting all those monkeys small. in Thailand no. that are bothering people. They're going to start castrating the monkeys or neutering them. Yeah. yeah. they got thousands of them. Take out a rifle. Let's hire some hunters. Thin the herd. Seems a little cruel. The no, monkeys it doesn't. Are just, they're, uh, no, they're uh, raging, crazy yeah, monkeys. Couldn't, couldn't you argue the people are in the monkeys' territory? Yeah. Yeah. Ecotone, man. They're, well, you they're could argue that if you were okay. a communist. Uh, <laughs> pinko. Uh, I don't know what they do in Thailand. Oh, they're geez. just trying to monkey around, you know. Hey, people say they monkey around. <laughs> I don't know why they just don't roll a barrel out in the middle of the street <laughs> and all the monkeys will come and jump in the barrel. Look at the oh, barrel. Yeah. Isn't that the way it works? Barrel yeah. full of monkeys. How did sure. that start, by the way? Barrel, barrel full of monkeys? You measure monkeys by the barrel. I have no idea. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, really. I liked the game it. when I was a kid. Oh, it was never fun. Never oh, fun. Not for a second. <laughs> oh. no. Most of the times, uh, pick up the monkeys. Okay. <laughs> Make sure they're all back yep. in the barrel. All right. So the guy's in his backyard shooting woodchucks and almost kills a go- 80-year-old golfer. I was shot. Oh. <laughs> There's something Just else like going World on War One. Uh-huh. Okay. I shot at the Kaiser once. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> That's right. How Here. much wood could a woodchuck chuck if you shot him? None. Uh, none. <laughs> Thank you. We were on the ration program. I only got six bullets a month. <laughs> now, uh, uh, Pat, are we ready in a minute for our uh, Ringo, Ringo Star birthday uh, I'm tribute? Ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sounds That's like a, he's ready. Okay. Uh, golf fans. Well, to I, save that, uh, we uh, will get to that coming up. I take exception with this story. Do you? I don't, I don't agree with it. I think it's uh, false hope. Well, give us, a, glory. give us a, a tease then. No, no. It's, it's uh, Jack Nicholas and Tiger Woods. Playing Two of the best ever against each other in quotes. Oh, yeah. you're not really playing. No. Okay, that's yeah. so it's one of those fake things. Yeah, it's kind of like that fantasy yes, concert Mah- that yeah, used Muhammad to have. Muhammad Ali takes on John L. Sullivan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Those are great arguments for morons. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing: uh, uh, Ali couldn't beat Tyson uh, if Tyson had a machine gun. Okay. okay all right. Uh, let's see. We. Um, um, I want to tell you, this is really good information. Right now, the best thing to have in the world probably is a is a set of Raycon earbuds. Mm-hmm. You can uh, lock out the world, listen to a, maybe a great podcast, listen to your favorite music. Uh, you can go on the phone while you're driving. It's a lot safer. And Raycons are the best. They're also half the price of those premium wireless earbuds. The new everyday E25 earbuds. You know, turn me on to those, Christy. It, it was chick, chick. chick. That's right. That's right. Right here, baby. I did the legwork. I went out there and searched the world over, and I thought I found the best you earbuds. thought and, you found true love, but you found... And then I found Raycons, the E25 earbuds. Oh, my goodness. Not only do they sound great, and that, let's face it, that's the bottom line, but they're comfy. They're perfect for on the go. You can take a phone call. Six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing. The Raycon E25 earbuds have it all. If you don't believe me, and I don't know why you wouldn't, uh, Snoop Dogg also. We're Snoop getting love Dogg. letters from our listeners yeah. about the E25 earbuds. And by the oh, way, they great. are adjustable. That's right. They have those little rubbery things so they can fit your ears. Like little gasket things. They have various size nubs for yes, each nubs. and every ear. Are they called nubs? nubs? I like nubs. From here on out, they're called nubs. Get 15% off your order 
we we got you a deal, of course. Uh, use buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Spend the evening at home by yourself together with the magic of in-ear headphones. What's that, honey? I can't hear you. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Thank you very much. Love the Raycon. Buyraycon.com slash Tom. Coming up, Tiger Woods versus Jack Nicholas. Nope. Uh, also, <laughs> fighting Irish, is, is that going to have to go away, too? Okay. What's the next? I don't know. I, I, this is becoming completely ridiculous. <laughs> we'll find out more. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Want to share something? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24 7. Hey, Nick Griffin, Mark Allison here on a Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. Thanks so much for joining us. Great show today. Allie Breen, Jessica Alsman, Willie Griswold all in the house. We're just getting started. Lots more to come right here on Bob and Tom 24 7. I'm Chick McGee. This is your Bob and Tom Sports Update. As baseball nears the two-week countdown to the start of the delayed season, the pandemic continues to keep more players off the field. The latest big name to be sidelined by a positive test for the virus is Eduardo Rodriguez. He was expected to start on opening day for the Red Sox. The Giants suspended workouts at Oracle Park as they await the results of weekend tests. And the Cubs' workout was delayed. Red Sox prospect Bobby Dahlbeck also tested positive for the virus. The Washington Nationals and Houston Astros resumed workouts after canceling practices on Monday because of testing delays. And the San Francisco Giants say they are suspending workouts at Oracle Park pending the results of tests conducted this past weekend. On Monday, the club said two people had tested positive for the virus but didn't provide further details on whether the two were players, coaches, or staff. Prospect Hunter Bishop and pitcher Luis Madero in the 60-player pool already have tested positive. And Oklahoma and Texas officials are cautiously optimistic that their annual football showdown still will be played at the Cotton Bowl in the Fair Park in Dallas, despite the announcement yesterday that the Texas State Fair would be canceled. And Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson has canceled his annual Fun Day with LJ event in Florida due to the coronavirus. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. We have a lot to get to today. Um, a lot of things are going on, of course. And again, I think it's very important to know that right now that we are all living in a world where there's just so much information and bad information and good information and disinformation and misinformation floating around. You're probably wondering who's going to sort it out for you. Well, don't never forget that um, the mission statement of our program is. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Just do that. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. This is Bob and Tom 24-7. Comedy, guests, Bob and Tom exclusives. And it's here on the Internet. Bob and Tom 24-7. Play any ball says, you won't play best and sing. 
And Tom 24 7. Well, internet porn. Oh. Ah, well, there's yeah. photography. You know, people don't go, yeah, photography. <laughs> people don't go to porn shops anymore. No? You know, because of the internet. Oh, that's true. But I think you miss out on the social aspect. <laughs> Is there a social aspect to that? Yeah, well, you avoid eye contact, uh-huh. try to yeah. hide your titles. <laughs> Tranny. Oh, no, I was working on my car. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, though, I was watching gay porn. Uh oh. No, wait, I'm sorry. I was watching pro wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're too high when you're eating cereal naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. I mean, and that's the difference. I mean, when you spill something and you rent it, you think, eh, maybe next commercial. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, like, I got to get that up right away. That's my floor. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. And suddenly it's your floor. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. But true. I do love the. Are you handy? Very, yeah. Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because if you know, if if they can't find you handsome, they better find you handy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, I, well, I have a hat that says that. <laughs> you should take it down to Napa. I think I, I think Phil just made the quotes page. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think he did. Yeah. If they can't truth. find you handsome, they better. And, find and they won't find me handsome because I'm not. I and mean, I wish I was. I mean, I really because that's a break. Yeah. If you, some guys are lucky. I mean, some guys were born with make love to me yep. good looks, yeah. and uh, mm-hmm. I. I, I was born with, ask him, maybe he knows where it is. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Very different. Yeah. Very different. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Excuse uh, me, do you know where the handsome men that we have sex with are? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're down the beach. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And everything, you know this is true, because everything a handsome guy does is cool. Everything. They have messy haircut, doesn't matter. Yeah. You know, they wear jeans that are all ripped up, torn, frayed. Looks good. 646 Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Quick forecast, Miss Lee. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by Car X. More sun than clouds. <laughs> High 91. <sighs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Um, where was I? I lost my place. Um, oh, I know. Th- th- this is the Bob and Tom program, and we're in the big room here with Ace, our engineer, of course, the hey. proprietor of the Ace Cosby joke of the day. Jake McGee is across the way at the sports desk. How about ya? Thank you very much. Josh is over there. Hi. In the sidekick uh, chair. Indeed. In the hot box, it's Willie Griswold. Hey, Willie. Hey. And uh, let's see. Christy Lee's in the other room behind the glass. Socially distanced, ladies and gentlemen. And then electronically distanced in the other building. It's Pat Godwin. Looking good today, Pat. Thank you. Got a special song coming up in a matter of moments from Pat. Want to remind you that our buddy Al Jackson will be our guest tomorrow. His, uh, his, His project called Baby Steps in a yellow tuxedo is now on Amazon Prime Video for free. All right. So uh, check it out. Al Jackson doing a great live show. Uh, now, uh, where was I? Uh, oh, I, we were in the world of uh, sports with uh, Chick McGee. Is Golf right? fans uh, will get to see, in quotes, Tiger Woods in his prime face Jack Nicholas in his prime. British Open organizers in Scotland have launched a virtual version of the major championship that will air July 16th through the 19th. So I assume it'll be Nicholas in his best performance. The event. The whole, then they'll show Tiger in his. The, oh, it's called the Open for the Ages. All right. Okay. Created by British Open organizers and will broadcast around the world on the British Open's social media cha- uh, channels and the Golf Channel on the same dates as the now canceled British Open. Of course, the uh, Open canceled due to the uh, little thing called the pandemic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is this the thing where they take shots and it goes like a projector screen and then it... Oh, I don't know. Is it that kind of thing? I No. I would, I, just, I would just think they would just... I, I don't know. They're going to have to edit it together, I would think. Wouldn't they take, okay, do. this is the best... T- 
Tiger ever did on this hole at the British Open. And wow. uh, quite a while ago, they they uh, the NFL Network did uh, the Ultimate Super Bowl champion, and they edited together the Steelers against the 49ers or something. The Steelers from like '74 or whatever it was. And yeah. this is a little like when Michael Phelps raced to the shark. A little bit, yeah. Where they didn't actually he, race. He wasn't was, there. Yeah, they, just yeah. Timed, they timed it. Up. <laughs> There'll be a virtual cage match featuring all of Tiger Woods' past girlfriends. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, he's a new Tiger, okay? No, I thought that was a nice comeback last year. Good to know. Uh, and yeah. here we are, everybody. Daniel Morrison of Slap the Sign, Notre Dame's fan site, has launched a campaign for the university to consider changing their name. At a time when the Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians are taking serious looks at their names, it only makes sense that the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame will be under the spotlight. In short, uh, the uh, Mr. Morrison uh, argues that in spite of many people embracing the Fighting Irish moniker, it's rooted in negative stereotypes of Catholics and immigrants. I, I thought the Irish wanted to fight anybody. Isn't that the thing? Yeah, the <laughs> Irish are a violent people. people <laughs> <laughs> that's, accurate. You know, that's the negative stereotype. Pretty, uh, pretty accurate there. <laughs> well, I think in the, in the, in the I'm context, half Irish. Totally unprompted. There you go. <laughs> I think I'm half Irish. I was completely kidding. Uh, Pat, it's you're the Irishman joke. in the room. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, you know, we, we don't care. Uh, if you were to pull uh, Irish people, 99% would say, it doesn't, it, we don't care. I think it's positive. It's, hey, you, you, you got to... I don't know. You're playing football. It's a competition. Yeah, Fighting Irish. yeah you got to fight. You know, what do you what want him to be? The, you know, layover and the, die? No, the after you Irish. No, no, yeah. you do it. What about the uh, little, taking, that's ridiculous. little Italian guy with the big bushy mustache <laughs> on the pizza box? What about that? <laughs> Is that the whole team, Dave? <laughs> yeah, what about that? Pizza box guy? No, Italian. Uh, well, remember, there was a sect of Italian Americans who were really upset that The Sopranos was... That's exactly that's right. That's true. They did a couple episodes on The Sopranos addressing that issue, right. actually. That was a big deal for a second. A big damn deal. Well, even wow. in season one, they make little illusions being like, are you seeing how Italian Americans are portrayed on television? <laughs> and they're saying that in the show. I think it was kind of a nod yep. to it. Yep. The Fighting exactly Irish right. logo is a little... Cartoon Isn't he sort of leprechaun? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's the whole character. point. Right? Yeah. Pat, is a small Irish oh. man, does that offend you? Or? Not at all. <laughs> a small Irish man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yes. Uh, Not at all. And according to the fan site, Irish people once were looked at in the United States with the same prejudice that other minorities are facing today. You know, That's I, true. That is true. I wasn't offended until now. Now I am offended. There you go. I no, think they, they they're, they're, they're famous for... Uh, uh, you'd go to rent a place that it would say no Irish. No, of yeah. course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Irish need not apply. Right. Excuse me, sir. This is fresh as today's headlines. Excuse me, sir. I understand you're uh, just now offended by the Notre Dame fighting Irish name. That's so, right. So do yeah. they want him to be just the Irish? Or... Uh, the indifferent Irish? Uh, stereotypes were born from them being prejudiced uh, against, and uh, one can see from the aforementioned professional franchises. Well, this was written by an erudite jerk. There's a long... I so, believe, sorry about in that. your words, dick is the word you're looking <laughs> There's for. There's a long, a long history of uh, stereotypes in this country for sports teams. People are trying to undo what their forefathers did. Should Notre Dame get rid of the leprechaun logo and the name Fighting Irish? No. No. Or just drop fighting and Notre Dame yeah. Irish. And add drunken. <laughs> I'm fat. I'm glad you made that joke. Yeah. I was going to say sober. No one would believe the Drunken that. fighting Irish. <laughs> That's your point is. Is there anything to that or is that a stereotype? What? Uh, drunken Irish. Oh, there's a lot to it. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you're... <laughs> many, 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 not you're, just you're, myself. Your anecdotal research would show. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was out in the it. fields doing many, well, a lot of tests. <laughs> a lot of field work. A lot of field work. A lot of field work resulting in a marriage or two. Uh, okay. Two, exactly. Yeah. Okay, that, very good. No, uh, Pat, uh, I, this is really unbelievable. Do you th will this take? Is this going to happen? Maybe I, I may be in the wrong side of this one. I just no, no. Never, I, this one never even occurred to me. I was me comically either. taking the side of what's going to be next? <laughs> the Cincinnati Reds? Are they going to go? Well, the color red. That's uh, not. Uh, that's based on the socks, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. Or uh, the stockings. Was, or wasn't there the it was? reds? The, when there was the red legs. Then that during, was, during yeah. the red scare, didn't they change it to naming yourself after your socks? Was a big thing there in Major League Baseball for a while. Red sure. socks, white socks. Well, that socks, is. That's, all, that's the only uh, examples I have. But. <laughs> Woodstock. Woodstock. Yeah, okay, good. Okay, yeah. Uh, hey, look what time it is. What time is it? I thought it was time for Pat's song. Oh, is it time for Pat's song? Which yeah. one, Tom? Are we, we forgot to do our Ringo tribute on Ringo's oh, birthday. Oh, we didn't forget. 
Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. Yesterday, we forgot completely. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was Ringo Starr. Mm. Ringo Starr turned 80. Mm-hmm. Wow, people do that if they stay alive. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Way to go on having a birthday, Ringo. You know what's nuts? Next year, 81. Whoa, wow. how does that happen? Yikes. That's it. If Way you can believe it, buddy. the year after that, 82, if you guys can believe nah, it. Ah, you're a lie. That's oh. not going to I, I swear, I promise. Is that nonsense. Uh, mm-hmm. I hope we play this when he turns 81 and dies. And then- <laughs> hey, don't you? I, everybody loves Ringo. Go. Come on. Peace and love. Peace and love. What was it? Was he the uh, goofy one? He no, was Paul fun. was the cute one. John was the dangerous one. George he's a good, was... And he was a good drummer. Oh, he, was okay. one, he was one of the Beatles. It was all oh, about okay. being four guys, oh, all for one, one for all. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Pat. Who would have thought I'd be 80 years old and my beard would stay brown as can be? <laughs> I don't sign drums, but I'll flash a peace sign. I dribble sometimes when I pee. Oh, I get by with a little help from Depends. <laughs> I keep dry with a little help from Depends. My hair, I'm gonna die while I'm wearing Depends. While I'm wearing Depends. <laughs> All right. Lovely. Nice. A, uh, good note. Uh, that last note. Uh, nice work. Pat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You nailed it. A touching it. tribute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really wonderful. Uh, brought a tear to my eye. Really <laughs> wonderful. When he takes off the Depends, he thinks of Yellow Submarine. <laughs> uh, World record coming up, buddy. Ca- okay. Come and also, uh, Cardi B and her VJJ in the news. Yikes. Yeah, oh, no. That's, oh, I'm being it's... kind. I'm not making this up. Car- Cardi B laid it all out. And, uh, uh, that's, and that's Milton Berle style. <laughs> and there's more to it. It's not just that. If you Threw go out enough to win, yeah. you start there and go south and then north. That's in the news too. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, man, the old dirt button. <laughs> when we come back, <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Comedy via your computer. Bob and Tom, 24-7. This is Bob and Tom, 24-7. Hey, for everything Bob and Tom, check out one spot on the internet, bobandtom.com. All the latest highlights, news, information, plus links to our social media sites, including Bob and Tom's VIP, of course, much, much more. Remember, you can always email us, bobandtom at bobandtom.com. If you'd like to request something, put it in the subject line. We'll see if we can't get it on for you. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump is launching an all-out effort to press state and local officials to reopen schools this fall. He says some are keeping schools closed, not because of coronavirus risks, but for political reasons. Trump hosted a White House roundtable Tuesday with health and education leaders who said schools and colleges can open safely. They argue the risks of keeping students at home outweigh any risks tied to the coronavirus and that students need access to meals and mental and behavioral health services. Chief Justice John Roberts spent a night in the hospital last month after he fell and injured his forehead. A Supreme Court spokeswoman confirmed Tuesday night that Roberts was treated at a hospital on June 21st for an injury sustained in a fall while walking for exercise near his home. Roberts's injury required sutures, and out of an abundance of caution, he stayed in the hospital overnight. Some people are so desperate to fly again, they're signing up for what we call fantasy flights. 
This is in Taiwan, where aviation officials held an online drawing for people to come on a flight to nowhere. Winners were invited to Taipei's International Airport, where they got on a jet. The flight never left the ground, but those aboard did get the experience of air travel. They had to check in, get boarding passes, even go through immigration and security. Once they took their seats, the passengers, all wearing masks, were served food and drinks, even got a salute from fire engines that sprayed water. To complete the experience after getting off, passengers went through a simulated customs drill, complete with a sniffer dog. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom shows on the way. Hi, this is Ross Bennett, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. I can't sleep. I have to say this all night long. You should have seen me last night when I... I fell down laughing and I stumbled down a flight of metal stairs. <laughs> I went crashing through the window at the VFW hall. Tumbled over a pile of metal chairs. <laughs> then I cussed out my girlfriend, tried to feel up her mom. <laughs> I wrecked my car, I think I bruised my spine. Oh, you ought to go with me when I... Go out drinking. <laughs> Always have myself a real good time. <laughs> I got drunk and stole this boat out of the Edgewater Yacht Club doing 90 miles an hour up to the bay. I sank her out by Buckeye Point and walked on into town. <laughs> Tore up someone's flowers on my way. <laughs> then I barged into the cruise nest and I threw up on the rug. <laughs> I slapped that hostess on her big behind. Oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. I talk dirty to the waitress and I never ever leave her no tip. Leave her all my roaches in the guacamole dip. Oh, you ought to go with me when I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time So I'm going out tonight And I'm gonna tie on a good one Does anybody here want to go out drinking with me? Yeah! Well, I'll take you to this biker bar Where we can kick some ass <laughs> And a gay bar We'll get our drinks for free! <laughs> we'll do shooters of tequila And a case of beer apiece We'll wash it down Gallon of cheap island wine. Oh, you ought to go with me when I, I go out drinking. Always have myself a real good time. I like to shout out loud. No one at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Quick forecast, Christy. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by Car X. More sun than clouds. Chance for scattered thunderstorms. High 91. Pretty much the same for tomorrow. High 93. Sunny and 72 right now. Thank you very much. And uh, Christy, um, yes, uh, I'll start it off for you. A. 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 Thank you. Nobody else well, will yeah. play it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Pat heard AA and thought I'm it was sorry. time for his meeting. AA. Now it's I'm time Pat. for Triple A. Want a membership that offers peace of mind, saves you a ton of money? Well, everyone knows when you have a Triple A membership, you get the security of 24 7 roadside service with just a call or a click, along with car battery replacement service and towing when you need it most. But your Triple A membership also offers you access to great discounts and deals on food from your favorite delivery place and automatic savings on online purchases. Plus, your AAA membership would be a great gift, maybe for a grad. And what does it cost? About the same as a fast food meal combo, and that's just per month. What are you waiting for, AAA? Stop by an office, visit AAA.com, or call 844-GO-AAA-GO. Cash coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Let's see, there's Ace, that's Chick, and I'm Tom, that's Josh. Doing How about his, ya? Doing his Bob the Head dance. You, yeah. move, you don't move any other part of your body, just move the head. Uh, that looks good. <laughs> All right. That's your cruising uh, <laughs> look. Well, the you're out your car, driving around. Wow, that's, <laughs> the barrel, look at that. <laughs> that's good, that's good. Uh, let's see, through the glass, it's Christy Lee. Over Hi, there. everybody. In the hot box, it's Willie G. Hey. hey. And uh, wait a minute, we could do a whole rhyming thing. We got Willie G, Christy Lee, and Patty G. Woo, there we yeah. go. Pat Godwin, uh, big fan of the Fighting Irish, which apparently there's a movement now to change the name of the Fighting Irish. That's silly. Uh, 
Silly, silly. I think Josh is right. It's, it's, it's you know, football teams are supposed to be out there fighting. It's not the, uh, the compromising Irish or the... Indifferent Irish. Yeah. I'm starting to change my mind. I think this is, has hurt a lot of people. Really? That name, yes. <laughs> That's right. What about the children? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah, drunken redheads, that okay with you? Mm. Yeah, that one works. <laughs> okay, it good. It's, okay. not, it's not a particular... Redheads get uh, drunk? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no geography involved. <laughs> right. Redheads for anywhere. anyway. Yeah. Now, earlier we had the story. I didn't <laughs> really quite understand it. A guy was an 80-year-old man uh, playing around to golf. It's pretty, pretty. Outside, enjoying time. the sunshine. Yeah. In Wisconsin? Is and he gets you? shot. Yep, in Wisconsin. Well, yeah. I think I'll go for the... Oh! oh, my God. And he gets shot by a guy who claims he was trying to shoot a woodchuck, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then I said, is the woodchuck the same as a gopher? Right. I'm, I'm not sure. And then you pointed out, Christy, that there's a distinction in their teeth? Yeah, um, woodchucks have, what did I say, white teeth and the... Um, gophers have gophers yellow. have or, yellow or brown teeth. Yeah, they They smoke. also have a different tail. Okay, but... Then I asked, what about beavers? Because beavers are famous for their white teeth because of that old commercial. Yeah. We were trying to remember if it was Pepsodent or Colgate or Crest. It was uh, Ipana. Turns Ipana. out it was Ipana. Uh, but, um, and I don't know, Is I d didn't research this. Is Ipana still out there? I don't know. I'll no look. Idea. I've never even heard of it until just now. And so. I think it was like a tooth powder, I think. Uh, but I've got the, the Bucky Beaver mascot. For yes. Ibana? There was a jingle. Let's give this a listen. And I think this may be referenced in Greece, the uh, movie and stage play. Here we go. Anna presents Bucky Beaver Engineer. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Here's the new Ipana with a brand new flavor. It's dandy for your teeth. Ipana knocks out decay germs, best of all eating brands. It's a talking beaver. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Get the new Ipana. Teeth rhymes. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Knock out decay germs, best. Best, best, you sure are right. Ipana oh, for God. your teeth. Eight more minutes. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be um, the worst jingle ever. They yeah. are not still out there. But Bucky Beaver, here's an interesting thing. Is he available? They were, um, <laughs> that mascot was created by Disney folks. Oh, okay. It was a Disney created uh, yeah, character. Yeah, Frenchie in Greece does something with Brusha, Brusha, yes. Brusha. Yeah. Right. I forget. Wasn't Frenchie played by a 45 year old Stockard Channing? <laughs> no, that was uh, oh. the other one. I forget yeah. her name. Oh, like, Didi Khan? Very, oh. very rarely in uh, those movies about high school does anyone look like they're. In high school. <laughs> That's yeah. right. Didi Khan was in Greece, and yeah. she was also in You Light Up My Life. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Remember mm -hmm. that song? I remember the song, but I didn't, I didn't go see the movie. Oh, Ipana yeah. is not still available. Sorry. If you love the song, you had to see the movie. <laughs> Frenchie okay. Didi Khan. Yeah. Apparently, mm -hmm. in the movie, I guess, Greece, she's singing along with the commercial. Actually, it may have been Marty. I don't The great, who I, I had a huge crush on her, uh, Dinah Manoff. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Wasn't she, that John Travolta's girlfriend for a while? I don't know. And she was on soap. She, boy, she was hot. And on empty, even on Empty Nest, she was hot. Okay. Well, um, so much for the clean buck teeth. And the so the police are investigating why this golfer got shot by some dude. Right. Okay. Poor guy. He's okay though. He's, he lived. Wouldn't you like to hear uh, yeah, a news yeah. conference where they uh, use the term "some dude"? <laughs> <laughs> so, some dude is still at large. And the guy that shot was eighty. Yeah. Just out having a well, nice day. The guy that was hit was 50. No, no, the guy who was hit was 80. No, the guy who hit was, the guy who got hit was 80? Yeah. Yes, the guy who You read the story. Oh, I had the story upside down. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and the woodchuck was 17. <laughs> Could you move on? What else is going on? Son of a gun. How'd he get mad at me? <laughs> Stupid world record. An Oregon woman has set the world record for the fastest beer mile. Ooh. Oh, I love this event. Allison Grace Morgan bested Liz Herndon's record of 617.8 by completing the mile in 616.5. Honey, don't answer the door. It's Liz Herndon. Yeah. <laughs> I think this is a great event. Remember we... Remember Didn't the, you guys do this? We did that. Well, we had Vibs from our staff do it, and he yeah. barfed yeah. after one lap. God, it was the best. Oh, so that's funny. amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Nothing Vibs. funnier than a guy vomiting and laughing at the same time. It, just, it, was, it was all fluid. I mean... Oh. <laughs> Due to the virus, this year's Beer Mile World Classic took place virtually. Oh, it with did. With runners competing for $8,000 in prize and bonus money. Oh. How do they know they don't cheat? The so, Rosie Ruiz of beer milers. Yeah. <laughs> so that this is eight thousand dollars. This is eight thousand dollars in prize and beer money for everybody. 
Yeah, not, but not you, one chunk. But I remember, I can dig up the story, the guy that had the record, he was a Canadian guy, I remember that, and he had a shoe deal. Oh, the next day, I, I think, didn't he? think. On the men's side, few thought Canadian Corey Belmore's world record of 433.6. That's 433.6 while drinking beers. Yeah, that's yeah. nuts. That's nuts. And, and if I'm, am Do you I drink every quarter mile? I think, I, you, so, I yeah. think you have to chug a beer, go... And then stop every quarter mile and drink one. Yeah, I you ha- you can't be running and drinking. At the I'd same be time. lucky if I could run a third of a mile in four thirty. Ah, I think so. Yeah, I absolutely. think you'd be lucky if you could run a third of a mile. You are mean. No, no, he's right. You could run a third of a mile. And why is that, Josh? Why? Why? why would <laughs> well, that there ain't no one fatter than me. <laughs> I'm the biggest man around. What you gonna do with that extra so sub? Bad. I'm so so fat. <laughs> what you gonna do with the extra <laughs> sub? What you gonna Nobody's do with that extra sub? Nobody's fatter than me. <laughs> All I do, I eat and jerk it and jerk it. And eat. <laughs> <laughs> I once tried to eat a car <laughs> just because it smelled like food. I once tried to eat a car. They were burning that corn, and they thought, I thought it was corn oil. And- so I'm sorry, the the, uh, the lady who won the beer mile of, uh, what was her name? I'm sorry, I, I lost it. Grace Morgan. Okay, well, that's that's pretty cool. And then she shot Liz Herndon. No, that's not right. <laughs> oh, that uh, is cool. Liz Herndon had the record at 617.8, and Grace Morgan ran 6.16.5. Oh, man. Belmore, Belmore out with injury. But American record holder Chris Robertson scored a victory, a new American record of 438.7, which is oh, five seconds. That's still incredible. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. nuts. Yeah. Competitors had a week to run and film their best beer mile times before submitting footage to the Beer Mile World Classic. Oh, so they could. Is it sponsored by a beer? Uh, I, I doubt it because if, if it is, they didn't get in the publicity literature. Yeah, true. And, they, yeah. and right. the, they'd come up with more than eight grand for a prize. And it says the one guy that used to have the record got a deal with Brooks Shoes. Is that a good shoe? Yeah, that's a good yeah, shoe. Good Great shoe. running yeah. shoe. Okay. Um, now, Do you think uh, they all went out for beers after? <laughs> yeah, Mom's practicing again. <laughs> yeah. She's been practicing all day, as a matter yeah. of fact. <laughs> Did you get, how long after you had four beers would be before you had to pee? Oh, oh. Jeez. Well, it depends on when you break the seal. Am I right on yes, that? Yes, absolutely. Well, that's what he means. So, um, you got to break the seal, Tom. Man, you slam four beers. Yeah, once you do that, you're going every 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to give yeah. myself at least 20 minutes. I was going to say 20. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. Since we're talking about the beer mile, we obviously yeah. have to play a song about a beer run.
Great version of the song, Beer Run. We're playing it in honor of uh, Allison Grace Morgan, who has the new women's record. Six minutes, uh, 17.8 seconds, running the Beer Mile. All right, congrats. And again, the the uh, record of... Uh, uh, Corey Bellamore, four thirty-three point six, running them, running, drinking four beers while running a mile. Unbelievable. Do they all have to drink the same beer? Like I wouldn't <laughs> want to drink an IPA right. during this. Exactly. Oh, an IPA. Uh, why, why is that? You couldn't run after an IPA. Is that? I think yeah. I would want to drink. I would want to drink a light beer. Yeah, you want to go a light lager. Well, or, I think uh, they let you. Have, I think the uh, uh, beverage, uh, the alcohol content, uh, would would play into this. Yeah, I, I'm surprised. A that a beer hasn't sponsored this. I wonder yeah. if the obvious some... joke would be Corona, because they have to isolate for it, <laughs> oh. right? Well, in this case, in this yes. season, this season didn't a... they stop making that? No, no they it's no. back. Okay, Boy, okay. I, I sure had my fair share of Corona over the weekend. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> <laughs> you you have the lime. You shove the lime down the neck. Oh you my do gosh! Yeah. Yes. Do you do yeah. the full strength light premiere? Which one do you go for? Premiere. Oh, I yeah. like the premiere uh, too. Wow. Very nice. Did you have to jump in the lake and relieve yourself at all? Oh, this, I, I was mostly drinking in the lake. Yeah, so there was no jumping into. <laughs> oh, you were already there. <laughs> Although I did do a cannonball, and uh, my sister-in-law gave me a ten. <laughs> oh, yes. ten out of ten. Oh, yes. She said, "Hell yeah!" Well, that's great. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah, I like, did not videotape the, the oh, cannonball. Like, God, I'd love to see you doing the cannonball. <laughs> oh, boy. It, it, it hurt the lake, did it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. If we ever did a lake day, <laughs> you could have made fun of him because you would be, be wearing the Dick Van Dyke swimming costume from Caddyshack. <laughs> yeah. And you would have on a hat and sunscreen all over That's your correct. face. correct. you got to be careful out there. That sun will get you. Uh, now, now um, see, I drink uh, Lynn uh, La Fin du Monde. What's that? It's ten uh, percent uh, ABV. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's right. That'll get you there. Let me tell you about it. Uh, oh, uh, that'll boy. get you to collapse after your first four forty. Mind your business. <laughs> uh, now, I want to talk to you about uh, one of the things going on right now. I was just reading about this. Obviously, more and more people are cooking at home these days. Um, how about becoming a better cook and having someone do the shopping for you? That's where Hello Fresh comes in. Uh, it really spice up your meal times with great food. You will you will be amazed at what great food you can make, because you've got chef curated recipes and they've done all the shopping. So whatever you're seeing is if you're looking for uh, vegetarian stuff or a uh, uh, family friendly stuff or local stuff. Yeah, man. Or, whatever you're seeing is or comfort <laughs> food. Whatever your dining situation is, nice. uh, Hello Fresh has got it for you. Uh, Christy and I are big fans, and we're getting mm -hmm. Josh turned on to this. The box arrives. Everything is um, it's. It's in a recyclable packaging, and it's pre-portioned. You don't really have to do any uh, any shopping. That's and the, the recipe part. cards are easy to use. They're beautiful. I have a whole stack of them. I save them. Yeah. They, they, they do yeah. have pictures, which makes it a lot easier. Yes, it does. Picture, you, picture, picture. Because <laughs> if you're going, wait a minute, which which ones of these are the carrots? Okay. <laughs> Now, occasionally, some of those things are things I've never seen before. Obviously, I know what a carrot is. Of course. Hello Fresh. Right now, check this out. 40% uh, uh, savings versus shopping at your local grocery store. So you got that going. Uh, get started with America's number one meal kit. Go to HelloFresh.com. Use the code BTSHOW for 80 bucks off, including free shipping. How about that? 80 bucks off and free shipping. How about you? The How promo about code you? is uh, BT Show. Once again, you go to HelloFresh.com and uh, see what a great cook you can be. 80 bucks off, including free shipping in your first box. HelloFresh.com, the promo code BT Show. Coming up, uh, Dick Hitswater, I understand, is uh, alive and well. All right, thank you for the warning. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> we have uh, coming up. Uh, what, how do I word this? Um, uh, cooking with um, with bread mm -hmm. and um, what? Uh, bodily fluids. This is the Bob and Tom ah. Show. Morning laughter. <laughs> Here we go. B double E double R U N beer run. Yeah. B double E double R U N beer. Run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. A couple of frat guys from Abilene drove out all night to see Robert Earl Keane at the K Pig Swine and Soiree dance. They wore baseball caps and khaki pants. They wanted cigs, so to save some money, they got one off a hippie that smelled kind of funny. Next thing they knew, they were both really hungry and pretty thirsty too. 
B double E double R U N B run. B double E double R U N B run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N B run. Found a store with the sign said their beer was coldest. They sent him Brad 'cause he looked the oldest. He got a case of beer and a candy bar. Walked over to where all them registers are. Laid his fake ID on the countertop. Clerk looked, he turned, he looked back up, he stopped. He said, "Kid, I'm not gonna call the cops, but I'm gonna have to keep this card." The guys both took it pretty hard. Sing it if you know it, even in your car. B double E double R U N B run. B double E double R U N beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. Met this other old hippie named Sleepy John. He said he was the guy from the Robert Earl Keen song, so they gave him their cash. He bought him some brews. It was a beautiful day out in Santa Cruz. They were feeling so good, should have been a crime. Crowd was cool and the band was prime. They made it back up front to their seats just in time to sing with all their friends. The road goes on forever and the party never ends. B double E double R U N B run. B double E double R U N B run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, a car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N B run. B double E double R U N B run. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Oh, there it is. Wow. Bob and Tom. Well, what else would you be doing with your time? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Figaro Lapu. Are you like me? Do you love to eat, but sometimes your food does not love you back? Oh my, that is quite unpleasant, is it not? Here at the Frigamal Industries, we have developed a pill that will take the stink out of... Of course, we cannot muffle the noise, but we can eliminate that embarrassing, eye-watering... Wallpaper peeling aroma. <laughs> you will still hear the, but the aroma will be a designer fragrance chosen especially for you. We have country pine, potpourri, musk, and my personal favorite, sea breeze. Mist on your face. We call this modern miracle pill flatulante. I'm going to sing for you now. <laughs> If you're a gentleman or a debutante, <laughs> go out and get yourself some flatulante. <laughs> your gas can smell like roses. No need to hold your noses. You can rip one off when you want it. <laughs> If your belly's an inferno, just like Dante, <laughs> and you're sitting in a crowded restaurant, <laughs> feel free to go boom boom. You won't clear the room. They'll think your thoughts are ever so fragrante. <laughs> Everybody sing. Flatulante, go ahead and toot. Flatulante, the air you won't pollute. You're pulling your own finger 'cause you want to cut the cheese. Now you're breaking wind so much your ass gives off a breeze. <laughs> Darling, I have never seen you looking so lovely. <laughs> so perfect. This is a great restaurant. Wait till you see the menu. Good evening, Monsieur, Mademoiselle. I am Jacques. May I take your order, please? Jacques, it's nice to see you. I think we'll start off with a. Uh... <laughs> oh, Monsieur, I am so embarrassed for you. I I feel so bad. I do not know what to say. Oh, don't feel bad for my husband. Seven twenty-two at Q ninety-five. It's the Bob and Tom Show. That's Christy Lee. She's got a quick forecast. Q ninety-five Fox fifty-nine weather brought to you by CarX. More sun than clouds. Chance for scattered thunderstorms. High ninety-one. Pretty much the same thing for tomorrow with a high of ninety-three. It's sunny and seventy-two. Okay, I'm telling you right now. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. Uh, pay attention. Go, okay. man, go. Okay. It could be coming soon. I'm just saying. All right. 
I'm talking about some money. You're just you're not saying. You're just saying. I'm, yeah, I'm just saying. All right. So keep your ears open. <laughs> and if, if it happens, remember I told you. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Our new slogan is Dick is the word you're looking for. It's good to see you. Uh, in the room, we have uh, Ace, Chick, Josh. This is Tom speaking. That's the big room. In a room almost as big, all by herself, it's Christy Lee in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Hi. Hi, Christy. Hi. Then in kind of a sliver-shaped, weird glass box, it's Willie Griswold. Hey, Willie. Hey. Um, what do we decide? Are we calling that the hot box? Did we ever decide? Yeah, I think no, so. Like that, that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, and then uh, we have Mr. Godwin in the other building. Hello. Hey, Pat. Hi. Um, we got a new song coming up from Pat. I know that. Uh, and uh, we, uh, we'll we get back to the sports page uh, fairly soon, uh, I believe. We're uh, finished at we, the sports page. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, Hold on. We had our world record. Uh, Wherever you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. There well, it is. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. You're and uh, Well, you know what I, I suspect is going to happen? I think that the track phone hotline is going to be jingling. Well, you're very, crazy. Very you're slow. out of your mind. Oh, like a 50 bucks. Oh. It rings. Oh, hello, Bob and Tom show. Ha-ha, <laughs> <laughs> this is Dick Hitswater sitting in for David Spunt. And this is some other news. David Spunt. <laughs> High and inside. <laughs> Last week, an expectant mother gave birth standing up in a parking lot just steps away from a Florida birthing center. Thankfully, the mommy and baby are doing fine. Fine, however, daddy is still trying to find a parking spot. (laughs) (laughs) The baby was actually caught midair by a midwife, and since sports are canceled, it was one of ESPN's top three plays of the week. (laughs) Oh, I would imagine so. The incident was recorded on a doorbell camera, and now that footage can be seen in commercials for both Ring Doorbells and the Nuva Ring. <laughs> oh! <laughs> in sports news, professional leader Joey Chestnut beat his own record last weekend by eating 75 hot dogs, or as Josh calls it, breakfast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> In shopping news... That was the only joke he had for that. (laughs) (laughs) Well, 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 am I right, Chuck? You're not wrong. I'd be yeah. Thank you. In shopping news, British supermarkets are no longer carrying certain coconut-related products after PETA announced that the products were made with coconuts picked by monkeys Mm. who had been stolen from the wild and trained to be (laughs) coconut-picking machines. My inside source, monkey union rep Chester Chimpo, tells me that the monkeys work long hours for little bananas and only get one monkey smoke break an hour. Oh, that's unfair. Hey, monkey business is no laughing matter. Love the the smoking monkey. Yeah, we just proved it there. But anyway, (laughs) record-setting Batman... David Rush and his wife have once again tackled the T-shirt record. David and his wife, Jennifer, were able to get 18 shirts on before the 30-second clock expired, beating the previous record of 14. Do you think the Guinness World Record people have jumped the shark when it comes to these records? What's next? Most grapes eaten with a spork in one minute while standing on one leg in a two-inch pedal of motor oil while listening to a live fish concert? What's the record for that? I don't know. (laughs) Speaking of records, last year at this time, nearly 200 people in the U.K. stripped naked and rode a roller coaster to set a new world record. The riders were completely nude for the attempt on the Grand National Roller Coaster at Blackpool's Pleasure Beach. (laughs) Participants were asked to keep their arms, legs, and genitalia Italia inside the ride at all times. <laughs> sure. Two big-breasted women who insisted on having the front seat were told to, go ahead, ladies, knock yourselves out. <laughs> <laughs> and one very gifted man got a black eye on the loop-de-loop. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's huh. Well, if you're like me, you love betting on the ponies. Hey, here are a few tips for this <laughs> afternoon's races at Santa Anita. Oh, okay. Good. In the first race, bet large on a horse named Garfield's Litter Box. <laughs> In the sixth, I've got your trifecta with Twat Waffle, My Sister's Mustache, and Blumpkin. <laughs> maybe, maybe that was Twat Waffle. I'm not. And, and in the seventh, lay it all down on pictures of Muhammad. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's a controversial <laughs> horse. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been Dick Hitswater sitting in for David Spunt, and this has been Some Other News uh, by Track Lovers. <laughs> pictures of Muhammad. <laughs> 
It's not an early. <laughs> wasn't an early Who song? Uh, yeah, they, yeah, I think yeah. that's the one that got them the fatwa. Uh, okay. Yeah, it was pictures of Lily. I guess that one. Um, uh, David Spunt is an actual reporter. For yeah. whom? Yeah. Um, I think he's a Fox News guy. Really? Maybe? David yeah. Spunt? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Yes. Why wouldn't you change your name? No joke. <laughs> Good yeah, for him like for not Steve changing Steve Spunt. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> want to go some of the alliteration? You know, as a broadcaster, you have that right. As his mother, Mrs. Spunt. <laughs> <laughs> right. All the little spunts. <laughs> we can combine this and your old product. What was that toothpaste called? Ipana. Well, here's another old po- product that's come back into the news. Oh, good. A 120-year-old advertisement for Dr. Kronk's compound sarsaparilla beer oh. has gone viral <laughs> online. Have you seen this? Oh, well, well, we're very familiar with Dr. Are you? Oh, my yeah. God, yeah. He puts out a fine product. <laughs> no out about it. 40% cocaine. Oh, my God. Oh. You got your methadone in there? You got your cocaine? You got University your of Calgary instructor Paul Ferry <laughs> tweeted images of an 1883 publication of him, the Calgary Herald. Paul Ferry is impeccably dressed. That shows okay. the ad for Dr. Kronk's. The copy, which is split up in between columns of newsprint, reads, Kronk, by Kronk. Kronk is good. Kronk is the drink. Drink Kronk. Kronk. Dr. Kronk. Kronk. After the tweet went viral, Kronk started trending on Canadian Twitter with users finding more advertisements for the drink, the bottles it was sold in, and even an online copy of the Handbook of Practical Receipts, an 1860 work that included the Kronk recipe. Man. The ad has now inspired Cold Garden's head brewer, Blake Belding, to bring Kronk back to life. Belding said he ordered the ingredients called for in the recipe and is working on the first 211-gallon batch that should be ready within two weeks. There are those who speculate it's a, sort of a spicy root beer. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah. The brewer said he's already been flooded with order requests from around the world, and he said, quote, Kronk rules everything around me right now. You've got to think that uh, Gronk, yeah, with sure. a G, mm. they've got to call him. You think? Oh, this There's is right something up, there. Yeah. Right up his yeah. alley. So this certainly... is a, I'm unclear on this. So this is an actual alcohol. Sarsaparilla was an alcohol? The bottle. No, not always. Right. In this case, I think uh, it was. The bottle say says, there's a bottle, C-R-O-N-K-S, Kronk's soda water. Mm. Okay, what this, this is what I'm looking at. It says, Dr. Kronk's compound sarsaparilla beer. Yeah, it was a hmm. small beer made with sassafras, sarsaparilla, ginger, green tea, and molasses. And there's pictures of these bottles, and they're just so cool. Sounds up. good, actually. Yeah. I'd drink that. What a great name, Dr. Kronk. Yeah. Let's get cronked. They could have yeah. Rob Gronkowski out there. Hi, I'm Dr. Gronk. That'd be cool. Dr. Kronk was actually the first caveman who went to medical school. Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. People yeah. forget about exactly that. Exactly right. It was quite good, that. yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he invented the splint. Did he? Yeah. Uh, I think you're right. Uh, uh, yeah, the Kronk, a small beer is, they call a beer with low alcohol levels small. Uh, and oh. so they think that it may have... Had some alcohol hmm. in it. Gotcha. So like a 3-2 beer or like 1% or something? Maybe less than, yeah. Yeah. Put hmm. some THC in that. Yeah, yeah they could. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it be, um, well, would that work? Chronic? Just like, like chronic chronic. Crunk? Yeah. Chronic crunk? Chronic crunk. <laughs> I think you can get crunk off crunk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is, oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, a crunk is what again exactly? Um, a style of uh, hip hop, but also uh, getting crunk is. Uh, it's also a lifestyle. Yeah, too. yeah, it, it really tonight. is. Yeah. What does that mean? Getting me and, crunk. Me and all the boys are going to get crunk. You just get you get drunk and wild. Okay. Ah, you've yeah. been drunk and wild, haven't you, Tom? Sure. Yeah. Set stuff on fire. That's fun. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> really? fire. Wow, that really escalated, huh? <laughs> I hey, yeah, I crashed a car. Yeah. Accidentally killed a friend. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the hell are you talking hey, about? Got crunked. <laughs> it's a pyro. So what's it, now? What is the distinction in the world of weed of the uh, so-called uh, chronic <laughs> world of weed? I don't think. I think that chronic it used to be weed that's specifically grown indoors and is more high quality. But I don't think that's. I don't know if that's true or not. I thought. I thought, and I'm probably wrong. That chronic was not just weed. That there was something else mixed in with oh. it. Oh. 
I've heard like hydroponic chronic, and hydroponic means grown inside, but I, I have no idea. Again, I don't like to talk about weed. I like to smoke it. Okay, good. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, all right. well. oh, one of the rare potheads that can just smoke it and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's never happened. Yeah. Will, buddy, Willie does have some theories on a universe being in your thumbnail. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually going to spend the rest of the show talking about that's that. Exactly he also right. wanted to know if fish make the lake smell like that or if the lake <laughs> makes fish smell like that. Wait a minute, you're, you're blowing my mind. I've you know? always wondered that. That's right, brother. Yeah. Does okay. lake water smell like fish, or do fish smell like lake water? <laughs> does lake, Cardi, lake water did, did smell Cardi like B fish. smell like this before she went swimming, or did she make the lake water? We'll get to Cardi B, but first, yeah. another Cardi, Cardi product. B, I bet she smells great. Well, yes. Yeah. Especially now, since it's all been steamed off. Well, Cardi B is in the news. She's talking about her vajayjay, as Oprah would say. Um, we'll find out about Cardi's vajayjay. But we have another product to talk Cardi's about first. Cardi's V... Mm -hmm. Not be okay. All right. I, mean, I, got, I don't think I've ever got the vacuum. I got the vacuum, Tom. Is that, is that like a Bacardi reference? No. no. V. V, v the, the, the V in. and the D and the V. Remember? It's a letter joke. Yeah. Oh, that's Instead it? Instead of Cardi B, it's You did Cardi, Cardi B. B and Vijay J. That's also a letter joke. Okay. <clears throat> Because her, her original oh, name was... Oh, it's still going on. The vacuum is continuing. <laughs> this, uh, yeah. this might be a record for vacuum. Well, we might as well do the story now. Yeah. No, this, uh, this, we got to spend a lot of time in the story. Save it. It's, okay. a, it's such a beauty. Um, this lady who's French is in the news because she's an engineer and wants to make not beer, but bread out of your urine. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's going to be a tough sell. A French engineer has unveiled a bread made from wheat fertilized with women's urine collected from public toilets. Wow, this is the greatest thing oh. since... <laughs> greatest it's, thing since sliced piss. <laughs> <laughs> it's called we. <laughs> Wait a second. You, you have to slow down here. I'm confused. So she's going to public urinals, collecting the urine, and then... How Making does, bread out of it. How about that? Do the women have to have yeast infections? <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> what? Yeah. Louise why why did that get such a hateful? Wow. That's fitting, but gross. It made sense. But no, but I mean, I don't know. I, I know nothing about making bread. Mm. Well, know, you know, need know, yeast and flour and water. One of my sons and... makes amazing bread, and it's it's like some secret formula and very complicated. Yeah, his own pee. Yeah, yeah apparently. Amazing. Well, if he calls me up and tells me it's from pee. Oh, boy. <laughs> so does it have to be a female urine? Yeah, it says women's urine collected from pu public toilets. Oh. Ms. Louise Ragu says her bread oh. called Boucle d'Or, or Goldilocks, oh, aims to break taboos over excrement by creating a food system that recycles waste. Um, Sick. Do you know why there are taboos about excrement? Because it's excrement. Yeah. Because, yes, because it's... Poop. Right. You know yeah. why it looks and smells that way? So that we don't eat it. <laughs> you know, know why it's ex you know why it's, it's excreted? Nature's way. Yeah, yes, exactly. because it's right. not something right. the body needs. If it came out smelling like fresh bread, <laughs> we'd eat it and die. <laughs> right by pooper nickel. So so <laughs> pooper nickel. So she's collecting urine yes. Use your brain. from public oh. toilets, making oh. it into bread. Yeah. This is in France, right? Right. Yeah. I heard this is the number one bread in France. <laughs> number one. It's number one, everybody. Oh. It's real fun. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't have one of her P, B, and J's. Oh. 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 So, okay. so does she take a ladle into a public urinal? How Probably. does that work? Boy, oh, well, what boy. What do you excuse think? Me. She excuse siphons me. it? Excuse me, madam. Don't flush. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, that looks delicious. May I? Uh... Oh. Are you going to finish that? This is like a wine. She has her own TV show in France. It's called The Golden Girl. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, that is so rough. Boy, oh yeah. boy. Um, I, I remember we had the, uh, the, the, there was a whole series of people who were doing, um, they were brewing uh, uh, beers from the yeast in. From a woman, from a from, wasn't a porn star or something? Yeah, from some porn star's uh, yeah. private area. They mm -hmm. were taking the hair or something from there. Oh boy! Then there was a brewer that did it from his beard. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But that's not bread. I don't know that this is it beyond me. So <sighs> that is uh, that is. I don't weird. think they're lined up to buy her bread just to. Well, the whole notion of what you say breaking taboos over excrement. Yeah. Who's, it's waste for a reason. Yeah, who sits around going, I'll tell you what, I'm really, it's really a shame I had to flush that. Yeah, it sure is. Could have yeah, turned that man. into a 
I bet that uh, pizza. <laughs> yeah. That was delicious. Pizza. I've heard of pinching a loaf, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> I tell you what, that pizza is terrible. Was it the pineapple? No, no, it was the fact that it was made from. <laughs> <laughs> well, hope you're enjoying your meal. Okay. Right now, I want to do a little real, real quick test, then we'll move on here. Okay. Yes. As you know, I rented this house over the weekend last weekend. Yes. Going a little, little vacay, my first time out since December, and there was an object in that house, and I was able to um, look like, wow, I know a lot. When of course I don't. Hmm. In that house was one of those. Ju- I don't know why. It was an antique. This lady had antiques all over her house. There was an antique. Uh, thing that you'd stick into an oven to pull out bread or pizzas. It's like, it looks like a big ore. Oh, right. Sure. Yeah. Except yeah we, it, except the, like the, a paddle. Yeah, yeah. it's like a huge paddle, but at the end it's big. And we were talking, what, is there a name for those? A yeah. Peel. Yeah. Last week. <laughs> peel. Uh-oh. You're in this. trouble, Willie. Well, well, new kid still Willie. hasn't learned. <laughs> oh. Willie, welcome to the chill zone. I got chilled oh, got earlier. Now we did a turn. whole break about peels. Yes. I yep. wanted to see if... I knew you'd remember it. I did not remember it. I didn't it's, either. It's called a peel, P-E-E-L. Yes. So the, the next time you're at someone's house. Boy, oh boy. And there's a lot of junk lying around. You go, oh, look, you've got a <laughs> peel. You've got an antique peel over in the corner. That sure is handy. <laughs> did they have a big pizza oven where you were staying? No, Christy, this house has literally, it's the house is the size of this room times two, if that. <laughs> At least forty chairs. You can't oh, move without hitting a piece of furniture. <laughs> wow! It's one well, of those places crazy. where this, this lady must love antique stores. Uh-huh. Every shelf is com- there's there is no horizontal surface to put anything on. <laughs> you going to go to the bathroom? There's something sitting in the toilet. There's a vase on the toilet. Uh, I'll hold that while I go. Uh, you know what I'm? T- you've seen those houses. Yeah. You know what I'm talking. A little about. bit, a little bit annoying. So I threw all the furniture in the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. There wasn't any lawn. There was a bunch of plants. Would you hear oh, how boy. Willie just, just waltz right in and mashed that joke? <laughs> I don't know. There's room for a joke there. Yeah, the whole section oh. it got mashed. He's gonna kick my no, ass pale, later. There's a break pale. coming up. You better run. Coming up, <laughs> coming up, uh, a new discovery in the world of um, old stuff. Uh, <laughs> is it paleontology? What now are the dinosaur yeah, dudes? Yes, paleontologists. Are you, are you scared to give the uh, preview because you don't, you don't want us to jump in and tell everybody what it is? <laughs> yeah, we have a little joke we were going to do. It. I'm sure you'll figure it out immediately. All right, sir. Coming up, uh, something really cool in the world of dinosaurs. Oh, okay. Brand new discovery. I mean, T-Rex? It's, is it a T-Rex? No, no but it's really cool. That. It's really cool. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. State law. Hi, this is Rodney Carrington, and you are listening to Bob and Tom 24 Hey, don't forget, it's the laughter after the Bob and Tom show. Ace Cosby is your host. We call it Bob and Tom's work farce. All the fun without really too much effort. Keep your smile going all day on a Wednesday and keep your coworkers or your family guessing what you're up to as you listen to Bob and Tom 24-7 to get through your day. And remember, beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern, we'll replay today's show Back-to-back back right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. I'm Chick McGee. This is your Bob and Tom sports update. As baseball nears the two-week countdown to the start of the delayed season, the pandemic continues to keep more players off the field. The latest big name to be sidelined by a positive test for the virus is Eduardo Rodriguez. He was expected to start on opening day for the Red Sox. 
The Giants suspended workouts at Oracle Park as they await the results of weekend tests. And the Cubs' workout was delayed. Red Sox prospect Bobby Dahlbeck also tested positive for the virus. The Washington Nationals and Houston Astros resumed workouts after canceling practices on Monday because of testing delays. And the San Francisco Giants say they are suspending workouts at Oracle Park pending the results of tests conducted this past weekend. On Monday, the club said two people had tested positive for the virus but didn't provide further details on whether the two were players, coaches, or staff. Prospect Hunter Bishop and pitcher Luis Madero in the 60-player pool already have tested positive. And Oklahoma and Texas officials are cautiously optimistic that their annual football showdown still will be played at the Cotton Bowl in the Fair Park in Dallas, despite the announcement yesterday that the Texas State Fair would be canceled. And Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson has canceled his annual Fun Day with LJ event in Florida due to the coronavirus. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I found an we ATM. probably wouldn't uh, be talking about it. It was in a g- real big lake. Yeah. You know where I found it? No, mm-hmm. where? The bank. Oh. <laughs> the bank. Yeah, the bank. The bank. The bank. <laughs> oh, 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 on the bank of the yeah. bank. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Maybe at maybe you know, at, at I, I, I look at this as sort of a, a trapeze act. Uh, <laughs> when I when I let go of the the bar and I'm yeah. flipping through the air, sure. right? I'd like one of you to catch me. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and high all day long. The Bob and Tom Show weekday mornings at six a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom twenty four seven. Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. This has been Chick McGee speaking. Comedian Scott Dunn is here with us. Do you have any current thoughts on religion? I... I'm pondering a religious question. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. you guys could help me with it. All right. right. Buddha, Jesus, and Muhammad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who do you think would be the funniest comedian? Uh... Buddha. Buddha has some big advantages. He's fat. Mm-hmm. People love the fat joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. true. Now, wow. Jesus, though, I think Jesus would make a great nightclub comic. Uh-huh. You think? Well, you remember the miracle where he turned water into wine? Yeah. Sure. This is clearly a guy who knows his stuff is funnier when people have been drinking. <laughs> 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think he'd probably start off a little hacky, though. Hey, it's nice to be here. Just played a leper colony. Great audience. <laughs> they laughed their butts off. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, gotta have that. Seriously, though, where is everyone tonight? I've drawn bigger crowds for a crucifixion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Hey, let's hear it from my opening act, Peter. Not funny. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> After that set, I'm going to deny knowing you. <laughs> Halfway through your act, Judas left to go hang himself. (laughs) Wow. Hey, look, Herod's in the audience tonight. John the Baptist called. He wants his head back. (laughs) Uh, That's great. My big concern with Jesus, though, as a comedian, could he handle a heckler? I don't know. There's, I think he would start off okay. He'd be doing his bits, and, you know, a woman would yell, Walk on water! He'd turn the other cheek. Ma'am, I'm just doing new stuff tonight. And, uh, <laughs> you know, he'd start his uh, yeah. other bit, you know. So my rabbi says, Free fish, free bread, and you call yourself a prophet? <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Ooh. Your new stuff sucks! Walk on water! Jesus snaps. Uh. Lady, here's some bread. Pretend it's my body and eat me. (laughs) I've cast demons into hogs that were less obnoxious than you. (laughs) If the town wants to stone you for being a whore, I will personally cast the first stone. (laughs) The only awkward thing would be at the end. I think the audience would just sit there waiting Mm -hmm. because they know Jesus is going to encore. Sure. They yeah. just don't know when. when? <laughs> <laughs> Essential morning radio all day and all night. Some might bug, some might for me. It's 
Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, And Jesus said, take this bread. Oh, that was a big deal right there. I hope you didn't miss it. 746 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Go back in time 30 seconds and pay attention. To <laughs> paying attention. That's, it's that simple. It'll happen again. So, as, as I keep saying, unlike most things in life, pay attention. Uh, <laughs> unless you're a pilot or a, yeah, a surgeon. A driver. Surgeon. What? Uh, Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Once again, uh, we have a mission statement like everyone else does these days. Our mission statement is... You're, you're welcome. Uh, I know there's a lot of stuff coming at you every day. <laughs> yeah. It's getting very confusing. Yeah. And we're here to uh, divert your attention. Yeah. Uh, let's see, where was I? Um, I've got a feeling it's coming. Yep, I can feel it in the air. I'm talking, of course, about the Ace Cosby joke of the day. From Ace Cosby, who's in the big room with us. Uh, that's Chick over there. I'm Tom. That's Josh right there. That's the that's the four of us in the room. Then you go behind the glass. There are a number of people in the building, including Christy Lee in the room next door through the glass. Ta-da! Willie Griswold over there. Ta-da! Currently on probation, oh! the, on, on probation in the hot box for ruining our contest. And then <laughs> uh, Pat Godwin's in a different room. We're Ta-da! Seeing, Yes. Through the magic of uh, through the magic of uh, some cameras and electricity of some sort. Uh, now, uh, where was I? Oh, I know. Oh, I was magic just saying, at all. I was in the I was in the mood and uh, in the mood for what? Oh boy! Oh boy! Change of pace, little comedy. This is uh, this is the Ace Cosby joke of the day, Ace. Uh, not so much a joke. Uh, observation of my life. My girlfriend, she's upset at me. Uh oh. Ex girlfriend. One, she says, there's two things I have big problems with. What? One, I don't listen, and two, something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that, old, <laughs> that old gem, <laughs> that old nugget. <laughs> now we were discussing. Um, <laughs> oh, right to it. Right no, to no, it. No, no, tr- no, no recap. Just right to the next. Uh, okay. Well, we, we were discussing right. the sort of chicken and the egg aspect of the fish smell. Yeah. Do you want to explain that once again? Yes, I was wondering if uh, fish smell like lake or ocean water, or if the ocean water or lake water smell like fish. Mm-hmm. Which what, what what makes the other smell like the other? Right, right. Uh, it's a hmm. fair question if you're stoned. Yeah. And um, we had a request for this from uh, comedian Renee Hicks, as you'll hear me introduce uh, in a matter of moments. Hmm. Comedian Renee Hicks has joined us in the studio. Morning, Renee. Uh, Good morning. Quite the sportswoman, I can. Oh yes, yes, yes. And we were talking about the WNBA. I just want to know, like, will there be like feminine hygiene commercials, like sponsoring it? Because I think those things got to go. They're just too damn nasty. I mean, they got to stop. They got to stop talking about women's genitalia. I mean, I mean, and these women talking about douche. We don't do that, men. We don't go to the beach talking about douche. <laughs> you don't? You know? No, we don't. And see, I, I never want to see a black woman do that. Mm-hmm. Because you know they would have her just acting crazy, just walking along going, Oh, girl, I ain't seen you in a... Damn, Shaniqua, is that you stinking like that, girl? Well, you need to do show nasty ass. There's a whole family of seagulls following your nasty ass. Damn. Well, they, they chose not to do those commercials, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, do, they, do they have those anymore? I don't know. I haven't no, seen I haven't seen them. In a long time. A lot of doctors don't recommend it. Yeah, you ladies, know, right, a, right. There's right. a lot of it stuff. It takes care that, of itself down there it's a normally. self-cleaning oven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah a lot of, there's a lot of stuff out there that we've been convinced we need that we don't need. There's a now a whole movement again about uh, that Americans shower too much. Anybody well, else? Well, I, I mean, I'm not going to go here with you, but. Hmm. What? what? Do you shower how many times a day? Two? At it least depends. two. Two right. or That's three? That's too much, yeah. Um, I got to need good I'm, bacteria on your body, Tom. As much as Tom and I disagree, I got to agree with him on this. Yeah, I like that. I'm I'm the on this ideal too, transaction yeah. ends with me taking a shower. Oh. I, I love it. Oh, yeah, I absolutely. After yep. a major transaction? Oh, oh absolutely. God. Guaranteed. What? You are your father's absolutely. son. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Oh. And if you're not, you're a filthy, filthy person. <laughs> yeah. What do you think true. of that? Josh, you and I must be filthy individuals. Well, no more. well, well, well crusty crack. <laughs> how are things no. going? I will happily show you how clean this crack be. Oh, <laughs> hey. Boy, oh, Isn't there a song about that? <laughs> yes, how clean this crack Jimmy be. Crack. Oh, wait a minute. Jimmy Jim, Jim, Jim Crack. I crack clean and, and we care. all care. Oh, sorry. Yeah. my crack's clean. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, so what, what is of, uh, the reasoning behind them saying that? Do you remember? That you shower uh, too well, much? Well, there's a whole theory about this that uh, actually uh, Tim Wilson used to talk about it all the time. And yep. it was that Americans didn't shower and bathe as much as they do now until post-World War II. Mm-hmm. There's a whole thing about it. Um, here's something weird. Do you know where the phrase uh, 
don't throw out the baby with the bathwater comes from? I do. I don't. Oh, boy. I mean, I knew that. I know they used to throw the bathwater out of windows right. and let it run down into the street. But uh, be, well, they would draw a bath. Yes. Right. And then the man of the house would go first, and then it would go down in descending order of oh, okay, so the, the baby last would one last to be bathed would be the baby. Gotcha. Poor right. baby. Yeah, no kidding. God. Yeah. What if dad's that? a coal miner. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what if your dad just had a major transaction? Oh, right. <laughs> you're, you're, exactly. You're, just, you're bathing in poop stew. Yeah. That's why you hate baths. Oh, I've Admit always, it. I've always hated baths. I never got it. They can be pretty relaxing. Yeah, they can. I'll tell you this. If I take a bath, I will take a shower before. Uh, yeah. I and will after. prep. Oh, all right. Oh, I will oh, that's prep. interesting. Do you shower with ladies? Uh, <laughs> not right now. A little quarantine breakup <laughs> keeps me from that. But uh. Have you ever taken a bath with a woman? I the thing is I'm a pretty big guy. When I take a bath, I displace a lot of the water. Yeah, that's the thing you got to remember. If there's I fill it up like a quarter of the way and then I get in because you can't take the water out. You know you can always put more in. Yeah, exactly. You what's always, what's that more. rule of physics, don't you? Oh, Archimedes taught us uh, you can. Uh, Archimedes, yeah. you can uh, test how much someone weighs by the displacement of water. Certainly, mm. yeah. and the best time to test the Archimedes thing is if you're doing a uh, deep right. fried turkey. Yeah, oh, absolutely. absolutely. Oh yeah. boy! Yeah, yeah they, every every real... year some idiot yeah <laughs> fills it with oil, dips the turkey in, and then it displaces enough to set the garage on fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> happens every year. Yep. And they even made a TV commercial about it. Pat. Yes. We were talking about uh, doing a song here. All right. Uh, but what do you, what do you have in mind over there? Well, I don't know if I can personally comment on the Fighting Irish, uh, that uh, name, uh, you know, people having a problem with it, but yeah, I know... Yeah, let, me, let me explain. Yeah, that's the ahead. latest one. Mm -hmm. Now there's a group that wants to change the nickname of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. It's about time. I, I have a problem with that. I think that's okay. It's not... I'm sure they could, maybe they'll go back in the past and find some, horror, some horrific some, guy. I don't know. We can go with something like the Celtic gentleman or something like that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that and sounds nice, it, doesn't it? Pronounce yeah. it correctly. Celtic. Yeah. Dubliners. Yeah. We can yeah. kind of yeah. do a James Don't, Joyce. don't, don't, uh, offensive line, don't block anyone. That would be ungentlemanly. You're right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I see. After you. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, you're of Irish heritage, Pat. A.G.? I am, but I think uh, this is uh, better handled by our Irish correspondent, uh, Seamus McCainus. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh, it's good to see Mr. McCainus. Top of the bar shelf to you. Indeed, uh, yes, well, it, uh, right. I want to say hello while we still can. All right, here we <laughs> go. <laughs> song about the, well, that's about the fighting Irish nickname and everything. Here we go. I'm sitting at the bar, having a couple of pints, when in comes Pat O'Malley, looking for a fight. Oh, boy. I'm just having a drink. You don't have to shout. What's all this nonsense, you silly drunken lout? He says, follow me, boys. You can even bring your stout. I said, where's the fight? And, oh, yeah, what's it all about? <laughs> where's the fight and what's it all about? <laughs> Fight first, ask later, I have no cause to doubt. Just point to the problem and I'll punch him in the stout. Oh, a snout. Oh, <laughs> where's the fight? And by the way, what's it all about? Hey, see you later, <laughs> Just ready to get involved. I right. see, I see. <laughs> but the uh, fighting Irish may be going too. Is that going to happen? I, I don't and, know. and they object to the little fighting guy? He's a little cartoon Apparently, thing. yeah. He's a leprechaun. <laughs> the little, I like the little fighting guy. I think yeah. he's kind of silly. Cute. I like the little uh, leprechaun that they have on the sidelines. Well, sure. then they should be called the leprechaun, yeah. shouldn't they? So why aren't the Boston Celtics Irish. the Boston Celtics? Celtics? That's a fair I question. I think not that long ago, an uh, African-American gentleman was the uh, leprechaun mascot, I believe. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Absolutely. And he yes. played uh, he played bass for... Uh, uh, Graham uh, Central Station. No, um, <laughs> Lizzie. Thin Lizzie, thank you very much. Uh, it's a diverse world we live in, but now everyone has to weigh in on everything that ever had a name. Josh, uh, a we have to change your name, Josh. What, what's wrong with what's Josh? What's wrong Arnold? with Josh? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll take some you know, yeah, Give me a few fine. minutes. Sure. No one will take you seriously. I'm just Josh and you. you know. Yeah, right. it's true. Uh, and Arnold, the Benedict Arnold. Sure. Right. Oh, of course, yeah. traitor. Yeah. Okay, fuck. Josh, would you ever go by Joshua? Grow up a little bit? Go be, be Joshua? I like, I, I, yeah, I like being called Joshua by certain people. Oh. Josh forgot about a little Jarrett. You mean, uh, no, Jarrett. you mean like, hey, Joshua, get in. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, particularly if you throw my Joshua Matthew. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. Hey. That, that's, that's my Christian it's name? time. Joshua Matthew, I said. $100. Oh. <laughs> uh, do you take a check? <laughs> oh, we'll check for lice. Coming right back <laughs> with Cardi B's private area. This is the Bob and Tom Show. 
You can find us on Twitter at Bob and Tom, or you can email us at Bob and Tom at Bob and Tom dot com. This is the Bob and Tom show. Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, looking forward to taking your mind off of the world around you? Well, you can do that on Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. That's right. You can tune in anytime to Bob and Tom's YouTube channel. Subscribe now. Click the red button. It's free. won't cost you anything. And you can be watching Bob and Tom archives and highlights. But remember, tonight... Monday through Friday, including tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. It's Bob and Tom tonight. 20 minutes of video highlights from today's Bob and Tom show tonight. So you can check out what you missed or a highlight you may not have been aware of. Maybe you were off to work already. Well, that's okay. We'll have highlights for you on Bob and Tom's YouTube channel tonight. 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Subscribe now. Again, click that red button. It's free. We have over 100,000 subscribers. Thank you, Bob and Tom Nation. We couldn't have done it without you. Let's go to 200,000, shall we? Let's make it a million. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. How about two million? Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump is launching an all-out effort to press state and local officials to reopen schools this fall. He says some are keeping schools closed, not because of coronavirus risks, but for political reasons. Trump hosted a White House roundtable Tuesday with health and education leaders who said schools and colleges can open safely. They argue the risks of keeping students at home outweigh any risks tied to the coronavirus and that students need access to meals and mental and behavioral health services. Chief Justice John Roberts spent a night in the hospital last month after he fell and injured his forehead. A Supreme Court spokeswoman confirmed Tuesday night that Roberts was treated at a hospital on June 21st for an injury sustained in a fall while walking for exercise near his home. Roberts' injury required sutures, and out of an abundance of caution, he stayed in the hospital overnight. Some people are so desperate to fly again, they're signing up for what we call fantasy flights. This is in Taiwan, where aviation officials held an online drawing for people to come on a flight to nowhere. Winners were invited to Taipei's International Airport, where they got on a jet. The flight never left the ground, but those aboard did get the experience of air travel. They had to check in, get boarding passes, even go through immigration and security. Once they took their seats, the passengers, all wearing masks, were served food and drinks, even got a salute from fire engines that sprayed water. To complete the experience after getting off, passengers went through a simulated customs drill, complete with a sniffer dog. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom shows on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Guarantees, I think, are the biggest part of contracts now. Yeah. Uh, in, in a certain sense. They're, if you don't guys want to know, they're going to get paid no matter what. If you don't want to sign a guaranteed contract with a guy... Good yeah. luck, because you're going to have to. But Somebody else thing. will. What would it take crazy thing? for you for us to give you a guaranteed contract? I thought I had a guaranteed contract. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That's a genuine hard laugh. Right? Yeah. I haven't laughed this much since I heard this. <laughs> so, so fat. I'm so, so fat. I'm fat as I am fat. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Essential morning radio all day and all night. You might as well shoot me when the beer runs out. Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24 He's coming for you. He's going to get you. Take a 
like the queen of man. He's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Attack of the weed of man. <laughs> Late at night when the bars are closing, alcohol takes its toll, and the drinkers need their favorite vendor. A tasty treat of sausage splendor. <laughs> Little man behind the car, police can't catch him because he's way too smart. The smell of mustard and a big umbrella. Hot the man's got the perfect cover. <laughs> he's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Attack of the weed of man. <laughs> He's coming for you. He's gonna get you. Attacking the weed of man. <laughs> 802 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom He knows show. where everything is. Oh, uh, excuse yeah. me. Be oh. quiet. Oh, sorry. Uh, Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. More sun than clouds. Chance for scattered thunderstorms. High 91. Look for variable cloudiness and afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow as well. High 93. We're at 74 degrees currently. Thank you very much. Uh, the weather is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hotter than you can imagine. Then it's freezing. This is where... Uh, hotter Jeff, than a well digger. Oh, no. That's uh, <laughs> Jeff Chapman comes in because uh, he's the guy wearing the dad shorts from uh, ChapmanHeating.com. You're thinking heating now? Well, they didn't name the website Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing.com because that was just a bit cumbersome. Yes. Sure. Uh, Jeff Chapman, the man for all seasons this season. You want to make sure your AC is uh, working properly. It's using that electricity. Make sure that it's using it efficiently. Have your whole system checked by the great crew at Chapman Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing. Get it all tuned up. Call the man for all seasons, Jeff Chapman. That's once again, chapmanheating.com for all the information you need. Full range of uh, top-notch heating and air conditioning products and experts that know what they're doing when it comes to that world. By the way, keep listening. Serious cash coming up. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Happy to be here. This is the 8th of July, 2020. The confusion continues in the world. And once again, we're here with our mission statement. There you go. Don't forget, taxes due a week from today. Well, well, well. We How have, are you, Mrs. Yeah, Sunshine? A nice hey. light moment, and then what she a, comes in. A lot of people are forgetting. You're right. I did mine last week. Still having trouble sitting. <laughs> okay. Um, Government sure do take a bite, don't you? <laughs> Raising Arizona. Oh. Yeah. yeah a, fr a friend of mine has a 14-year-old uh, son. Yes. And uh, lucky enough to get a really cool summer job. Mm hmm and uh, got his first paycheck. <laughs> went up to his dad and went, hey, yep. <laughs> they took my $82 out of this. Uh-huh. Hello. <laughs> you know, the look on their face when you go, yeah, there's taxes. I don't and you know. You have to have insurance for a car. And you yeah. Have that game. This might be apocryphal, but apparently it's been attributed to Bill Murray that he said, if you want to teach your kid about taxes, give him a bowl of ice cream and then eat a third of it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I, I do that all the time. <laughs> there you go. I never mentioned taxes. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, I, so I'm just, I just went into the green room, which I ordinarily do not do. <laughs> That's you know. true. What were you doing in there? We never. Uh, you're not allowed in there. there. That's exactly Stealing right. Stealing food? What are you doing? I got my own refrigerator in my office now. Green rooms where the cool kids hang out. Well, that's yeah. fine. That's you guys are in there, therefore I am not. Mm -hmm. um, your presence defines my absence. <laughs> in, in the, that's in the, okay. In the interests of uh, really safety and health. Free. Yeah. So um, I just sanitized, and you can probably smell them. So I go in there, and um, I don't know how this got in there. Has anybody seen this little bottle that was in there? It was next to the coffee maker? Next to the coffee uh, machine. No. I you, thought it was hand sanitizer. Do you know where this what came from, it? Dean? I didn't even notice. It. I assumed it was hand sanitizer, too, yeah. which is why I was reaching for it, because right. I'd entered the germ realm that is the <laughs> green room. Where all what the is other it? people are. Uh, well, since you're not going to believe me, I'm going to toss this to you, Josh. Yeah. I want you to explain what this is. I have no idea where it came from. Uh, it's, a, it's a small bottle. Uh, Looks like spritz, hand sanitizer. Spritz bottle. It's, bottle. Purple. it's purple liquid yeah. in there, and it's... Uh, well, it's uh, <laughs> perineal wash. What? What? Uh, perineal wash. Dawn mist incontinence is the the brand. Or the <laughs> Wait a minute. And it's, it's got. It says it has a light floral fragrance. Is this for washing your perineum? Yeah. 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 What, what what happened what? to just regular old soap? That yeah. Apparently, is a special. <laughs> this is a special taint. Are you supposed? <laughs> really? That's what your perineum. It's your taints. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The perineum is the area between the um between uh, the bunghole, I believe is the V technical. and the A on the wall. And the uh, <laughs> genitalia. It smells quite Got nice. It. it taint your <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um now my guess is and this is one of those things that it's kind of a chuckle until you need it. I assume this must be for Why would you people, need this? If someone is maybe wearing adult diapers and they have to clean up between. I, I would assume. think so, yeah. Oh. You just give it the old <laughs> yeah, little spritz and you're done. Yeah. Give it the old one how does, two. how does it smell? A uh, floral. Okay. Yeah, it smells, um, I, you know, uh, this isn't uninviting. If somebody's taint smelled like this. Why couldn't you just use one of those wipes that they have in... I don't know. Maybe this is some some poor guy probably or some couple invested their life savings to create perineum wash, and I hope they're doing well with it. I, I do. Wow. That, that that directions. On... Apply to soiled area and wipe clean. <laughs> Repeat as necessary. That wasn't on Shark Tank, was it? Use to clean soiled skin in the perineal area. Yeah. There you go. I mean, it's again, it's one of those things that's funny until you need it. It does then... not require rinsing. Oh, it doesn't? No. Oh, that's oh, nice. nice. Okay. It so just it's like, is it huh? magic? I'm sure it's got some uh, soap or something in it, and it's got a floral scent. Again, this is one of those things, if you had some kind of issue down there, it would okay. be... Right. This will be interesting. Uh, of all of us, who do you think needs the perineum wash the most? Go ahead. Be honest. I don't know. I don't know why it was sitting in the <laughs> green room. I don't either. Here's That's the thing. Weird. We don't know if this were set there as a joke or if somebody needs it and set it down and <laughs> forgot it was there. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's been using it and forgot it was in well, the Well, someone green. has all those wipes in the bathroom that are supposed to be flushable, well, by the wait. way. They're not. Well, now, wait a minute. Oh, they're flushable. Those But are, they clog right. up the system. What those are those, Those are Chick? like a uh, uh, shower in the middle of the day. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, any plumber will tell you, yeah, yeah, there are a lot of things that are flushable. They clean up the... Uh, Remember, one of my daughters flushed down a Barbie head, but that sure. doesn't mean it didn't clog up the whole system. <laughs> the bar Barbie them. didn't have the vigorous for the alone. Yeah, You wrap them in towels and throw them in the trash. Yes. Well, well what right. I do, those are uh, after wipes, if you will. Yes. You take care of things with the toilet paper and then those go on Correct. after. And and then I put them in the tan. That's why I, I do my business in the women's right because I put them in the tampon as well. Thanks. <laughs> oh my God, really? <laughs> lingering. I don't think anyone even cleans that, that out. That sounds horrible. You're not, just right next to the toilet. You're not lingering around that thing. <laughs> you're just a monster. <laughs> You know, oh. you know what? Next time I'll leave them on your desk. An argument can be made that I'd rather have blood in there than feces. Okay. But what I'm saying is there are trace, of, trace amounts of feces on the wipes when, I'm, when I use them. Uh. Really? I use them as Rorschach tests. I, <laughs> I take, take pictures of them and I send them to people. What is what this reminder? Well, I have never, ever heard of perineum I thought wash. you were going to say, I'm never, ever using the bathroom again. <laughs> well, there's that. I'm going to well, hold it for four so, hours. For some reason, there's a thing called perineum. Perineum wash. What's the name? Perineal, Perineal wash. wash. Perineal wash. Okay. So the perineum willy is the area <laughs> between the, uh, um, yeah, the front I, and the back. I thought the, it was the front and the back. It's I thought little, it was the dangly thing in the back of your mouth. In the back of your mouth. No, that's no, the no, uvula. No. Yeah. yeah. That's the uvula. Oh. This is uh, no tank. It's, yeah, it's, it's if, tank. If you proof. use if you use that on your uvula, yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. That's oh. that's actually it's, you know who's brought it's uh, this is not a joke the Ducal Corporation. <laughs> Okay. D U K A L. It's got to okay, be a joke. This, this is some printed label. I don't think so. It Look looks how, it pretty looks legit, legit, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And it's simple writing so old people can read it. I mean, again, it? if you had this issue. It's I'm simple writing it so old people can read it. <laughs> right, this is for adult diapers. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. is and, it? Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, my gosh. You can buy. For $48.81, you can buy a. Uh, uh, Better be a case. It's a and it comes in giant. This looks like oh, yeah. this looks like windshield wiper fluid and a big gallon jug. So this is a thing again. Yes. If you need it, sorry. I mean I, that's rough, but I guess you need it. So I may but try. It. It, it reminds me, Pat. Do you do you remember the song about um, when James Brolin was talking about? Uh, yeah, he started to. Uh, there was some idiot saying you should sunbathe your. Your perineum. Josh Brolin did that. What did I say? James Brolin. Well, right, yeah, Josh Brolin, his son. Right, okay, Josh yeah, Brolin. Yeah, he gave it a shot, and he, he really burned it. He got sunburn on his taint, didn't he? Yeah, Um. This I, I can find the story here. If, you, if I didn't, I'm just Googling it. Yeah, here it is. Josh Brolin uh, was following some guru um, named Metaphysical Megan 
Oh, she sounds legit. She yeah. shared it on Instagram. First of all, <laughs> on Instagram, if if you follow metaphysical Megan, you're an idiot. Okay? <laughs> I know. Uh, anyone who calls herself that, I'm, oh, I'm surprised yeah. she hasn't cured coronavirus yet. Oh, well, she, she's, she's uh, doing some very uh, compelling stuff. You're just so. a denier. Yeah, a, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Jeremy Fenton, a dermatologist, uh, said uh, there is some evidence to suggest that the genitals may be more susceptible to skin cancer than other areas of the body. So don't go sunning your genitalia. Josh Brolin had a painful sunburn on his uh, perineum after yeah. doing a, uh, wow. a split leg go, sunbathing go session. Go sun in your <laughs> genitalia. Now, uh, Pat, I don't remember the song, but I remember you, you did something. How does it go? Brolin, Brolin, Brolin. <laughs> Man, his taint is swollen. <laughs> Wasn't from cornholing. Rawl. <laughs> Move it up. Get some cream. Cool it down. Where's my spray? Rawl. Blistering from the sun. That was dumb. Make it numb. Brolin's burned raw hole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he could have used the perineal wash. He yeah. Wanna... Uh, that might sting, though. It kind well, of. I don't think it does have alcohol in it, does it? I don't know because it. I felt a little something when oh. I sprayed it on the back of my hand. I know there is one particular brand as I was searching uh, here. Yeah, that... Are you looking at the one I found that it's? It literally yeah. looks Isn't like a it, gallon. Yeah. It, it yeah. looks like it's uh, that. Oh. I wonder if you could use that as a uh, windshield wiper wash. Hmm. <laughs> do you get the purple or the uh, orange? <laughs> I, I do not. I get the blue. Yeah, I, thought, yeah, I, I get blue. blue. I, I get blue. blue. Yeah. Blue's the one taste the yeah. best, just like yeah. Gatorade. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Don't let your dogs drink it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, we forgot to do the rest of the introductions. I didn't even see. We've got Jessica Allsman over there. Hi, Jessica. Oh, hey. How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Love then, hearing this taint talk this morning. Well, <laughs> we're, it's about to get a lot worse. Taint or nacho, if you will. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some prefer to say nacho. It's nacho. 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 Not your balls, not your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I'd like to need to go down that road. <laughs> well, I, that's I, not true. Sure. Could have been a little more delicate. All right. Uh, coming up, do you know who Cardi B is, Jessica? Yes, I'm familiar with her work. Mm -hmm. Well, she is uh, <laughs> active in the uh, in the world of Instagram and is uh, describing some uh, very intimate activities that were happening to her most private areas. Oh, boy. For her fans. Hello. Um, she's kind of entering the territory of uh, a certain famous actress who has a company called Goop, ah. if you will. So we'll find out what she's, mm. do what she's doing to her particular genitalia when we return. Uh, and uh, also we have, and I, I'm, I, I'll direct this in a, in a general way to all ladies, not just to you two. Um, what? Yeah, uh, boy, this is going to be tough. Uh, in the realm of uh, of um, uh, toys in the bedroom, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's commonly thought that they're kept in the in a drawer by the side of the bed. Yeah, coming of up, course. we have a story, kind of a Marie Kondo of the dildo world. Oh, interesting. <laughs> uh, it's sort of a clever. Uh, home remedy kind of thing. Very fascinating stuff's coming up. Everything coming up is from the waist down. Oh, okay. To the knees. Oh, okay. great. All right. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah! This is Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7. Hey, I know a lot of you already have the Bob and Tom app. That's probably how you're listening to my voice right now on Bob and Tom 24-7. But if not, let your friends and family know the Bob and Tom app is free at your iTunes or Google Play store. You can listen to your local station, tune in to Bob and Tom 24-7, even set an alarm that will wake you up with the show. Imagine that. Chick McGee, the first voice you hear in the morning. How about you? You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The Treasury Department is out with a list of those who applied for loans under the Paycheck Protection Program designed to help small businesses survive the coronavirus pandemic. But some of those who applied and got loans are celebrity-linked companies you'd think wouldn't need government help. Among those getting some money, Clothing Line by actress Reese Witherspoon. Also getting loans, Kanye West's Yeezy Apparel line, and a company that did a website for Tim McGraw and his wife, Faith Hill. In each case, though, the companies that got help were entities that weren't part of the celeb's main source of income. Funeral plans are beginning to take shape for Charlie Daniels. The Tennessean newspaper reports the service will be in the town of Murfreesboro with an open visitation in Mount Juliet. 
The funeral will be at 11 a.m. on Friday with visitation set for the day before. Daniels died Monday of a stroke. He was 83. And a custom casket's being built for the funeral of the world's longest surviving conjoined twins who died July 4th in Ohio of natural causes. Donnie and Ronnie Galen, who were born joined at the abdomen, claimed the world record in 2014 shortly before they turned 63. Their younger brother, Jim, said he's received an outpouring of support following their deaths. They made it to 68 and they couldn't ask for anything more, according to Jim. A funeral with family and friends is set for next week. Starting as children, Donnie and Ronnie Galen appeared at carnivals and on cruises as a sideshow attraction. Their income supported the family for years and retired from entertaining in 1991. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. This is Bob and Tom 24-7, 24-7, 24-7. Here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. My dog's been talking to me. And I ain't wild about the conversation. Uh, He was originally contracted as a sweet but loyal mute. Now he's turned into a speechifying yakety galoot. And I gotta tell you folks, I don't know what it was I expected. But his choice of subjects is what really stinks. The way he talks about cats and squirrels and set your ears to ring and don't you get him started on that spay and neuter thing. You know, you can only just hear so much about marking territory technique and such. Hey, quit looking at me, buddy. Anybody can see that my dog's been talking to me. Now he don't like that dry dog food no matter how clean his teeth it will make well he would rather snack from a hefty sack and then brush with a fluoride paste sit I I said sit what do you mean you got a lawyer I said sit Now, if you're taking the time to examine your doggy's lips, you find the sides are floppy and serrated. And right up under his nose, why, his lips, they barely meet. And his tongue is way too big for proper enunciation in his speech. So consequently, his F's and M's and P's and B's are are less than perfect in their execution. And what's worse, they are accompanied by a string saliva breeze that anoints the conversation like a crystal clear pizza cheese. And when that dog is in my automobile, he's always messing with my radio station. And if he leaves that seat moved up again, I'm taking away his keys because my dog's been talking to me. Oh, yeah, I said my dog's been talking to me. Uh Uh-huh, I said my doggy has been uh, uh, talking to me. Bow wow. Hi, fellas, this is Floyd Tucker, the -the over-the-road trucker. This is Bob and Tom's program, 24-7. I got thrown out of J.C. Penney the other day. (laughs) Really? Yeah, fondling up the mannequins. (laughs) Believe that? And that ain't much. 820 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much. Christy Lee has the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by the Car X Man. More sun than clouds, but still a chance for scattered thunderstorms today. High of 91. Same for tomorrow with a high of 93. Right now, 76 degrees. Did you see that thing yesterday? It was uh, bright sunshine and And it poured for 20 minutes. Yeah, that was wild. Oh, yeah. (laughs) How does that happen again? That's what's going on. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Today, July 8th, 2020. World's still turning. Is that okay? Mm-hmm. Now, there's Chick. That's Josh. Along. Yes, right. This is Tom. That's Ace. Now, let's do the rest of the hunk here. We'll do the ladies first. All right. Jessica Alsman is at home being beamed in through electronic <laughs> stuff. Hello. Um, uh, Christy Lee is right next door in the next room behind the glass. Hi, everybody. Uh, socially distanced, as is Willie G over in the room over there. 
And Patty G is in the other room, and he's being beamed in electronically. So we're all here, and uh, we're ready to go. We just uh, discussed Josh Brolin, very fine actor, who, on the advice of someone called Metaphysical Megan, decided that he needed to get some sunshine in his genital areas and ended up getting a terrible sunburn on his perineum. Mm-hmm. Ah, man. Well, man. in his defense, though, it does need some sun, I would uh, think. No, according to uh, a, an actual physician, scientist, Dr. Jeremy Fenton says no. Scientist? That area may be more susceptible to skin cancer. Not a good idea. Again, yeah, Rogers. maybe pop a vitamin D. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Or yeah. something and get the same effect. And He's what? a scientist. Did he specialize in metaphysics? Because I think Megan knows what she's talking about. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, metaphysical's in her name. I right. Yeah. I mean, if you, if you came up, uh, across the name metaphysical Megan on <laughs> one of those dating services, you'd go up. Uh, Swipe left. Head case. <laughs> psycho. What a weirdo. Unless you're metaphysical Mike. Yeah. Something oh, like that. oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Man, that way you can save two other people from ruining their lives. <laughs> no, you just go ahead and have a metaphysical marriage. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. How oh. would you... So you'd have to go out and, what, stand on your head and spread eagle to get the sun in that area? Or oh, you, you could just raise your what? legs. Yeah, kind of lay on your back. Back and with your legs, legs spread. Or, or, yoga, or, do you have yoga one of those pose. suntan mirrors that you see in the movies all the time? Is or, your body <laughs> laid out differently than ours is? you got to stand on your head. <laughs> to, you to get sun about? on the perineum. <laughs> no, you can lay on your back. <laughs> yoga move. What the hell's wrong with you? Do could you not- it- <laughs> Couldn't you imagine him coming in next week going, you know, I got this thing online. It's well, the only thing. You strap your legs in, turn you upside down. If you're not doing this, you're going to die next week. You <laughs> hang from the ceiling. It's very relaxing. Because you, uh, you, you know, in the movies, they always have the guy sitting back with the, the folding mirror yeah. to get sun on his face. Maybe you could get one of those for the perineum. There's an invention. Sure you could. Yeah. Go on Shark Tank with that thing. <laughs> kind of put it around your knees or your ankles or yeah. it straps yeah. to your, yeah. That's yeah. right. The metaphysical mirror. The mirror shoes. Yeah. yeah. You can wear it while walking. It requires a, a, quite a substantial butt plug and some levers. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> lepers? Ah. What? Levers. 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's kind of a, you said lepers. I, I said lepers. Kind of a, kind of a cantilevered. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go sunning your perineum. Don't go. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, Pat, we need to work on that song. Yeah, don't go sunning your perineum. Yeah. And it's and it's also known as the taint. What did you call it, Josh? Uh, the nacho, it's also known as. Because it's, it's nacho. It's nacho testicles. that, and it's nacho, nacho this. That. Okay, yeah. let's do it that way. Is it Push. a grundle? What's a grundle? Call it a... I've heard that. I heard I under... I remember what that's from. There used to be a toilet company called Universal Rundle. I heard <laughs> grundle for uh, underwear. Really? The grundle. Gruns, Grund- I've heard for yeah. underwear. Grungy, grundle. Yeah. I don't know. Huh. Um, but the taint is what we always call it, and I'm... Sure. That's, most physicians refer to it that way. That's oh. right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> most physicians. My taintologist, uh, mm-hmm. certainly. I told you my buddy that got the... Here we go. Everybody pulling a, comfortable. He was pulling a, uh, uh-huh. pulling a, a, a rowboat up on shore. Boy, this is so oh, bad. let's not do this story. This is a horrible and, um, story. And at the bow of the uh, boat, there had been a uh, sort of flat piece of metal with oh. a big hole in it. Sure. And somehow, uh, if metal had fatigued and it was more like a spear. Yeah. So he's imagine this. He's backing up, pulling the boat up onto the beach, and he slipped. Ugh. This is awful. And, uh, awful. yeah, he sliced open the old perineum. Could have been a lot worse. He could have, you know, guillotined the boys. Sure, yeah. yeah but but still, that's, well, didn't someone up. at your college jump off a upper uh, bed springs top or bunk bed and catch uh, it on? Yep. Yeah. Ugh. I'd say his name, but he... He might be listening. Yeah, yeah. that's old whistle ball, right? Yeah, he uh, no, you know those little <laughs> sp- those 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 canvas those metal beds that have that sort of the canvas thing, and yes. they're held by those little tiny two inch springs with the like hooks on the end of, of the spring. Yeah, like a cot. Yeah, he, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was on the upper bunk, and he. And he I think and, the word you need is cot. <laughs> <laughs> he, he jumped cot? off the top bunk and literally yeah. looked up, and his uh, one of his gonads was hanging uh. from the. <laughs> oh, oh, God. oh, awful! Let me oh. tell you something. I don't believe that. Okay. I don't know how uh, it came out. I'll how, get how, how, would that, how would that have come out? Uh, I'll get I'll get Bob on the phone to verify. Man, oh man, that's what rough. What kind of lives did you guys lead where uh, testicles are flying out of people's bodies? No, he's sitting. He's on the upper bunk. Okay. I could imagine and he pushes getting... and jumps off, and his 
testicle bag, whatever you call it. Uh, scrotum, yeah. Thank you. Can you imagine a punch? Scrotum, scrotum, scrotum. <laughs> Careful with that scrotum. Ripping out a gonad. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You just did Jane, Josh Brolin, okay? okay rolling, rolling, rolling. It's called a callback. Thank you very much for your cooperation. <laughs> no, it's a true story. His first name, I guess his first name was Mike. Owned, an, owned a very fine restaurant. Hmm. As a matter of fact. McDonald? Mike McDonald? Yeah. Oh, you're not Mike <laughs> Fazoli? This is Mike Arby's? <laughs> not Mike Fazoli. <laughs> Mike Arby's? Nice uh, mom and pop place. Very, very fine place. Oh. Bob is very fond of it because uh, we were at an event there several years in a row, and Bob won the big uh, money during a Super Bowl party. Bob always wins. Yeah, the from money. what I understood, he was, he, from what I understand, he's quite lucky. Yes. Bob is very lucky. <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yes. Super Bowl winner, the one, always uh, been lucky. one where the Redskins lost. And I oh, lost my two hundred dollars. Thank you. Yeah. You should have talked to me. I knew that was coming. Okay, sorry. All right. now, where were we? Uh, uh, Christy well, Lee. We, we have could... to talk about Cardi B and the latest from Cardi. Brock's born <laughs> rapper Cardi B has posted an Instagram story about getting a lip wax and vagina bleaching. All right. A twenty-seven-year-old former stripper told her seventy million followers <laughs> in the clip. <laughs> That's great. Which shows only her legs. "Quote: I am bleaching my." Uh, uh, effing... Vajay J. No, Cootie she, cat oh. is what she calls it. Cootie cat. Yeah, so you gotta be kind of careful. Yeah, she's, it, it's, she called it the effing cootie yeah, cat. Yeah, I'm in my I'm crib. I'm not sure what that means. But uh, yes, you do. Her Vajay J. If someone said, do you call it your cootie cat? I don't, but Cardi B does. No, but you know what she's talking about. Yes, yeah. Yeah. right. You can call it whatever you want. Hey, all you cootie cats and kittens. Yeah. <laughs> so bleaching it. She says, I'm in my crib getting my vagina bleached, my underarm bleached, because, you know, sometimes we just quick shave and everything, bleached. and it gets your vagina just a little bit dark and everything. This is a quote. Is that true? I don't know. Wait a minute. Are those her calves? Wow, she's got calves like an NFL running back. Holy hell. Look at those. I oh, know she's an athlete. She is. Yeah, when she's a dancer, she's yeah, she's, she's, she's like, athletic. She okay. is in great shape. She I, is thick. I didn't know she was my age. I didn't know she was twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. The singer says she does not condone skin bleaching generally, just specific parts like the underarms, genital genitals, and butt. <laughs> but. Quote: I don't believe in body bleaching. I just believe in like underarm or like your vagina. Be careful. Maybe this, your... this, this next part you really yes, can't. Yes, I know, Tom. I'm an I'm a mature adult. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't trust us. I have been here for 30 years almost plus. Almost four decades. Yeah. Don't read the part that starts with brown and ends with... I? But yeah, like else. I'm totally getting my vagina bleached. Yes. She, she says. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, <laughs> I guess the good news is her vagina won't get coronavirus. No. Why is that? Because well, of the bleach. Bleach will kill it, right? Yeah. Oh. Um, so I don't understand where you you bleach the vagina. Is this a dumb question? Is it the... Outside? Is it the innards? It's got or, it has innards. to be the outside. Inner, yeah, yeah. Innards. Yeah. innards. Yeah, I would contact a, a <laughs> high, <wouldn't>. high, <laughs> highly qualified physician to have them talk you out of doing this. I can't imagine that there's anything good about this. Because no. I know the underarms can get dark, um, especially for some women. So I, I understand that. I've just never seen a darkened uh, vagina. Huh. In yeah, that she, way. She can do whatever she wants to do. Yeah, she's got yeah. the money to do it. Yeah, yeah but when you're sure. encouraging 7 million people, or, I'm sorry, 70, 70, 70 million people to do something that's Wait probably... She's not encouraging. Yeah, she's, she's just she's telling not, them what she's no, doing. She's just oh, reporting. Tom's right. She has, to have some, she has to take some responsibility here. That's not true. No, no. She just puts it up there. She's an influencer whether she likes it Seven, or not. It's 70 up, million yeah. people. It's up there. It's up there. There's probably up a lot of 13-year-olds or 14-year-olds trying to do this. No. And, God, yeah, no. and I assume, I don't know anything about skin bleaching. I assume it's not just Clorox. Well, of course not. Well, but I, <laughs> does the average person that's, I mean, I'm assuming. Right. The, you can get. The average Cardi B follower, I'm guessing. They may just is it a road scholar? I don't yeah. think this is like Pat's hair dye kits. I don't think this is an at home thing. I think. Right. All right. Oh, I bet it is. Somebody at home is. They're going to sit in a bowl of peroxide. Uh, 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 I'm oh, assuming there's. Oh, this, there's must be a home. Skin no, somebody. Somebody's going to try it with Clorox. Right. Why yeah. are we talking about it? Let's. If we weren't talking about it. it was, I mean, the, use the, lemon juice for freckles. Mm -hmm. we'll say it again. Lemon yes. juice. What? Like if you want, like if you get like a sunspot or some freckles, lemon juice is supposed to help kind of over time. It's not like you just use it once and no gone. Kidding. But 
Yeah, it's it acidic. Lightens, it scores. It's acidic, yeah. It scores the skin. Yeah. What? Yes. It's called scoring. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I don't and then know. if you want some sun in your hair, you throw some lemon juice in it. And oh, I'm writing this down. Oh, yeah. Lighten okay. it up. Oh, you kickstart your uh, highlights. That's right. Uh -huh. Kickstart the yeah. highlights. Yeah. Or use that sun and stuff. Oh, my gosh. Remember that? Cool. <laughs> I'd spray it. Your hair ends up orange. It does not turn blonde. <laughs> I feel like my dad's about to yell, lemons are to be used for iced tea, and that is it. <laughs> <laughs> Iced tea and traditional know. iced tea, by the way. I'm off. I'm off lemons in my iced tea. Yes, yes, really? because they carry germs. Because I read that the uh, dirtiest thing in a restaurant is the lemons they put in your tea because they don't read. wash them. Yeah, I, I heard that too. They say don't get them. Uh, now limes. Oh, nice. <laughs> you ever get a lemon slice think... in your tea that's mostly seeds? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You go, what the hell's this? <laughs> <laughs> Straws clogged. Well, let's get back to the 70 million followers of Cardi B. Uh, more on lemons <sighs> and tea. And I, uh... <laughs> lemons and tea. So anyway. <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty irresponsible, frankly. She needs to take some responsibility. You know someone's going to end up in a hospital doing this with Clorox. Now, that's their fault, yeah. but she does need to... I mean, this is, in fact, endorsing this. I just want to be there when some some dude that went to medical school and worked hard and passed organic chemistry and... Some dude. Some lady walks in and goes, Doctor, it's my cootie cat. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's a bad year for you people want in power. Free. Yeah, it's a bad year for people in power suggesting people use bleach at home. Is what we're trying to say. I think yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Just, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> yes. No. Um. Of course, it is a good idea to have those bounce sheets on your boobs, right, Christy? What? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Get some real. Just rub them on your right. boobs. Right. You want them to be soft. Well, oh, yeah, it's yeah. funny because yes. it's called bounce. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Bounce. Yeah. Put oh, bounce oh, on your bounce. Yeah. Put more bounce in your bounce. And she's also she also dyed her. Uh, dirt button? No, she says she, I don't think she said she wouldn't do she that. She liked that brown. She, she said says. you can do it, but she likes hers brown. Likes <laughs> hers brown. <laughs> Survey says <laughs> I like I, my brown, like I like my coffee. And then that's, no. that's it. I know a guy who dated a girl who was who would bleach that area quite a bit. Yeah. The, uh, the, the uh, anus. And uh, he said Was his name Andy? His name. <laughs> Oh. Is, that, is that an anus and Andy joke? <laughs> anus and Andy. He, it was not. Oh. <laughs> he laughed. He said that it was like uh, girl. It was silver. It became very silver. Oh. Silver. Oh. Silver. Wait a second. How would Jackie Kennedy, what would she say about that check? Well, my anus is silver. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed that or not, but it's more of a... Uh, Mrs. Ver Kennedy. Vermeer. <laughs> ver 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 Vermeer. I think it's a Vermeer, yeah. actually. Well, you knew <laughs> what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the most obscure reference of the day, <laughs> the Jackie Kennedy that. White House tour. Let's go on Ver May reference. Oh, that is just, that is nice. <laughs> I'm sorry. There seems to be brain we're talking in my about, Willie? No idea. <laughs> Jackie, in the 60s. <laughs> Jackie Kennedy did a famous White House tour. You didn't hear that. Jackie it, has brain in their ashtray. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> oh, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was aired on two oh. different networks. Was it Char Charles Collinwood was the co-host? Charles co Collingwood. Yep. He was Walter Cronkite before Walter. Now to my untutored eye. <laughs> yeah. well, it was one of the most watched television shows in actually, history at the time. Yeah. But the chick does a very fine Jackie Kennedy. Here's, I did this here's, before we heard what she talked like, and you guys didn't believe it. You're right, Nailed we it. didn't. This is an actual excerpt of the Jackie Kennedy White House tour, <laughs> oh, currently yeah. available all over YouTube. Here oh, yeah. Tell me about the silverware <laughs> in China, Mrs. Kennedy. But it's not silver. It's all gold or vermeil. Oh, for they Christ. used to use them <laughs> rose now. Am I supposed lost. to say vermeilware? So many of them have been lost, so they've been caught. Lost. It's been lost. Well, that's my lost. that's my northeast coming. Oh, is that your? Now and now we have a Jackie Kennedy getting, uh, putting up a picture and hitting her her thumb with a hammer. <laughs> well, it's actually a dollar son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mrs. affectation there, maybe. Yeah. I Who talks like that? Now, this is Kennedy. <laughs> to my untutored eye. Charles Collinwood. You want to hear me again? Here we go. Tell me about the silverware in China, Mrs. Kennedy. But it's not silver. It's all gold or vermeil. Uh, uh, oh, excuse guy. the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, oh, yeah? Well, was well, Jack's <laughs> cheating on yeah. you. Yes, I know. It smells like uh, Marilyn Monroe's cootie cat, Monroe. Mrs. Right. Kennedy. <laughs> Cronkite gets to do the walk on the moon. I'm stuck here talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the punk kid Dan Rather, that punk kid Dan Rather's in Dallas waiting for something to happen. And I'm here.
talking about vermeil. Talking about soup dishes. <laughs> I'm the diamond in the Tiffany Network. Yeah, I'm yeah. sitting here with you. Tell me about this wooden spoon, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Get her, Josh. Get like, to her. Uh, yeah, that good. That Collins got real bad. Uh, All right, yeah. cut, cut, yeah. Carl. Charles, do that again. <laughs> cut. I'm sorry. Oh, come on. Sorry. Yeah. This is London. No, it's not. I'm, <laughs> no, I'm in talking the about house. China at the White House. <laughs> this rich lunatic. Yeah, somebody write a rap song about something in here. Yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> really great. Yeah, that's okay, terrific. so we've gone from uh, <laughs> somehow we've gotten from Cardi B's mommy parts to uh, Cardi B to Jackie O. Oh, yeah. Yeah. there's a topic, nice. ladies with an initial for their last name: Cardi B, Jackie O. If that's, and okay, if that's a topic, give me another. Jesse J. I, yeah, I don't know who that is. You brought up the topic. Give me one more. Um, <laughs> Jessica just did. Yeah, I didn't yeah. ask Jessica. Now did I? I don't. I don't have well, another one. He, I, he group effort. It. Chick, chick opened the door to a whole I, new I hunk did. I did of not comedy. Enter, uh, I did does not Susan B. Anthony count? No. 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 Susan B. No. no. Susie B. Yeah. yeah call her Susan B. Susie B. Nobody calls her Susan. The casual B. kids do. What about R. R. B. G. But that's all in letters. Yeah. You have Steve O. That's oh. not a lady. Oh, yeah. So far we've Oh, I'm up. sorry. You wanted... Oh, this is totally ladies? He it's brought ladies. up... It's his topic. Uh, Mel B. Mel yeah. B. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. 40, now there. we have four. And Mel C. Who? K-E-Y. Oh, 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 there you go. You do Mel B, you got to do Mel C. Who's Jesse J, Alls? She's a singer. Oh, okay. She's a... Uh, so that's uh, legit. Pop. Bang, bang, into the room. Yeah. That song. That oh, girl. yeah, all right. Like that, yeah. So that's legit. No idea. Nope. Of course not. Mm, okay. <laughs> bang, bang, into the boob. Room. Really? Into the room. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. I think it's called... <laughs> I think it's just called Bang Bang. It's with the. Uh, you said Nicki Bang Nash. Bang into the room, not wanna, into the boob. I want to be in the boob where it happens. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, jeez. Ah. It's pudding night. That's all I care about. <laughs> I once held Fanny Ray's boobs. <laughs> I rubbed them. I rubbed them with uh, those 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 dry cleaner sheets. Yeah. yeah no, Made them wow. bouncy. Uh, that was one big monkey. Uh, Speaking of monkeys, did you see? The latest video of this woman, she's, I think, from the UK. She was visiting a, a monkey refuge in Bali or someplace, Indonesia, maybe. And this monkey climbs up on her lap, first tries to undo her shorts, and then pulls her top out and Whoa. looks down her shirt. Oh, oh my right. goodness. Like, All right, oh monkey. Oh, gosh. It's wow. like, whoa. Monkey knows what he wants. <sighs> she said he thought, she goes, oh, I think he was just looking for food. I'm like, okay. Well, lucky he didn't latch on. <laughs> Nothing like <laughs> getting a monkey teeth gnash in the old nips. <laughs> <laughs> on a yeah. different note, ladies and gentlemen, let's go from Jay-Z. Party. Did anyone say Jay-Z? Jay-Z's That's not a, a girl. Guy. Are we still doing girl? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, that was the topic. <laughs> okay. Ray J. Queen B. No, okay. that's not right. Um. <laughs> Oh, there you are. You're onto something there, I think. Beyonce? Um, now, I, I want to remind you that um, there is a way now to do something in private that you might have been too embarrassed to do. I'm talking about dealing with ED. Oh. Roman is a pharmaceutical distributor. More initials. All that right. had a, a great idea uh, by uh, making it much easier to find out if you were indeed a candidate for some of these pharmaceuticals that great scientists and doctors came up with in order to deal with ED. You grab your phone or your computer right from home and uh, you organize a complete and free online visit by going to GetRoman.com slash Wood. What happens? Well, you'll hear back from a U.S. licensed physician within 24 hours. And if that doctor decides that uh, there is a treatment that is right for you, your medication will be shipped right to your door with free two-day shipping. How about that? Plus, unlimited follow-ups with the physician if you have questions or want to adjust your treatment plan. So, if you're struggling with ED, stay home and uh, find out if you're un indeed a candidate for some of these miracle drugs. You've been hearing about, hearing about them for years on TV with uh, stuff like Viagra and the Bob Dole commercials, that sort of thing. Well, now you can uh, enter that world and get part of your life back, perhaps. Go to GetRoman.com slash Wood. It's a free online visit and free two-day shipping. Once again, GetRoman.com slash Wood. Spell it out, G-E-T-R-O-M-A-N, GetRoman.com slash Wood for the free online visit and free two-day shipping. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you coming up. We have um, uh, bread in the news and a great way to meet ladies. Bread, the music group? No. no. If a picture uh, paints a thousand words, uh, and a, why can't I paint you? And a terrible idea for a tattoo that's sweeping the nation. Okay. Guess what? When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Everything about the show is a last one. All right. You guys. <laughs> Sending open calls for the vulture.
agency Cause I've got to be free Free to face the life that's ahead of me I'm bored, I'm the captain So climb aboard We'll search for tomorrow Sing with me, Bob and Tom. Yeah. A gathering of angels appeared above my head. They sang to me this song of hope. And this is what they said. They said, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me. Come on, folks, too high. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away. Let us be on. Making that up is an uh, interesting ending. Virus. The Washington Nationals and Houston Astros resumed workouts after canceling practices on Monday because of testing delays. And the San Francisco Giants say they are suspending workouts at Oracle Park pending the results of tests conducted this past weekend. On Monday, the club said two people had tested positive for the virus, but didn't provide further details on whether the two were players, coaches, or staff. Prospect Hunter Bishop and pitcher Luis Madero in the 60-player pool already have tested positive. And Oklahoma and Texas officials are cautiously optimistic that their annual football showdown still will be played at the Cotton Bowl in the Fair Park in Dallas, despite the announcement yesterday that the Texas State Fair would be canceled. And Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson has canceled his annual Fun Day with LJ event in Florida due to the coronavirus. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. We have a lot to get to today. Um, a lot of things are going on, of course. And again, I think it's very important to know that right now we are all living in a world where there's just so much information and bad information and good information and disinformation and misinformation floating around. You're probably wondering who's going to sort it out for you. Well, don't never forget that um, the mission statement of our program is. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Just do that. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24-7. Joined in the studio by comedian Darren Carter. You do have a very nice head of hair. No, it happens to be red you. in color. You know what? It's it's another example of keeping the red-headed man down. <laughs> <laughs> right. He didn't know. He didn't know. That's all right. I I'm forgive sorry, you. Man. Take my hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. All right. It's all good, baby. It's all good. <laughs> They're keeping the red-headed man down. Every time you see a redhead on TV, we're a nerd. You know, we're a clown. We're like, you know, Bozo, Howdy Doody, Ronald McDonald. You just can't help it. People see us, they go, what's up, fireball, flame brain? <laughs> Women always want tall, dark, and handsome, never pasty, pink, and wholesome. <laughs> I like to use the Bob and Tom show for my own personal use. I'm organizing a million red-headed man march. Okay. All right. Are there that many? Uh, no. You know, I, well, there's like 12 guys with red hair. I don't even think we'd make hands across the street, to be honest with you. You're a young guy. What kind of music are you into? Uh, man, I'm into, you know what I love? I love to wake up early in the morning to angry gangster rap because really it yeah. does you know alarms don't wake me up but gangster rap there's nothing better than when you're, when you're like really tired and you're all in your blankets hearing this 
I'll pop a cap in your ass, fool. <laughs> Trick ass, bitch. And then the DJ comes on. That was Let's Be Friends. <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. Yeah, Hip hop slang is like so popular now. I mean, I was at the dentist's office and he and it hurt and and he goes, "My bad." I was like, "Damn, you know." Uh, like, my bad. You're my dentist. Do you really yeah. listen to rap music? Yeah, and... I listen to it. I listen to everything now. You know. When I first, you know, like like when I first got here, you know, chick was, you know, hassling me because of my red hair. Well, I, when I started rapping, the kids they stopped calling me names, you know, and they started. They were like, I wasn't Darren, I was Deron. You know? <laughs> yeah. that, that was kind of like my way out, you know. It was like they were like, "What's up, Deron? What's up, baby? It's all good." Uh -huh. And I was like, "Oh, cool, man. I'm not nerd anymore. Nah, fool, you can rap, man. You can rap, dog." Uh -huh. you know? And I, I wasn't even that good. It's just there was no white guys rapping yet, you know. And now, it's, man, I'm telling you, styles have changed. And, uh, you know, gangster rap is popular. And, and say, I can't even fake it. You know, how come I'm going to fake like I'm in a gang? How scary would my gang be? You know, 15 redheads coming to your neighborhood, you know, out there covering a the sunscreen, you know, <laughs> you know be like wiping it on, talking about, stop pushing me, Trevor. <laughs> Damn it, it's so hot out here. You know? you know, our little gang hand sign would be like, you know, when you hold your hand above your eyebrows, trying to make sunglasses, yeah. <laughs> squinting our eyes. You know? We wouldn't be talking about west side, east side. We'd be like, hey, let's go inside. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> yeah, shady. That's what we'd be on the shady side of the street. We'd only be in neighborhoods with big trees, and we'd be like, shady side, fool. You know? 15 redheads talking about shady side. We stay inside because we get sunburned when we go outside. Shady side. <laughs> you know, can you imagine redheaded gangs? You no, know, we'd be all mad. Hey, punk, I saw you trying to diss me at the gap. Right, I'm back with all my redheads. Cameron, Trevor, Ian, Fletcher. Hey, everybody. This is Jimmy Pardo. You recognize my voice from the show and my face from television. You are listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Augie Smith. Mm, that sounded interesting. 847 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. It certainly is. And keep listening. That's going to be happening a lot on Q95. Uh, there we go. That feels good. Oh, we're back. Um, hi, I'm sorry. Let's do ladies first, shall we? On the big screen over there, broadcasting from her home, it's Jessica Alsman. Hello. She's so sweet. You have nice teeth. Nice <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Man, if there's any... Uh, Willie, I hope you're weird. taking notes on what how Tom weird. talks to the lady. <laughs> what a weird, specific, creepy take. Well, I, oh, yeah. I'll tell you why I'm saying that, because I just was walking down the hallway in the other building, and Godwin walks up to me, and he goes, Ah... Oh. I broke a tooth last night. I'm going straight to the dentist. I'm missing the meeting today. Are you kidding me? I well, I was first of all, I was sitting. I didn't go up to you. We were talking, and I just said I broke a tooth last night. Yeah, on an are you, almond. Are you in pain? Uh, Not at all. Oh, okay. All right. But you have nice teeth. Are they all in place there, my Jessica? God, what uh, he goes through. There's a there's a fake one in there. Can you pick it out? Uh, no, but that's yeah. not a good look. You know, you don't don't do that. That's a good uh, look. You know who that reminded me of? Ernest T. Bass. When he had, a, he had a, when his mouth kicks open. That's what he says. Look at that. Check that out. <laughs> look at it, Andy. Yeah. So Ernest T. Bass. I think he was only on what four episodes I of the show, so, yeah. and he's one of the most memorable characters. The, I, that episode aired last week. I watched it. Oh, oh one of, of course them. you did. Oh, it was great. God, uh, Mayberry is the place you want to be in your head right now. Yeah. It Barney. is 1967, 64 at your house, isn't it? All the time. Right? Mayberry's, b b b what, like 62, I 62. think. The, b the good ones, yeah. yeah. Uh, what state was Mayberry in? Do they North say Carolina. North Carolina? Oh, they just, oh, they do say. Oh, if you drive through there, you'll know. Mount Pilot. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Um, let's see, where was I? Oh, I, introduction, ladies first. Christy Lee's in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Hi, Christy. Hi, Tom. Uh, next door to her in the um, hot box, the boom box, what are we calling it? The boom box. <laughs> the boom party room. <laughs> <laughs> the boom. I like the boom boom room yeah. too. Yeah. Here. How about the boom, boom, boom box? Boom boom room. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but it sounds good. I don't think anyone has, me, has boom Let's boxes see. anymore. When did you think making sense on this show was a priority? <laughs> oh no, trust me, I am well aware. Of that. <laughs> Again, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, with all the confusion in the world, we'd like to state that we have a mission statement. And it is, <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm doing that no hands now, kind of just shaking a little bit. Yeah, I've done it a couple it's times. It's hard to do that with headphones, though. You yeah. Know, shake it, baby, to shake get the really, it. That, that, that great sound. Okay, then where was I? Uh, oh, the big room. It's uh, it's uh, Ace, uh, Chick, Josh, and this is Tom speaking. Sheila Welcome back. E. Oh, there's uh, another one. Good job. Jackie O, Sheila E, Cardi B. Mel B. Mel B. Mel B. 
Mel Bay. Ladies with last B. names, initials for last names. Of course, there's Dr. Melf E from Sopranos. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty you know good. That was very good. I, I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. <laughs> Damn. The, judges, the judges have reviewed it. Damn fine. I liked it. And this started with we had a discussion of Jackie O. That's right. And somehow, I'd have to have a detective explain to me how we got from Cardi B... Yeah. In her discussion of her um, mommy parts, which she is bleaching, I don't want to, talk about this. to her 70 million followers. Could we prevent those people from voting somehow? I think it might help the world. Yeah, Russia's working on it. Okay. Uh, and then we got China. talking about Jackie O. And, the, and I was telling Willie, yeah, this was uh, when I was a little kid, Jackie Onassis. She wasn't Jackie O yet. She was still Jackie Kennedy. And she did a famous tour of the White House. And interestingly enough, broadcast, on I, th I think, two of the three major networks simultaneously for some reason. Huge ratings. Yeah, Charles Collinwood was the host. That's and, right. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, do your Charles Collinwood again. Mrs. Kennedy, <laughs> is my untutored eye, your nipples seem to be erect. Oh. Okay, let's, let's, That's no, right. let's give this Mr. a lesson, shall we? Here, here, here it comes. Oh. One of the nicest things in this room to my untutored eye is oh, that's the untutored eye line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Love yeah. Oh God, that's great. Well, let's let's give a, here's let's try this one. A tour of the White House with Mrs. John F. Kennedy. Mrs. Kennedy, I want to thank you for letting us visit your official home. This is obviously the president's penis room. Oh wait a minute, this, this, what the hell? this I think there's this is skipping. No, no, been, no, that's completely accurate. That must have been the rehearsal. Uh, uh, let's let's keep listening. The loss. That's right. All sorts of penis was here. Yes, there are. Uh, in the men's room downstairs, we found all the president's penises in storage. <laughs> it just seemed to me such a shame when we came here to find hardly any presidential <laughs> hung in the White House. It's a beautiful room. Isn't that the penis of George Washington? <laughs> that's right. That's Washington. <laughs> Magnificent. <laughs> that's the oldest <laughs> here. I think that is of historical interest. <laughs> is this uh, a d Yes, this little penis was left by President Van Buren in the gold room. And the next one in line is, uh... Is Thomas Jefferson's firm c <laughs> Oh, it has a very different feeling than the rest of yeah. This is a marvelously masculine piece. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's so pretty. Have you changed it a great deal? No, we painted it white. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Once again, oh, don't yeah, believe boy. anything you hear. Okay? <laughs> this, 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 this a is, deep fake, as okay. they say. Okay, here we go. Let's listen to this one. <laughs> one of the nicest things in this room to my untutored eye is that beautiful young lady over the fireplace. <laughs> You're right. You see so many of the beautiful old vagina. Oh. And there oh. is the Monroe's vagina. Oh. And it's all embroidered in gold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Holy Monroe's hell. Monroe's vagina they had. Uh, <laughs> oh. That took a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was made by a local middle school AV team. <laughs> Holy hell. Sure does sound like that's what she's saying, yeah, it man. It does. A lot of patience and a little imagination. Yeah, Don't believe really anything you hear. Okay, now, yeah, um, we were talking about... <laughs> I was drunk. <laughs> we were talking about uh, uh, taints. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or yeah. as you call it, the nacho. Well, I don't, but some do. Yeah, I just want to make sure. Because I've heard the taco... What's the well, top? Well, no, the top of the, yeah, of course, be, uh, yeah. the right. distaff side of the, That's sure, sure. That's the one Northwest part. Baby Cave entrance. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a, a talk of uh, perineum tattooing. Oh. Again, I don't know why. Who's going to see that? Well, That's got to hurt. Your intimate uh, partner. But Whoa. if they're wearing a miner's helmet, I guess. <laughs> Hey, well, get the light. You do it with the lights on? Get the light. I had your name <laughs> tattooed in my perineum. You know, when, wait a minute. When you, you you probably never had an opportunity to see a taint. He's never you? had light, sex with the lights on. There's no way in hell. <laughs> you know, I have a system. The lights go off. And... I'm not putting my face there. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, you pee out of this and That's... you poop out of that. Why That's how do you do make that? babies not... sitting in between those two. What the hell is this all about? I There's have no a way. Special light. Oh, Here comes the stage crew joke. Oh, Good I Lord. have a special light. It's called a Fernell. No, absolutely. No one gets that. I Not get even it. the stage crew. Yeah, sure. How do you spell it, Pat? F-E-R-N-E-L. 
Fresnel. Fresnel. I got it wrong? Uh, I think it's Fresnel. I think it's F-E-R. Peel. P-E-E-L. It's been, P-E-E-L. A, it's been a long time. Uh, now, uh, do, do you have else. the tattoo story? I think this is pretty interesting. A tattoo shop in New York City has said that people are looking to get coronavirus tattoos. Boo. As the parlors get ready to reopen under New York's Phase 3, Bang Bang Tattoos, assistant manager Paul Paz said he, quote, had a group oh, the, of nurses uh, and East, doctors. He started coloring Wait a minute, you mean Paul? <laughs> Paul? Christy, it's, it's Paul. Pause. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> or is it Paz? Pause. Oh, Paz. Sorry. P-A-Z. Um, they want to get the coronavirus-related group tattoo, this, this group of nurses and doctors. Other customers oh, okay. have been asking the shop about getting coronavirus tattoos. Uh, some emailing in pictures of the actual virus. We've all seen that. I don't think anyone wants to remember this. I could see that. If you, to, if you were that close over. and that... You know, Maybe if you're line. a nurse yeah. or something. Right. Yeah. Mr. Inkwells... I'm sorry, Jessica. Mr. Oh, that was a... Mr. Inkwells, an L.A.-based tattoo parlor, shared a blog post on its favorite virus-themed tattoos. They included a bizarre, poorly drawn big cat tattoo that says, quote, COVID-19 made me do this, Tiger King themed. A roll of toilet paper with the words coronavirus survivor. See, that, that aspect of this is already over. Yeah, didn't get plenty of toilet paper, bought it yesterday. Corona beer coronavirus mashups, and a roll of toilet paper with butterfly wings with the words social distance butterfly. Oh, God. Again, I don't really want to remember these times for the most well, part. Well, they're going to be impossible to forget. You don't yeah. need a tattoo to remind you. It's right. changing yeah. the world. And it's also, it's too tragic to get a tattoo that says, 100,000 people died and all I got was this COVID tattoo. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's yeah. very I mean, 100,000 might be low by the time it... I think you should maybe get, what's that guy's name? Um, have the coronavirus molecule, whatever it is, and have uh, Calvin peeing on it. Oh, Yeah, that's, yeah. that would be oh, at least Calvin something and Hobbs, yeah. with some humor oh, to it or okay. cleverness. This is like getting a uh, Super Bowl champion tattoo two minutes into the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, wait a minute. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> uh, when we come back, we have possibly the worst way to meet women. Yeah, Pat, listen up. Okay. Uh, coming up. And we have, if, if you um, are a uh, big fan of the uh, ladies, if you're a big fan of the sex toys. Well, I think it appeals to men, too. Did men have sex he, toys. Did you hear what he just said? Yes. If you're a big fan of the sex toys, yeah. we have a way to kind of Marie Kondo your collection. Mm-hmm. It's All right. cr- really quite fascinating. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, Floyd, it's Mark Allison on a Wednesday, July 8th, 2020. Thanks so much for joining us. Allie Breen on the way, zooming in from New York City. We'll find out what's going on with Allie as well as the relationship questions that you've sent over to her in the past week. We'll review some of those coming up right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. President Donald Trump is launching an all-out effort to press state and local officials to reopen schools this fall. He says some are keeping schools closed, not because of coronavirus risks, but for political reasons. Trump hosted a White House roundtable Tuesday with health and education leaders who said schools and colleges can open safely. They argue the risks of keeping students at home outweigh any risks tied to the coronavirus and that students need access to meals and mental and behavioral health services. 
Chief Justice John Roberts spent a night in the hospital last month after he fell and injured his forehead. A Supreme Court spokeswoman confirmed Tuesday night that Roberts was treated at a hospital on June 21st for an injury sustained in a fall while walking for exercise near his home. Roberts' injury required sutures, and out of an abundance of caution, he stayed in the hospital overnight. Some people are so desperate to fly again, they're signing up for what we call fantasy flights. This is in Taiwan, where aviation officials held an online drawing for people to come on a flight to nowhere. Winners were invited to Taipei's International Airport, where they got on a jet. The flight never left the ground, but those aboard did get the experience of air travel. They had to check in, get boarding passes, even go through immigration and security. Once they took their seats, the passengers, all wearing masks, were served food and drinks, even got a salute from fire engines that sprayed water. To complete the experience after getting off, passengers went through a simulated customs drill, complete with a sniffer dog. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom shows on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. I found an we ATM. We probably wouldn't uh, be talking about it. It was in a real big lake. You know where I found it? No, where? The bank. Oh. <laughs> the bank. The bank. The bank. The bank. <laughs> oh, 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 on the bank of the yeah. lake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Maybe at. Maybe at, at I, I, I look at this as sort of a, a trapeze act. Uh, <laughs> when I when I let go of the the bar and I'm yeah. flipping through the air, sure. right? I'd like one of you to catch me. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and high all day long. The Bob and Tom Show weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24 seven. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom twenty four seven. Boy, better get up, get some exercise. Excuse me, darling. I hate to interrupt you, but there's something I must tell you. I will sing for you now. My dear, if you find yourself in Holland, they'll say to you, how your mom. In France, they'll say, ferme la gole. In Athens, You'll hear scamons. In Berlin, it's Helton see the schnauzer. <laughs> In Jakarta, it's simply bon come. <laughs> Let me translate for you, darling. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Has there ever been a topic (laughs) on which you don't expound? (laughs) Has there ever been a moment when your mouth wasn't making a sound? (laughs) Have you ever had the feeling that you might have said enough? (laughs) I am begging. My darling, shut up, shut up, shut up. Day on the three at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christy has a quick forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by Car X. A variable cloudiness chance for scattered thunderstorms today and tomorrow. High today, 91. High tomorrow, 93. Sunny and 78 currently. Might want to seal up that house. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, you, yeah. you look at those people, they pop on the AC and then they open their windows. You want to go, uh uh-uh. uh. Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me explain how this works. Uh, that's why you want to have great windows. So when you close them, it keeps that heat out there. You know, right. And you get the pop on the AC, and then the winter, it keeps the heat in there. How, th- those windows, how do they know? Well, that's where you want to go to Window Nation. They have the exact type of window for this particular climate. And Window Nation, Josh Arnold from the Bob and Tom Show has a great offer right now. What is it, Josh? They sure do. You can get a free online virtual quote valid for six months. Deferred payments for two years. Two free windows with every two you buy. No limit on that. So and- if I buy, I need 12 windows. How many do I have to buy? Six. Uh, did you see Josh? You panicked. <laughs> oh, the math is not my strong suit. No. <laughs> That's right. It's it's two for one. Yes. From our friend who's at Window Nation. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Don't forget the zero down payment and zero interest for two years. Zero down payment, zero interest for two years at windownation.com. That's windownation.com. <sighs> ah, there we go. Wow. Good. Sold, American. Uh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs>
Let's do this by height, shall we? Please just introduce. Just say the name. Okay. Should I do it? Do it Come by bad. Should I do it by bad attitude? Uh, yeah. There's a chick across the way. Hi everybody. How about you? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. You just ring. You just our show is like a washer. You just ring the fun. <laughs> bring the fun. That's what I do. No, no, not bring the ring. <laughs> Um, oh boy, today Chick really complimented me. I, I, I believe it. You're just the a fun. bald face liar. You just look at the camera and you lie. Where's the camera? Uh, there's uh, there's Ace Cosby. He's the tallest one here, I think. In the big room, it's Chick, Ace, Josh, and yours truly. We're all six feet or so. Yeah. Well, how tall are you, Josh? I am uh, six and a half. Okay, now what about with your new hairdo? <laughs> oh, my, six oh. three. Yes. <laughs> Josh is uh, growing out of the, the Larry Fine. Boy, it's nuts. It's great. It really he, has turned the corner into Crazyville. Yeah. 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 Do, the, do the ladies dig that, do you think? Um, I'm getting some... I'm getting a lot of... Uh, it's mixed, You right? can cut it if you want. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, then, uh, speaking of ladies, we have uh, Christy Lee right there. She is in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom all by herself in yep. quarantine. And then um, Willie is uh, in, what are we calling it? The Boom Boom Room? The uh, Hot Box. Rumpus Bucks. What is it? Rumpus Bucks it is from now on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rumpus, Rumpus Bucks. Bucks. Oh. Damn. <laughs> The word I rumpus like is just dated, isn't it? Rumpus? What's the rumpus? <laughs> My mom used to call the backside, that's your rumpus. You're Not your rump, rump but because uh, I've heard rump. She would call it the rumpus. I think it, that's because she was a, she could, uh, she could studied oh. Latin for years. Oh. So she, My grandma called it the bobo. Your bobo? Yeah. Oh. yeah. Really? What, did you fall down on your bobo? My grandma called it the ass. Yeah. <laughs> get your ass in here. Get your ass in here. You're going to get your ass beat. Okay. Did she call that just the one body part or referring to you? Oh, I see. That's very funny, Tom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, we have uh, Jessica Altman. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Looking good. And then uh, we have Pat <laughs> Looking Gun. good. Hello, 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 hello. Uh, now, uh, Christy, where were we? Well, you were kind of uh, alluding to the fact that there is an interesting way to try to pick up women in the news today. And, Pat, I do not recommend this one. Okay. Um, a 32-year-old man from Japan was recently arrested after allegedly slashing a woman's tire Ooh. just so he could follow her and offer assistance wow. when she eventually pulled over to check the wheel. Sounds like a scene from a movie, <laughs> Yes, isn't it? it does. Like this a rom-com. Is, uh, uh -huh. This is a bold move. Not a rom-com from a horror movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> allegedly. A you see a movie. bloody knife right after that scene? Come on. He's pulled the same stunt hundreds of times in Japan. So, okay. yeah. Trying to meet a lady. Man, oh, sounds man. Like a, sounds like a real keeper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Hundreds of times. Hundreds. Yeah, what's his success rate, you think? This has to be pretty low. Yeah. Uh, well, does, but he does, keeps doing it. Does he yeah. just happen to have a thing of fix-a-flat with him? Yeah. Although if you're slashing the tire, the fix-a-flat's not going to Yeah, you're going to need a wheel. They're going to have to hope they have a spare. <laughs> happen to have a, uh, a, a tire ready to go and the wheel that it's on. Uh, Yikes. Could be worse. Could be cutting brake lines. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Gee. Yeah, that would be worse. Oh, are, are we going to do could be worse news? <laughs> no. yeah. I like this very much. Is yeah. this guy, he got arrested, right? Yeah. yeah. Or it could be worse. Could he was be arrested. In the chair. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, His dating was. profile would say something like, I like a woman who likes to go on long walks from her car to the gas station. <laughs> 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 and why do those, how come those profiles always say that? The long walk thing? I like long walks. Don't you think you'd eventually, all these long walks around, you'd meet somebody, wouldn't you? Right. Well, that some walk. people do like long uh, walks, and they find it very romantic. Yeah. Nobody it likes to be a to be kind of a walk. trope yeah, in the world. Is, yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes now, a long You know, if you were doing it, Josh, <laughs> Josh in, uh, the, in the Josh single world, mm -hmm. whenever that happens, <laughs> what would wow. your profile say, do you think? Um, I don't know that I would do, well, okay, if I, if I were to have a profile, um... Thorough and generous lover, would that be in there? No. Or is that too bold? No, oh, yeah, no, yeah. it would be... That stat is far too bold. Smacks of jerk. Uh, you hockey fan, literary... Funny. Probably something that likes books, hockey, and, uh... Pizza. Oh, see, I, I think, knew... No, my pictures would speak for themselves. <laughs> Writer. <laughs> Because no one's fatter than him. God. Right. There would be a video of me singing, of course. <laughs> singing your song. I am a large man. I am a large man. I'm so, so fat. I am fat. I am fat. <laughs>
Nobody's better than me. Nobody's better than me. Tom, you are so mean. Non cooks need not apply. Non cooks need not apply. I like baby pools filled with gravy. Sorry, back to the profile. Long walks. Would there, be, would, would there be something about, about literary taste or? Uh, I'd probably movies? just say, uh, you know, I, lo- I like reading movies, uh, fishing, and hockey. Would that's you say fan thing. of horror films or? Uh, maybe, maybe because because I think that's a specific. It is, and um, I genre. Yeah, yeah, and it's good to be with people who enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we should fix you up with uh, with with Jessica Alsman. She well, has a, a boyfriend. boyfriend. I don't know. Boy, well, there's a story. Okay that, yeah, no, I'm, they I'm live no... back door to back well, door, and all a, of no, a sudden. But, but wait a minute, Jessica's boy. He, the results are in on him. He's not gonna. This isn't gonna go any farther. So I think she might he be needs out there to get looking. off the pot. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> because Jessica, you're a big fan sure. of the horror movies, right? Yeah. Do you like uh, everything? Yeah, I like horror movies. Do you like everything else that? That Josh likes? Uh-oh. Uh, I, uh, Neither I have of terrible us are grammar. On the market. We're not uh, looking <laughs> yeah. for. So. You the and first I time you would correct, if you ever corrected my sentence and like, like, oh, don't you mean whom? I would be like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's, I would. I'm like, oh. here's some broccoli yeah. and cauliflower. That's all I'm going to cook. You know what, Tom? You're just trying to cause trouble, aren't you? Don't you mean whom, broccoli? <laughs> <laughs> don't you mean the normality of broccoli? Broccoli, the whisk broom of the lower intestine. Well, Although, I think people... I, I think people would rather hear what your profile would be, Tom. Oh, what do you oh, think, boy. What yeah, do you you think your, your... Oh, I would, I would never even but ever have done so. anything like this. Oh, yeah. of course not. Oh, you're too famous. That's true. No, no, no. It'd, <laughs> ever, ever. it'd be very tough, too. <laughs> right. I wouldn't use the sites because they work. Yeah. They me, they're, do they're work. Too effective. Yeah. Now, Willie, have you, have you ever done one of these effectively? Yeah. I mean, no. Uh... I met my ex on there, but we already kind of knew each other, and then we just saw that we were both single. Oh. Yeah, that happened. Oh, it's like that song, uh, what's that one, uh, Pina Colada? Yeah, the Pina they're, Colada they're, song. They're cheating on that song. Where they, are they, they know what they meet, end up meeting each other. It's very, very romantic. I used it. You know what my profile said? If you know me, well, because I used the picture, I wasn't going to fake it. I wasn't going to say, you know, here I am. I just said, if you listen to the show, you know too much about me, and if you don't, give me a, a shout. And we'll figure it out. Oh, it was oh. just simple. How many people right. hit you up, Christy? Quite a few. I'll bet. But I only went on three dates. How many of those people were Pat Godwin? <laughs> None. <laughs> you swipe left on me a lot. No, I, I was trying. on match. I didn't do the, the, swi- the swipe. Small size need not apply. <laughs> <laughs> I brought up the horror show thing also oh. because it kind of goes hand in hand with the story we just had. Because Which we go back one. to Japan. A performance group there is starting a run of drive-in horror shows for people who are scared of catching the coronavirus but still want to get close-up frights from ghouls and zombies. Cool. Audience members drive into a garage in Tokyo, one car at a time, and listen to a murder story and sound effects blared out of speakers as actors dressed as monsters bang on the side of the vehicle and spray fake blood over the windows. Fun! Awesome. (laughs) I hope there's a car wash at the end of this. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> the performance group called Kawaragarasetia. Oh, sure, yeah. Which translates roughly as Scare Squad. Scare Squad, yep. Yeah, is hoping to frighten as many as 11 <laughs> carloads of people a day at weekends in July and hopefully August, according to the coordinator, Kinta Iowanawa. Well, if they're beating on your car, you're going to have to go to a body shop. No, they're not going to ding they're not it. Gonna they're just. Uh... You know, you can hit a car. You. I hit your car every day when I leave. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then ripped your license off. <laughs> and as Chick McGee said, I never felt more alive. <laughs> That's right. Okay, now we had the story about this uh, New York rush, baby. This oh. New York tattoo parlor. They're getting all these requests for coronavirus tattoos. Yes. And a lot of the news stations they show that picture of the yeah. virus. And it looks like some like weird spaceship with all these well, things. It's got little crowns out. on it. That's mm-hmm. where it comes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just I think it's really ugly and sure. Uh, but yeah. I guess if you were in the trenches with the great people who were doing all the medical work, maybe so. I, right. Yeah. Do something. If you all the same one, I guess. Um, but um, th- for some reason, we that led to the discussion of actually getting tattoos in your perineum. Boy, oh boy. And uh, now I know, Pat, you've uh, uh, composed a song on this topic. Uh, yeah, favorite. right on the spot. I loved what uh, Josh said, calling it a nacho. I think oh. that's very clever. Uh, so let's uh, <laughs> let's do this. No, that's the nacho? <laughs> you've heard the, it yeah, called that. Yeah, the, yeah, I've yes. heard it called the nacho. 
you shouldn't tattoo your nacho or a taint, as it is called. If you wonder why we call it a nacho, well, it's nacho, but nacho testicles. <laughs> ah, you mustn't tattoo your nacho. Leave your perineum all alone, eh? If you wonder why we call it a nacho, well, it's nacho culo and nacho cojone. <laughs> nacho. Now, wait a minute. Isn't that a cover of a Willie Concarni song? Uh, it was originally a song by our Latin correspondent, but he got fired. Ah. Uh, yeah, there probably. was a little hint when you said alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, got a I don't write new ones. I reworked the old ones. Uh, cojone, cojones coming down the pike, baby. So Willie Concarni's gone, but now no, is um, Infecto... Uh, I, that's Quarantino. up to you, O. Infecto Quarantino <laughs> still working? I hope for so. For now. Okay, good, yeah. okay. Uh, coming up. It's the um, only thing I listen to the show for. Uh, coming up, we're going to talk with the lovely comedian, Allie Breen, trying to help your love life. And we're also going to read to Allie the story about um, uh, storage of uh, feminine and uh, of sex toys, put it that way. Mm, okay, yeah. there's, a, there's a Marie Kondo aspect to this. If you have a lot of sex toys, you don't want to go anywhere. Because uh, we've no, solved you're going to be home with your sex toys. We've yeah. solved we've solved the problem for you. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Hey, it's Roy Wood Jr. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom, all the time, in your ear, for sheezy. Holla back one time. What up with it, dog? Pimping, for sure, for sheezy. Was that, was that black enough? Hey, <laughs> Mark Allison here with you. Bob and Tom 24-7 on a Wednesday. It's July 8th, 2020, making our way through the week. We've made it to hump day, everybody, getting ready to go over it. But before that, we've got Allie Breen on the way with your relationship question, zooming in from New York City, as well as uh, we continue with special correspondent Willie Griswold, hanging out with us on a Wednesday. And more of the show coming up right after this. Hi, everybody. Christy Lee from the Navy Federal Credit Union Entertainment News Desk. The Treasury Department is out with a list of those who applied for loans under the Paycheck Protection Program designed to help small businesses survive the coronavirus pandemic. But some of those who applied and got loans are celebrity-linked companies you'd think wouldn't need government help. Among those getting some money, Clothing Line by actress Reese Witherspoon. Also getting loans, Kanye West's Yeezy Apparel Line and a company that did a website for Tim McGraw and his wife Faith Hill. In each case, though, the companies that got help were entities that weren't part of the celeb's main source of income. Funeral plans are beginning to take shape for Charlie Daniels. The Tennessean newspaper reports the service will be in the town of Murfreesboro with an open visitation in Mount Juliet. The funeral will be at 11 a.m. on Friday with visitation set for the day before. Daniels died Monday of a stroke. He was 83. And a custom casket's being built for the funeral of the world's longest surviving conjoined twins who died July 4th in Ohio of natural causes. Donnie and Ronnie Galen, who were born joined at the abdomen, claimed the world record in 2014 shortly before they turned 63. Their younger brother, Jim, said he's received an outpouring of support following their deaths. They made it to 68 and they couldn't ask for anything more, according to Jim. A funeral with family and friends is set for next week. Starting as children, Donnie and Ronnie Galen appeared at carnivals and on cruises as a sideshow attraction. Their income supported the family for years and retired from entertaining in 1991. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Guarantees, I think, are the biggest part of contracts now. Yeah. Uh, in, in a certain sense. They're, if you don't guys want to sign, know they're going to get paid no matter what. If you don't want to sign a guaranteed contract with a guy... Good yeah. luck, because you're going to have to. But somebody else thing. will. What, what would it take crazy thing? for you for us to give you a guaranteed contract? I thought I had a guaranteed contract. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. That's a genuine hard laugh. Right? <laughs> yeah. I haven't laughed this much since I heard this. <laughs> so, so fat. I'm so, so fat. I'm the fattest. I am fat. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, guy, it's Kid Tarmac. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Take that to the bank. 24-7. <laughs> I know. Pressure, buttock. Mm -hmm.
Bob Miller, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Actor and comedian Jim Gaffigan is here with us. Oh, that guy is funny. He's Yay. very funny. He's great. I'm a big fan of his. We were talking oh, about your, this. your great love of food. Yes, I, that's right. exactly what I was going to ask him. When and, you're in the refrigerator, I know, didn't you say that you were a vegetarian? So. I'm not I'm not a, a strict vegetarian. Mm-hmm. I, I eat beef and pork. <laughs> <laughs> and, and chicken, but, but not fish, because that's disgusting. Sure. <laughs> How can you tell when fish goes bad? It smells like fish either way. Like, oh. Oh, this smells like a dumpster. Let's eat it. Yeah. I can't believe we're still serving fish with the heads on there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't you always feel like that eye's looking at you like, hey, hey you don't mind if I watch me eat my body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't be distracted. A little tear comes out. You can just tell yourself it's butter. Oh, oh. Yeah. What if a fish was listening? Eyebrow dandruff. That's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm not proud of it. There was, that's, why, that's you, why would you bring that up on the air? That's I, just... 21 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you very much. Christy Lee has an update in the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather brought to you by CarX. More sun than clouds and a chance for scattered thunderstorms today. High 91. Pretty much the same for tomorrow. Just a bit warmer. 93. Currently 80. Thank you very much. Be listening carefully throughout the day to Q95 Radio. Why? Uh, there's some serious money at stake. That's all I'm going to tell you. So pay close attention. The announcement will make it very clear. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. In the big room, Ace, Chick, Josh, I'm Tom. Through the glass, Christy Lee. Hi. Through the glass, Willie G. Hey. Uh, on the uh, camera over there, it's Pat Godwin uh, with his musical uh, instruments over there. With uh, the brown hair and the blue eyes. It's the lovely Jessica Alsman with Hello. the blonde hair and the blue eyes. It's the lovely Allie Breen. Hi, Allie. Hi. Hey, um, Allie. Uh, Allie Breen, of course, currently in the Broadway version of uh, the Johnny Winter Show. Oh, boy. In which uh, she portrays <laughs> <laughs> one of the famous albino brothers. Oh, uh, the, the light, Allie, makes you look invisible. <laughs> That's what I was saying. I love that Jess matches her background, and so do I. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a switch. Now, Allie, we saved, the, we saved this story for you, but don't take it the wrong way. Okay. Oh, no. Love it. Oh, love everything about it. Now, first off, do you know who Marie Kondo is? Isn't that the pie lady? No. That's Marie That's Calendar. Marie Calendar? Yeah. 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 I'm thinking of. Marie Kondo became <laughs> famous Kondo, in the last yeah. couple years. She's an Asian woman who does very cool organizing techniques. She has this, people watch yes. as, as she organizes other people's stuff. Yeah. If it and, doesn't bring you joy, you throw it out. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, oh, I've heard about that. Sure. And, well, you know, yes. But, but you know, she'll go into a place and throw 90% of the stuff away, and then yeah. it looks great. Hey, oh, that was okay. my fire extinguisher. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's, it's, there's, there's a lot of people who follow her because they can't figure out their own lives. The point is... Um, <laughs> there's a woman in the UK who must get a lot of joy from her favorite sex toys because she has found an innovative way to store them. Okay. Rather than keeping the collection in her bedside drawer. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. She's opted for a more organized system using an over-the-door shoe organizer. Oh, okay. She realized her shoe organizer could be repurposed to home her or to keep her her rather large selection of adult toys in one spot. Wow. You ever seen those shoe things? Of course. Of course. Yeah. 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 She purchased the clear shoe divider and filled each of the 24 clear pockets with a different sex toy. Here is the thing that really, people are very impressed with her organizational skill. She shows it off. I guess. Oh, boy. (laughs) That's kind of intimidating. I mean, she probably shows up in bed wearing one of those bandolero harmonica holder things. Right. Eight dildos in it. And come on. Like, who wore one of those? Pardon me? Who, Who used to wear one of those? The harmonica holders and stuff? Oh, the harmonica holder. The blues bandolero. Oh, uh, your, your reference. Uh, Norton mm-hmm. Buffalo. Yeah. Norton Buffalo. You guys know who Norton Buffalo is, right? No, worth, no worth Googling. One of the the the, the great harmonica player. Um, but uh, I, I, <laughs> I, I give you. Uh, well, there's many many examples of his fine fine work. Many many fine fine work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> many many harmonica. Uh, many many. That's 
<laughs> Isn't that a little much having that many? I think it's you know to each his own. Yeah, well, here's, sure. here's a tip well, by the way. Those guys over, get uh, excited by that, or do they get intimidated by it? If you opened a closet and there was a shoe holder full of sex toys, would you be like yes, or would you be like oh my god? I think there is yeah. a, big, a big school of thought. Oh my gosh, have in, you seen the picture of this? Yeah, intimidated. No reason to be intimidated. You just go, hey, good for you. <laughs> yeah, she knows what she likes. Yeah. Good for her. I don't. I can't even. Yeah. By the way, do you, do you have to add? Do you have to add oil to the gasoline for this one, or is it two cycle? I I can't even tweet this picture. Oh, nice. it's, I just you know the, the, it's really the, dirty. Like they're exposed constantly, getting like dust on them or something. Plus, I, it's like the lights dim and stuff. Yeah, she might uh, on. wipe them off or whatever. Oh, you gotta clean them after and before. Oh, so much work. It has to be organized by favorite too, right? You want your favorite like at arm level and sure, then your yeah. least. Right. Well, right. I can tell you what her favorite is then. You don't want to have to do the <laughs> do the dishes before you continue with your sex, I don't think, right? Well, it's just a quick wipe with a, <laughs> a, a wet wipe or well, a wet the, one. Since she is oh. doing the Marie Kondo thing, I guess they all bring her joy. Yeah. She She's does like, have them categorized. I will give her credit. If she needs to find a wet one, I don't want anything to do with her. What do you think of that? <laughs> she, oh, has, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. she has them categorized. In as dildos, vibrators, oh, she uh, so she's anal under, tools, if you will. All the colors and sizes you can imagine. Tools. Anal tools? Anal yeah. tools. Yeah. I know one anal tool. Okay, anal. I can't hey. say. Ah! <laughs> oh. Hi, welcome to this old house. Today, oh, let's gonna... just say she likes beads. Oh, okay. We're going to okay. work on the ass end of the house with our anal okay. tools. She likes to be pulled. So she's thinking outside her box. Apparently. Yeah, in that case, she absolutely is. Yeah, I cannot retweet this. Excellent. I'm sorry. Wow. Where did you I had a friend who belonged, <laughs> friend who belonged to the sex toy of the month club. Oh. And it does pile up on you quick if you have that for a couple of years as a membership. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. 24 wow. toys. That's, after a yeah, couple of years, what's left? Fills the well, here's one you'd make out of Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Looks oh. like the man. Magic Castle. <laughs> well, you're going to want to glue those together, too. You don't want it unsnapping up. Uh, no, you yeah. know. By the case. way, here's a tip. Those those over-the-door... Um, Shoe organizers? Yeah, yeah. Those don't work with a pocket door. Okay. Just so you get enough. <laughs> well, no, no of don't. course not. Yeah. The door disappears, your shoes fall on the floor. Of course. <laughs> they don't work with a barn door, either. I'm just trying to give people a tip. <laughs> As someone who once drilled a pocket door into the wall permanently. <sighs> oh, boy. Yeah, I'm going to put the picture right here. Oops. Yeah. Why does that hang? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's get right to it. Allie Breen is um, uh, our correspondent in the world of romance. Do you have any yes. letters today, Allie? Dear Allie, my boyfriend searched Instagram in front of me for something, and I could see his recent searches. <laughs> there were two of his ex-girlfriends and my best friend. <laughs> he doesn't follow any of them on Instagram, but he's clearly <laughs> creeping on them. I freaked out at him, and he called me crazy and acted like he had a, no idea why they were in his top searches. Oh. He's clearly lying. What would you do? Mrs. Kennedy. <laughs> he is clearly lying. Yeah. Yeah. He used the C word, and he's like, what? I didn't do it. Hello? The C word. He's crazy. crazy. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah. that's, that's, right. that's not the C word that in this is, room. No, that's that not the C word. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh, that's your first clue that he's lying. <sighs> yeah, that is what guys go right to. Exactly. Oh, you're that's the one that's you go, crazy? That's kind of weird. Mm. Like, why is yeah. that happening? Why are you so crazy? Anna, she should lay what? down the law a little bit. She should go, look, I'm not an idiot. I know you lied to me about this. I don't want you looking at those sites again. I don't want you looking at those pages again. And if you do, we're, uh, it's over. Just lay down the law. You know what? Just break up anyway. I think. <laughs> no, I think people are allowed to look at Instagram. I think it's it. fine. I think yeah. it's trying to. They maybe he was looking to see if there were pictures of her. Then why did he lie about it? Uh, why does yeah, he not follow lie. them? Is that my? That's the weird thing. Is why does he yeah, not that want is to follow weird. them? Because he doesn't. He's doing something wrong. What does, if, does one of these ladies have a picture of a shoe rack on the back of her closet? I don't know. <laughs> maybe. It has the dildos arranged by shoe size. Hand <laughs> <What? laughs> me the uh, the thirteen double E. What if Ooh, the people? That would be a hell of a dating that's a, that, that's a pencil. <laughs> what, what if the girl? That she he was looking up are better looking than she is. Come well, on. that's a, he yeah. needs to mention yeah. that. That's exactly. Uh, no, he doesn't need to mention that's exactly that. Right. And they're, they've got I a guess. better personality, right, better right. looking. Than you. I Why think we've I think you've got the answer. What's our yeah, next letter, Allie? That's right. <laughs> okay, dear. Oh, I just lost it. Hang on. Dear Allie, I'm dating two different guys who clearly both think they're the only ones I'm dating. Oh, God. Uh, Why would they think? That? I wonder how they got that in their heads. Yeah. <laughs> I have never promised either of them that we were exclusive, so I don't think I'm cheating, but I don't know how to juggle this without having to lie to both of them. How what? do people do this? They tell them the truth. Yeah. You don't lie. And the one that you sticks, to uh, you hang them. with them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
You have to say. Yeah, when people date multiple people, do they do they have you have to be open about it, I guess, I, right? Yeah. Yes. Don't Sounds you like think? an episode of Suddenly like... Susan. Or I, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that sounds funny. Wasn't that the Madonna movie? No, it was no, uh, oh, that was Seeking. Shield show. Oh, that yeah. was Desperately yeah. Seeking Susan. Oh, this does sound confused. like a Julia Roberts, yeah. Richard Gere movie or something. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, oh. yeah, I guess I you have to accept. You know, if you have, if someone says, oh, can, or, can you hang out this weekend? And you're like, no, I can't. You have to be like, I'm going out with the other guy I'm dating. That's how people yes. date. Multiple yes. People. Tell these guys and then they're, they're both going to step up their game. It's going to be awesome for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they're both going to leave. Gonna leave. Yeah, yeah. They might bow out, but still. That's well, fine. that's the thing is that you don't need to tell both of them because if you tell one of him and it doesn't go well, then that guy's gone. Then there's, <laughs> now there's just one guy. Now you have no problem. Gentlemen, the Griswold logic at work, <laughs> I think. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, tell the one that you like the least. There you go. Yeah. And see what happens. If he sticks around, well, then you, you already have to tell like the other one guy. more than the other and you're interested in an exclusive relationship, why not just. Yeah, do that. Well, apparently I, she's not. I don't think it's possible yeah. to this, uh, like them equally. No. You know? There's not. No. It's impossible. No. One guy might be, she might love the I, way they are in bed, and then the other guy, she might have more in common with him, that kind yeah. of thing. Richard. Right. Withholding uh, information is still considered lying, kind of. So just because uh, the lie, he never said, are you dating more than just me? Sister lie, Jessica Alsman. The <laughs> lie of omission, everyone, yes. I wish yeah. we had names on these letters. So, because Dear Abby would always be, yeah, you know, Dear Baffled in Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. right, yeah. right, right. Right, doubled up in Denver. Oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, nice. Oh. Hey. Dear can't get enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dick crazy in Denver. Come on. <laughs> yes, Blue dick balls. is the word you're looking for. She is allowed Nymph to date more Nympho than one person. and Narnia. No, of course she is. Yeah. I, I'm a big oh. fan of. You're walking with a limp. That's what. <laughs> that's what dating's about. Hey, you're exactly right, Chris. <laughs> okay. But that's sorry. why it's hard to say if dating's about dating multiple people until you find the one. But you always have to tell people you're dating multiple people. Everyone's gonna leave the situation. I would think. It's too confusing. Yeah. Isn't it hard enough to have one relationship, let yeah. alone two yeah. going on? Yeah, I agree. <sighs> okay, let's get to our next letter, please, Allie Breen. Yeah. Dear Allie, my boyfriend snores like a lawnmower. I wake up so mad at him for keeping me awake. Does anyone know how to stop this? I can even hear it from the next room. Oh. Yeah. Yes. CPAP. Right. Go, go to the hardware store. Test. Go yeah. to the hardware store and get the um, tell him you have a rat problem. And um, <laughs> usually works best in tomato soup or maybe a broccoli cheese. You <laughs> it it mix it in there. Oh. I know many of you won't believe this, but I snore. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> a white noise machine has helped. Um, the situation? Yeah, earplugs. Yeah. Uh, but... I think uh, addressing the issue. Uh, Aren't there a couple of appliances you stick in your mouth? Right. There are some things that can breathe help with right them. strips. Exactly. Yeah. 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 There, there but are I mean, I, I think there's some things that are more uh, the, like rubberized things. Yeah, and they kind of they move your jaw yeah, forward and keep yeah. that area. I've seen open. commercials I've for seen it. That. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, needs to. Scary. Keep it's like a, a tape over your mouth. Yeah, that, maybe, that, maybe. I tried the tape. How um, is that? It, w it would have worked great if I didn't have facial hair. Hmm. It, it did not uh, stick well to the... But it it did work. You it put just, tape over your mouth? I forget. They're called like these snore strips or something, and you close... Because I'm an open mouth sleeper, and uh, that's where my my uh, snoring mostly... Aren't there medical studies that if men wear out their jaw before they fall asleep? They, uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they so you gotta have them do something that'll... Uh, yeah, you know, eat grape wow. nuts or yeah. Yeah. Maybe, have some, maybe have some yeah. peanuts. Dear, dear grape nuts. <laughs> They're crazy about yeah, grape. Give them nuts. a pouch of big league chew. Yeah, that's okay. right. Maybe some tuna. Well, you're oh, a sorry. snorer, aren't you, Tom? I don't know. I sleep. <laughs> oh, no, Willie. You're a snorer. Oh, Tom, uh, we snores. used to travel on the road. If your yeah. room was next to mine, yeah, I snore. went and moved my room. <laughs> <laughs> you were bad. <laughs> you were amazing. And you have a white noise machine, correct? Yes. That yes. helps. Yeah. I was tested for sleep apnea. I do not have it. So, 
Uh, and I'm that's what that, CPAP, that's the big Darth yeah, Vader thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. just a, an open mouth snorer. Yeah, the white noise machine's really, it says, <laughs> Muffy, which way to the club? <laughs> yeah, <that's, laughs> it's got to be white noise. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Is that Madras? <laughs> you know. Sours before eight? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's just audio from Restoration <laughs> Hardware. <laughs> I like how the voice you're doing to make is just your voice. Those are yeah, you're not changing it all. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> well, if the shoe fits, hang it on the door. I'm sorry. <laughs> Allie, we have to, we have a time for a couple more. What else have you got? Dear Allie, I found really dirty lingerie in my girlfriend's underwear drawer, but I don't think it was there before and she's never worn it for me. Oh. When I confronted her about it, she said it was going to be a surprise that she was planning, but yes. we've never done anything like that in the past. Yeah. Should I assume she's cheating or could this be the truth? I think she's That's telling you the truth. truth. And yeah, what are you absolutely. doing in her underwear drawer? Yeah. If you've never done it before, hence the surprise. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm unclear on the setup. What's going on? He went into her underwear drawer. Right. Found uh, some uh, lingerie. Lingerie. That he had never seen. And it wasn't in there oh, before, which means he's oh. a repeat underwear drawer snooper. Tom but thought it was soiled <laughs> underwear is what he thought. Right? I thought you said oh. dirty underwear. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Dirty as dirty in, as in, in sexy. sexy. Provocative. Yeah. Sexy, provocative. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. I, oh sorry. Naughty. Now, he, yeah. didn't, he didn't soil underwear before. That's now, wait a minute. Now, wait the, a minute. He, he said. He does say dirty. If he met. Worn and dirty. No, I then he's got he it. There, there's that. an issue there. No, I don't no. think so. Oh, so he meant lingerie. Okay, sorry. Yeah, I was going down the different. Route. I think he said that they've never done this kind of thing before. Right. Not that he's been in her underwear drawer before. Like they've never done the lingerie thing. Before. No, he said that it, the lingerie had not been in there before. Oh, doesn't he? Yeah, so he has been in there looking before uh, this. Well, I mean, maybe yeah, uh, quite honestly, it could be very innocent. He could do her laundry, and he would just put yeah. it puts it away. Right. But. Yeah, she was trying to surprise you, and you blew it. God, what a, a jerk. <laughs> I don't know, though. I will cool. say, if you're going to surprise someone with lingerie, it would probably still be in the bag if you haven't worn it. If it's crumpled up in your underwear drawer, yeah. that's a little... She suspicious. tried it on when she got home. Yeah, if, if she, were, if she, were she tried on it on for her other boyfriend, Josh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. I would wash it before I wore it. Me too. Right. So, yeah. Do a DNA test. See whose soil that is. <laughs> Girls are better cheaters than guys. We wouldn't put our stuff in there. We'd hide it or throw it out. So yeah. If she was cheating, you wouldn't have been able to find if it. If it looks like she That's spilled cool. toaster strudel icing on it, she's <laughs> cheating. Uh, yeah. Is that Cetaphil? Is oh a pop God. tart? Wow. What is that? Spackle? Oh. Is that calamine? <laughs> uh, blood? Uh, the- oh, blood. <laughs> I, I think we've done our job. I, I, Allie, I think we've actually, I think, disgusted Allie what, for the yeah, first time. Yeah, she was time. shaking her head. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Calamine got me. That was it. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, Allie, well, I'm sure you probably have lived in calamine lotion. You're so light-skinned, you probably get burned all the time. No, calamine's the mosquito bite. That's what, yeah, mosquito. poison ivy, right? Yeah. I thought yeah. it was for sunburn. Yeah. No? No. Oh, well, no. Hello. Well, no. Yeah. Well, no wonder. Sunburn's SPF. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no wonder you're burning. <laughs> calamine. We have, we have time for one more, Allie. Dear Allie, my best friend just went through a breakup and is now on all the dating sites. She's having no luck at all on dates, and I know why. It's because I saw her site, and her photos look like she's a Victoria's Secret model, and that's not how she looks in real oh, life. Oh, guys, hate that. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I tell her or just keep my mouth shut? No, you should tell her. I don't understand. So the, she's her, got, pic- her pictures look great, but... She doesn't in real yes. life. So she gets one date and it's over? Hmm. Oh, yeah, because yep. a guy expects to see... You know, I see. Okay. Cindy yeah. Cindy Crawford. Cindy, yeah, yeah. Cindy Crawford, and he gets Cindy Smith. You're, you know. She the, should uh, take some pictures of her friend and go, hey, maybe use this, use that one, use this. Yeah. That kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, something current. Somebody, yeah. by the way, out there is using my picture on a dating site. I just yeah, want you to too. know it's How not are they me. doing? I don't know. I just had someone uh-huh. send it to me the other day. I just want to meet men, Christy. I'm drawing everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the long-term plan on that because whenever they this girl makes a date, she's going to show up not looking like you, Christy, and how is that going to work? I have and- no idea. Actually, I look pretty... There are a lot of people that kind of look like me. I mean, it's pretty easy. But, <laughs> yeah, this woman, whoever, whomever she is, is using my photo. And huh. Somebody sent it to me the other day. Like, okay, whatever. What am I supposed to do about that? Now, Pat, you've been accused of not using the most current photos. Yes. Guilty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guilty. I yeah, think a yeah, lot uh, of people uh, do uh, Pats are daguerreotypes. <laughs> uh, my high school photo. <laughs> Pat said, some, is someone using your photo on the dating site? In Pat? Iowa, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I think this is very common. People do not 
accurately represent themselves on yeah, dating well, that's, sites. I think, uh, goes without saying. <laughs> so, you, I would tell her. Someone else's photo is pretty bold. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, think, what if your boyfriend or somebody finds out and, like, you know... Christy, are you on this dating site? No. Oh, I went I went home and told him immediately. I go, oh, by the way, hey, somebody's using my photo just in case you hear about so it. So that's your cover. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll right. figure it out. Nice. No, it's true. Boy, what would you do if he goes, yeah, I know, I saw that. <laughs> What? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing on the dating site? <laughs> You're telling Never me mind. we didn't match? <laughs> uh, Never okay. damn mind fix my dinner. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, Allie, uh, if, if people want to reach you with their love troubles, because obviously we can be very helpful, how do they do that? <laughs> Any form of social media, I'm at Allie Breen, A L L I B R E E N. Okay. And Allie, I recommend uh, Cardi B's Instagram uh, today. She's uh, informing people about how to. Um, do very personal things to their most personal parts. No, why are you oh, not this? informing? It? It's just about we her. We should not be promoting that. No, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, the, the, I've seen her Instagram. It's always ridiculous and entertaining. I'll go take a look. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Thanks, Allie. We are coming right back. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Check out the Bob and Tom Show app and let your voice be heard. Our contact info is right there. Hello, this is comedian John Evans, and you're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Remember, if you missed today's show, we'll have an afternoon double play coming up for you this afternoon at 3 p.m. Christopher steps in. His office is right through there, but we're social distancing, so he's at home. But he'll be here later today at 3 p.m. Eastern as we replay today's show back-to-back -back right here on Bob and Tom 24-7. Tell Christopher I said hello. I'm Chick McGee. This is your Bob and Tom Sports Update. As baseball nears the two-week countdown to the start of the delayed season, the pandemic continues to keep more players off the field. The latest big name to be sidelined by a positive test for the virus is Eduardo Rodriguez. He was expected to start on opening day for the Red Sox. The Giants suspended workouts at Oracle Park as they await the results of weekend tests. And the Cubs workout was delayed. Red Sox prospect Bobby Dahlbeck also tested positive for the virus. The Washington Nationals and Houston Astros resumed workouts after canceling practices on Monday because of testing delays. And the San Francisco Giants say they are suspending workouts at Oracle Park pending the results of tests conducted this past weekend. On Monday, the club said two people had tested positive for the virus but didn't provide further details on whether the two were players, coaches, or staff. Prospect Hunter Bishop and pitcher Luis Madero in the 60-player pool already have tested positive. And Oklahoma and Texas officials are cautiously optimistic that their annual football showdown still will be played at the Cotton Bowl in the Fair Park in Dallas, despite the announcement yesterday that the Texas State Fair would be canceled. And Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson has canceled his annual Fun Day with LJ event in Florida due to the coronavirus. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. We have a lot to get to today. Um, a lot of things are going on, of course. And again, I think it's very important to know that right now that we are all living in a world where there's just so much information and bad information and good information and disinformation and misinformation floating around. You're probably wondering who's going to sort it out for you. Well, don't never forget that um, the mission statement of our program is. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Just do that. 
Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, man, this is Donnie Biker. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hello and welcome to Larry King Live. Well, for years, he was one of the most powerful rodents in Hollywood <laughs> and a former co-worker of mine. Joining me in the studio is the water skiing squirrel from the CNN News promos. Man, I don't think I've seen you since you left after that uh, salary dispute. Yeah, I went all David Caruso on the network. I stormed into an executive meeting and demanded more nuts or I walk. Yeah, next thing I know, CNN dumps me. Then my life kind of spins out of control from there. Yeah, so times were tough for you then, huh? Well, I was practicing a stunt for an Adam Sandler movie, and I blew out my ACL. I spent 18 months just learning to scamper again. Wow. It was another year before I could strap on the skis. Wow. That's a lifetime in this business. I was washed up. The only work I get anymore is at boat shows. Last week, I opened for Russell Johnson, the, you know, the professor from Gilligan's Island. The Professor Larry. Uh, Man, that's rough. I remember when you, me, Wolf Blitzer, Bernie Shaw, Judy Woodruff, remember when we used to limo around to all the strip clubs after work on Friday night? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some wild times. D did you know that Judy and I used to have a little thing? No kidding. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes she would come over to my place because she liked to play with my nuts. Wow. <laughs> I thought she just used that line on me. <laughs> so, w what do you say, Larry? Can you help me get my old job back at CNN? Well, I don't know. The, the, the budget's pretty tight, man. We just hired Connie Chung. Uh, does she water ski? O or parasail, which is something new I added to the act. Look, I, I just can't promise anything. Come on, Larry. Help a brother out. I haven't had a nut in three days. I'm sorry, man. The, the, there's nothing I can do. All right, then. I know where there's a couple of nuts I can help myself to. Hey, 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 what do you do? What do you do? Don't go there. Stop it. Easy on the sack. Promise you'll help, or I'll slit it open and bury him in the park. <laughs> you'll never see him again. <laughs> hey, 946 at Q95. It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee has an update on the forecast. Q95, Fox 59 weather. Variable cloudiness with a chance for scattered thunderstorms today and tomorrow. High 91 today, 93 tomorrow. Sunshine and currently already. 80. Thank you very much, Christy Lee. Now, uh, be paying close attention because uh, throughout the day on Q95, your shot at some serious money will be coming up. Listen for, uh, well, it'll be made very clear to you when the time arrives. That I think we call it money for something, and uh, it could be money for you. That's the important thing. And it'll be going on until about uh, 10 o'clock, so uh, pay close attention. You could find yourself with some extra cash. Now, uh, I also want to tell you that uh, you got to train Alexa or whichever yeah. one of those devices you listen to how to listen to our show, how to listen to Q95 and get some great classic rock. It's pretty simple. You just say, Alexa, play Q95 on iHeartRadio, for example. Many other ways. Hey, Alexa, turn on the Bob and Tom Show at 6 tomorrow. Well, 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 welcome back. It's the Bob and Tom Show. There's Josh, there's Chick, there's Ace, I'm Tom. Christy, of course, is in the Navy Federal Credit Union newsroom. Mm -hmm. Willie G is in the Boom Boom Room. The hot box, right? The hot box. Mm -hmm. we got to pick, pick one of these. Okay. What about the boo box? Like the, the movie Hook? The boo box. The I boo don't know. box. No. I have no, no idea I don't what know that, that is. No idea. The boo box? No. Dennis Hoffman tells, uh, you know, me, <laughs> the boo box. I have no idea Sorry, what you're talking Jessica. about. Anyone at all. I remember Hook. I do not remember that part. But I'll Hook. find a clip and send it to all of you. No, don't bother. <laughs> is, no, no, is, no, no. is this Captain Hook? No, Dust, the movie yeah. Hook. Yeah. Dustin, Dustin Hoffman. Hoffman. Yeah, Robin Williams. Oh. And, uh, but it was just called Hook. Place, Shmi, yeah, that's um, Bob Hoskins. Unwatchable. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't they make a big well, deal? Julia Roberts was yeah, Tinkerbell or yeah. something? Yeah. Just a, a senator. Carrie Fisher I, I agree. Make a little cameo in the background. I did not care for it. Pat Godwin's really <laughs> hey, Pat it. Howard. Fantastic. Yeah, you're the one. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, where were we? A lot of people like that movie. I don't think so. Uh, <laughs> and you're right. Hey, you know what today is? We didn't get to this. National Blueberry Day. Uh, oh, I enjoy them. And it's also Body Painting Day. No kidding. Yep. You ever huh. been body painted, Josh? Yes, this shirt, paint. <laughs> <laughs> remember when Farrah Fawcett painted her, painted, oh, I guess she painted with her body. Yeah, remember she was that? painted yeah. gold, remember, and she would. Yeah. The Lost Boys in the movie Hook oh, painted his body painting <laughs> at the table, actually. 
could we? I think body painting most famous in the Sports <laughs> Illustrated swimsuit uh, today edition. Today in history, I think it's time. <laughs> time is around. Right now for today. Inventor. <laughs> uh, born 1831, this famous inventor, John Pemberton, invented what? Sliced bread. Uh, Next Coca-Cola. question. Oh, covered that yesterday. Coca-Cola. Toast. Pemberton. Coca-Cola. That is correct. Coca-Cola. Ah. Very Say good. Say it again. So you hear me. Uh, now, this next one's really easy. I'll run this by Jessica. Born 1838, Ferdinand von Zeppelin. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What did he invent? <laughs> the blimp? Well, well, well the Zeppelin. Zeppelin yeah. Yeah. I guess that's acceptable. <laughs> hey, of, course, of course blimp is acceptable. <laughs> Thomas Reginald Blimp oh, yeah. Yeah. invented the blimp. He invented the rigid dirigible. Oh, of course. Boy, oh. that, uh, doesn't that sound like a description of an erection in some oh, science? No, it does, yeah. It is rigid. A condom. It take, it's a fixed shape, unlike a balloon. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Hot air balloon. I'm just saying the rigid, oh, damn, the poor fellow came in. He'd had a rigid dirigible for four hours. <laughs> oh, boy, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, took took yeah. 10 by Call your doctor. And call your Fuhrer. Yes, oh, I, I okay. gave her the rigid. Uh, the late, great Marty Feldman. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. But most famous for his... What, uh, um, w- w- yeah, Thank you. I was going to say, what's the most famous line in, <laughs> yeah. in, in Young Frank? Did I win? Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, most uh, iconic yeah. eyeballs in history. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, friend of the show, Wolfgang Puck. Happy birthday, Wolfgang. Never oh. cared for the show. Never, not a friend. Oh, he gave me cookbooks. I love him. He's been here quite often. Uh, Kevin yes. Kevin Bacon, of course. Uh, the He's been here. He has as well. And oh, Toby sure. Keith, happy birthday. He's been oh, here too. Yeah. Wow. And uh, one of Chick's favorites, um, Beck. Oh, yeah. Not yeah. Jeff Beck, but no. Beck. Just Beck. Just Beck. Just Beck. Uneventful his, day is uneventful day. Do you know what his real name is? No, what uh, is it? Arnold Beck. It's Beck David Campbell, B E K. Beck oh. Campbell. I thought it was, no, Hanson is Beck, right. Yeah. And, one of the Hanson kids. And, are and then I don't know how you pronounce oh, okay. this guy's name. Uh, um, he's really good though. Milo Ventimiglia. Yeah. Oh yes, he's oh, yeah. a good actor. Yeah, is Very it a good. hard G? Or? He's the greatest mm-hmm. husband in the history. He's on of the This world. Is Us. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, he plays yeah. Jack. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, and um, of course, on this date in 1913, a patent was issued for Alfred Carlton Gilbert's erector set. Oh. Now, erector set sounds like uh, something you do. Two with guys you. in a porn movie. <laughs> 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 Uh, th- sorry. Mm. Was that ever fun? An erector, erector set? set? Yes. They I, still have those. I loved mine. I know. I remember they're all being sharp angles. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just, uh, well, in the in the commercial, they recreate a functioning roller coaster. Tears. <laughs> we would we would make like a Tears primitive tower that would, with you it. could knock over with a pencil. Uh, time now to review what we learned on today's show. Time now for things we learned. Brought to you by Granger, delivering the products that keep your facility running is what Granger does best. They've been doing it for ninety years. Visit Granger.com for whatever you need, whenever you need it. Granger, for the ones who get it done. A uh, fine listener sent Chick a message in a bottle kit. Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. With a very cool uh, old looking bottle, and you can put a message in a bottle and throw it in a, a river help, or lake I'm or ocean a, near you. Help, I'm in a bottle factory. Odd story an 80 year old gentleman <laughs> playing golf was shot yep. by a guy in Wisconsin. The, Thought he was a woodchuck. Apparently, the guy was trying to shoot woodchucks. I don't know how that happened. What the hell? Police are investigating. The 80 year old gentleman is he survived. He's okay. Okay. I'm yes. mad as anything. Uh, there is a group calling for the Fighting Irish to change their name. I'm not quite sure I get that one. All for it. I'm offended. Um, <laughs> there's a new record for the beer mile for a lady. Oh, yeah. Uh, big news. We do not have video. We were hoping for it. Uh, Josh did a cannonball while on vacation. Oh. Yep. Uh, My sister-in-law gave it a 10 out of 10. That is nice. Great if we had yeah. In the pike position or full cannonball? Full cannonball. Full cannonball. Dick Hitswater sitting in today for uh, David Spunt. Yes. Uh, I like that. And don't forget about Dr. Crunk's sarsaparilla beer. Uh, yes. Yeah. And Willie remains on probation in the hot box room. Uh, Thank you very much. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show.